Hello. Happy Monday, guys. As if Monday's ever happy. <laughs> Oops. And I keep pressing the wrong button. How's your weekend? Today's um, deaf interview day. I'm excited. Are you? Say yes. <laughs> All right. I need to upgrade my gear with Veller. I need to put my socket somewhere. I can't believe I took a socket out of the vault and I have to put it in a shitty item. I'm so sad about that. Oh man, maybe I shouldn't do it. Fuck, I'm gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, I can't really hold it. I mean, I could, but <laughs> maybe I should hold it at least for the next vault. I don't know. I could hold it for, for Wednesday at least. Maybe that's better. My broken phone screen? Uh, yeah, that one is just gonna stay broken. It costs 310 euros to, um, to replace it. And yeah, that's, yeah. I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's just gonna be broken. So I have a bit of a headache and I wonder if it's because I didn't have a coffee yet. Or if it's something else. <laughs> hey, Malaya, what's up? Yeah, 310 euros to replace a phone screen? Like, that's insane. They're crazy. Pugging keys? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be pugging keys, too. It's always a fun um, adventure to Puckies. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, right? Might as well buy a new phone if you have to pay 30 to 10 euros to replace it. All right. Okay, we can figure out the gear. So how much Valor do I have? 850. You can't really do much with 850, right? Should probably just upgrade my braces and then put a socket in those or something. Or I should upgrade my belt. Maybe belt is better. Actually, how much? I don't know how much upgrading belt costs even. Best goods in the aisles. 400. Oh, I can upgrade it twice. Hmm. Versus 500. I should probably do belt because I have a socket in the belt already. Also, Return what's... Um... I guess it also depends on if we're extending or not. Because... Well, actually, it doesn't really matter. Hmm. Let's send drop demiser. What kind of belt drops in this raid? Why is the item level dispelled always wrong? This has been wrong this whole time. It does drop higher item level though, right? It's just like a dungeon journal error. What is Taro's item level? I guess it's 405. 
for a fact. No. For 15. It's just spelled right. It's a lot of verse. Probably should update my belts. Upgrade, I mean. Okay, let's assume I'm upgrading this belt. Wait a second. Uh, Demon of the Tank is really good in M+. Plus. It's nice, it's nice. Um, well, let's just pretend we're upgrading the wrist as well. Let's sim some stuff. Okay, wait, so we're done, we do this. I'm not gonna upgrade the, the cloak, right? I don't know. Also don't wanna upgrade the boots. I think boots I'm gonna... When do we gonna get the next... Um, spark? It's not next week, right? It's in two weeks. Kinda wanna craft boots afterwards. But it's too long. Let's just add this anyway, just in case there might be some weird upgrade thing going on. I assume this is even better. Uh, all right. Why does every elf have crit and haste? Oh, we don't want to sim those. Mm, okay. Okay, so what do I do with my gem? Like, I have one gem in my inventory that I could use. I could just randomly edit. Hmm. <laughs> I know where though. I probably have to add it to the bracers. Wait, what is my vault gonna be even? We only killed one mythic boss, right? Ah, shit, we have a full heroic vault. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> because we killed uh, Dierna, right? So if we would have killed one more mythic boss, I would have maybe gotten like a Dierna item. Oh well. It is what it is. Yeah, well, let's do this for now without using the sockets. So the socket is going to be the same upgrade no matter what. Except if I replace an item that I put the socket in. Which is, of course, <laughs> that would be just a tragedy. <laughs> Wait, you can socket bracers? I thought you can. You can, right? Isn't it helm, neck, bracers... Waists and rings? Yeah, okay, okay. Can you pack Aaron a cancel and get a mythic piece? No, because mythic is ID based. I have an ID where everything is dead except Rasagath. I could kill Rasagath today and then I will get a mythic vault. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, I'm curious how you do it. Well, you can buy a socket item from the vendor next to the vault. You just need the tokens from the vault. Oh, it wants me to upgrade my stupid cloak. Oh, I don't want to do that. Man, that's annoying. I want to upgrade the belt. Because <laughs> the belt is good and has a socket. Uh -huh. Well, whatever. Let's take this. Let's assume we're upgrading this. I guess the best upgrade for me in Mythic would be the trinket or a weapon. What kind of weapons are there even in a raid? There's not even that many good ones. I guess the only upgrade would be uh, the Fia ha one hand. There's only one weapon in the raid, I just realized. Because the other one drops on Ras again. So there's only one 421 weapon? Uh. Well, that's annoying. I guess I could get a 421 weapon from the plus vault. At least you're not a hunter. That's uh, that's a good point. <laughs> Very good point. It would be annoying if I would have to get a bow. All of these special items, by the way, like, do you like them? That, that's an interesting thing that I was wondering about. Like, for example, the special bows for hunters, uh, the special, like, evoker weapon, then you have, like, these special rings, you know, that do, like, extra fire damage. Do you like these things? Because I think, like, they're definitely, like, interesting, but then at the same time, I feel like your, the specs are being balanced around having them. You know what I mean? Like, so let's say you play a hunter. Then hunters are being balanced around having that weapon from Rasageth. So if you don't have it, you're fucked. You know what I mean? It's just like, then I'd rather just not have an item like that. So I don't need to have it. I think it's, I think it's just so weird. Because, yeah, it's interesting that you have, like, something special for you going on. But then at the same time, if you don't have it, you're just fucked. <laughs> Thanks for the nine months, Ganondorf. What's up? If you're a casual raider, then it's better to clear normal and sit out heroic proc to get bow in the vault. Doing heroic will just screw your chance to vault. Yeah, that's also a point. I didn't even think about that. That is a very good point, actually. And, um, yeah, I mean, that is a good point. Huh. Assuming they balance the specs around loot when they don't even balance around talents. What do you mean they don't balance around talents? They obviously do balance around talents. <laughs> or what do you mean? I'm confused. When I say balance around it, I don't mean that they... Like, balancing talents is something different. But, 
like when they're balancing numbers, damage numbers, they assume we have to tier set. Like they're not balancing anything around not having tier set, for example. That's another thing, right? Because Moonkin, for example, gets like a shit ton of damage from tier set. So if you don't have it, you're fucked because the damage that is being balanced is considering you have tier set. And the same goes with these weapons and these special items. I guess it, I mean, it makes a lot of sense, right? If, uh, like, that's just an imbalance in, in damage gain from, uh, items. Because if there's, <laughs> it is time for paint. So if there's a class, let's say Druid, that, uh, without, like, with it without force that, let's say you do, uh, I don't know. 50k DPS, right? And let's say a rogue. I don't know how much rogue gains from four piece, but I'm just gonna take rogues as an example. It might be wrong. Who, who knows? Doesn't matter. Let's say rogue without four piece is like 60k DPS, and then with four piece, druid does like 65k, and rogue does 65k, right? Now, they're going to be looking at this number here and try to balance this. They don't care about this number here. What, what should happen, in my opinion, is that this number should be balanced. And then the gain of the four set should also be balanced. So that everyone gains around the same amount. Right? So in my opinion, the way it should really work is that everyone does like 50k to start. And then four piece gives everyone like 10k or whatever. And then you all end up at 60k or whatever it may be, right? But that's just not how it works. It's like some classes gain 50% DPS from a four piece and others gain like 2%. And then they balance just like the end result of it, which in my opinion is just like really annoying because then... At that point, what's the point of tier sets and stuff even existing if you're not like a complete class without them? Christ and Fury War? Yeah, but that's the thing. I would be happy if my four piece doesn't give me a lot. Like, I think it's a downside to have a good four piece. It's actually a, a bad thing. Like in this scenario here, right? Look at this rogue druid scenario. Or imagine this is warrior, whatever. If you end up at 65k, no matter, like at the end, then wouldn't it be better to start at 60k? Like, isn't it better to have a bad four piece than to have a good one? Because having a good one is just a downside because you do, you do less damage before, right? So it's just, it's literally just bad. And the same thing goes with these hunter bows and with the evoker staff and with these like special rings and whatever, because if everyone if everyone is being balanced around the end result, then I'd rather just have items that aren't as good for me, so I don't need to have them, you know? Because <laughs> otherwise you're just fucked if you don't have them. Now that we're good with Forset, can you tell Tattles to take us out of C tier for Implas on Wow <laughs> Wait, is this Moonkin actually in C tier? Wait, is it? Did, do they even have an, like a tier list for Implas? Well, had? There is an Implas interview today, in like an hour or so. Maybe one and a half. What is mplus.subcreation.net? What's that supposed to be? Somebody open up this website and tell me. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Um, let's see, I haven't looked at this. Now, all of a sudden, this ring is an upgrade again. 
So weird. The last time I simmed it, it wasn't. But it's only a really small one anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid gloves. <laughs> okay, where's this one? I want I want these um these boots. I did BOEs. How expensive are they? Okay, so it's just like admiral upgrades. And then obviously the trinkets. And chill globe. Oh, this is a really good offense. Master haste. Damn. The Primal Council has so many good items. Crocus, another offense. Oh, yeah, these gloves are so good. Why are these bracers not better? I guess because they're crit mastery. They're 424. What? You're telling me 424 bracers are not better than 411 bracers? That's so messed up. Thank you so much for the 45 months. Aroki, what's up? Hey, Thales. Thank you so much for 62 months. Thank you. Have a wonderful day yourself. What do you think of tier sets rather than straight power power? E.g. making our dots last longer, allowing us to cast while moving in Starfall. Basically making a class easy to play rather than direct DPS upgrades. Well, okay, so I actually like um, borrowed power that is like a, um, like a quality of life upgrades. But then the problem is, <laughs> the biggest problem with borrowed power being a quality of life upgrade would be the fact that um, it is borrowed power. You know what I mean? Like imagine, imagine we would get Stellar Drift so we can cast while moving within Starfall um, as a tier set. That would feel amazing, right? But then you have to remember that next tier we would lose that bonus again. And I think that would feel so much worse if it's a quality of life upgrade rather than just like a rotational change. You know what I mean? So I don't think they can do that without people being really upset whenever they lose it. It's uh, it's main, mainly that's the issue, I think. Because um, rotational changes are nice to, to switch up. Because at some point, classes might get boring over the co course of an expansion. If you always do the same thing, you know, like your rotation is always the same, always the same, always the same then it might get boring. That's why tier sets changing up your rotation make things a bit more interesting, especially because tier sets um, are from tier to tier. So it's not uh, like you, it basically just changes up things throughout the expansion. But if it's quality of life changes, then um, it's not just changing rotation, it's literally just making your life easier, which <laughs> uh, feels really good, of course. But then when you lose it, it feels really bad. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that's something they would want to do. Yeah, I think my stat weights are a bit off. Uh, maybe, ma I don't know why mastery would be so good all of a sudden. The set bonus I remember best through all of WoW? I don't remember that. I barely remember any of my, any of the set bonuses. I think the reason why I don't rem why I don't remember set bonuses is just because you I barely remember the rotations we had before because class changed so much all the time. I don't remember f how Moonkin worked like five years ago. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't remember this though. <laughs> what about something as simple as a tier set bonus being you get like an extra talent point while it's equipped? E well that's it 
it sounds simple, but it's not actually simple, right? Because it might it might be really imbalanced depending on uh, your talents, right? Some classes might get barely anything out of an, another talent point, and other class might get like a lot. So, f but I I wouldn't mind that. <clears throat> Yeah, okay, this tier list is a, I mean, it's definitely, I think it's an interesting tier list, but are there like more, because um, it goes from plus 18 to plus 26, which in my opinion is a little bit too big of a, of a gap, you know, <laughs> like the difference between a 26 and an 18 is pretty insane. <laughs> so is there like any, like, can you change this? Can you change it to be, um specific um like a smaller like sample size or something mm. not really i guess mm -hmm. also i'm not sure if it, if there's a point to I don't like that they're um, separating melee from ranged. It makes sense for raiding to separate melee from ranged. But for plus, I'm not sure it really makes sense to separate melee from ranged because uh, having three, me three melee is not necessarily a bad thing most of the time. Like, you almost never feel like, oh, we should have another range here. It's kind of like whatever, I guess, most of the time. And... Yeah, so I think combining them would make more sense. Best comps, where's that? Oh, okay. Prot, Sabro, Balancer, Destruction, Warlock. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Hmm. I, I like how this comp here is, is up there, you know? Triple Rogue. Let's do it. Perfect. <laughs> but yeah, this is also a bit misleading, I guess. Well, mis it's not necessarily misleading, but the thing is that they'll just look at the highest runs and then there might be a certain group, like a, a group of, like like a, a set group, let's say uh, Echo or like whatever, that play together all the time and then they do really high keys and then that comp is considered the best comp, even if it might not be just because they're playing it, you know? You know what I mean? So let's say like the, the best uh, group plays this comp here. Not to say that, this, like it's not that it would ever be a bad comp, but uh, saying it might be a bit skewed, like the data might not be uh, perfect because if the players that play this comp would play a different comp, they might also be able to get the really high keys done. You know what I mean? So if this enhancement shaman that plays in this group plays that Havoc Demon Hunter, they might also have the high keys then, right? So it's a bit... Uh, it's still overall looking at it makes sense because, I mean, all, all of these classes that are on top here are all good classes, right? But saying that this is but, like the best comp or whatever is uh, maybe not true. Hmm. 
Nee, <lacht> genau so. The first come is Melts Group, ja. Yeah. <laughs> Can you just combine them in your hat or is S tier melee different from S tier ranged? Thank you so much for 28 months, Bishu. Thank you very much. Well, the reason why I'm saying that combining them would be better like combining S and uh, uh, like the melee and the range group is because like, like I'm not sure if it makes sense to put Duster Warlock and well, maybe Munkin, yes, but Duster Warlock comparing like basically Duster Warlock seems to be the same strength as Enhancement and Windwalker. And I'm not sure that's true. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like maybe it would be better to have more tiers. Maybe maybe only having S to F is not enough. <laughs> maybe you just need to make sub tiers or something. But yeah, I'm not. Sh I don't think I don't think Dastro Warlock can be compared to Enhancement and, and Windwalker personally. But but I guess it also just depends. I don't know. Thank you so much for Prime of Logic. Thank you very much. Versus Summoner K in Academy on Tree Boss. I still think that Destro is not good in Academy. I think I think in Academy you just play Affliction, right? Destro is just petting. <laughs> right? I don't know. Destro in Academy? I don't know. Wouldn't you just play Affliction? I think that makes so much more sense. Everything is pet in Academy? Well, no. No. It's it's really not. There's there's some classes who gain more single target damage by having smaller ads die around the big targets. Specifically Affliction. Because <laughs> Affliction gains a shit ton of damage onto the main target by smaller ads dying around the main target, right? So, because of Soul Flame. So that's why uh, Affliction is not necessarily petting, it's literally like more single target damage. Thank you, Logic. Thank you very much. How about this Guardian? I have no idea. Hey, D, what's up? How are you doing? Thanks again for 28 months, Bishu. How are you doing? I love Ginny and Georgia. It was such a good show. I'm sad that I watched it all now. <laughs> I'm upset. Oh, I, I believed. Yeah, I can totally see how Destro might not be that good in 15 keys or lower. I mean, there's quite a lot of classes that are just not good in 15 keys or lower. It's mainly like a ranged issue, I think. Also, why is Feral ranked so high? I, mean, I guess Feral is actually... I guess Feral is decent. I don't know how, how good Feral is um, damage-wise. They have a lot of utility, especially if you don't play Arrested Druid. Then they bring Mark of the Wild and all that stuff. All the Druid utility. I guess most uh, most most Druids just play. Um, 
Moonkin, so it's hard to tell. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> Oops. What is my key again? Temple. I think I need a temple. And a halls. I don't know why we never time halls, I swear to god. Halls is just like... I think the timer in halls is, a, is actually a bit hard. I feel like we always deplete that key. I need a court. My court is only 22. What you gonna do? It's a fango. I need to deal with temples water at AoE. Most tanks just last it and burn, but I think Munkin is kind of survive it on 18 plus. Water at AoE. Oh, you line of sight it. You just go line of sight and then it doesn't hit you. Or which water at do you mean? Just on the left side? The water elementals? Yeah, that one you just line of sight. Oh my god, I can't tap. <laughs> Huge! The tank pulls in an area where he can't last. Well, you're a Moonkin, right? So you have range? So that means you should almost... Like, as a range player, you always find a spot to, to line in that area because it's, I mean, it's tiny, it's corridors everywhere, right? So as a, rain, as a Moonkin, you should almost always find a spot to line of sight. Unless you're not using your range properly. Because it's, it's such a tiny hallway. Right? I mean, if you look at the hallway here... Here's the first elemental, right? So no matter where the tank, um, no matter where the tank tanks this elemental, either you lost here, if the if it's here, and if he tanks it like uh, on on this side, then he just lost it here. Um, like no no matter where the boss tank uh, the tank tanks it, you can always land here or or here, right? Then for the next elemental, there's another one here. Uh, you either stay back here. And he lost around this corner. Or if the... I don't know, like, if, if the tank tanks it here, then he can lose here under this corner. Um, and then there's another elemental here, right? So if the, if the tank pulls them where they are, then you again move back to this corner. Just stand here. Um, and you can also line offside the water spray, by the way. Which is again, not everyone does that, but this Hydro Lance here, Hydro Lance. Um, if it's on you, you can just line up side it, because as a Moonkin, uh, you don't have a lot of um, interrupts. And that's something that a lot of players maybe don't do correctly. Where, like, if you run a Moonkin and they don't have Solar Beam, pulling two water speakers is maybe not the best idea uh, on higher keys. 
because you will run out of interrupts. But um, as I said, you can line of sight the Hydra lens, and then it might not even be that bad if it's on you at least, and the other if the other people understand they shouldn't interrupt it on you. So like if you're in voice chat and you pull the water speakers, just tell them don't interrupt the Hydra lens if it's on me, because you can just line of sight, right? Because it's the melee is cannot line of sight if the tank is tanking it here. Um, so just interrupt the water or the hydro lances that are in the melee players, and if it's in a range, then just line it and don't interrupt it. Oops. But either way, you should always find a spot to line, right? It's a really fast cast though, so you need to pay attention. Because the, the the cast of the like the tainted ripple is a really fast cast. So you need to make sure you're ready. Like you just need to move your character all the way to the corner. And then as soon as the cast comes out, you move to the side, right? Because obviously if you stand really far away from the corner, then you won't make it to the line of sight spot. And thank you so much for gifting three months of stuff to Tatsu. Appreciate that, Cross. And thanks for 13 months, Gluxton. What's up? Let's see. Uh, you know how to skip second mobs before last boss. Oh, yeah. That's a new strategy, right? I like it. Da, 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 da. I'm actually gonna play um, Power of Goldrin here because I don't want a ninja pool stuff with my <laughs> fairies. <laughs> thanks for a month, sis. Uh, Sarah Cyrex, and thanks for friends up. Uh, Ho Horst Schlipsen. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right, uh, let's do this. Actually, I'm gonna go with this. Thanks for two months, Sanjos. Best time to cast Nature's Vigil is on cooldown. You just always press it when it's ready. Because you can... You should definitely bind it into your cooldown macro. So whenever you use Incarn, you always use uh, Vigil as well. And then you use it um, when it's ready. To make sure it's ready again for when you use your cooldowns next. Good. Um, you are here. I welcome Onara's rage. When the winds are still... I will suspect the worst. The Tirai, Shikar, and Onir clans must rally to free her and defeat Balakar. Thanks for 69 months, Kunar. What's up? Nice. Do Let's what go. Must be done to prepare them. Our also, um, forces will meet outside Nokodun Hold. I will await you there. I would recommend having a weak guard that kind of reminds you, uh, like when it's ready, that it's like lit up or whatever, like glowing constantly to make sure that you don't forget about using it whenever it's ready outside of your cooldowns. Do you know Moonkins can kill people with war mode off? When you see people whose health bar is visible, it's hilarious watching them panic and confused. Wait, what? I'm confused. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, uh, buffs. Thank you so, so much. I didn't watch any of the progress, if you know. Uh, wh why was it interesting? Should I have watched it? I was thinking I'm gonna check some stuff out later for the raids. If there was anything uh, important. Hmm. Five, All right. Four, three, two. Shit, I should have upgraded one. my items. Good. You are here. I welcome Onara's rage. When the winds are still, I will suspect the worst. The Tirai, Shikar, and Onir clans. Must rally to free her and defeat Balakar Khan. I can spare no hunters for the Kanamatra now. The proto dragon Granith was nearly in our grasp when Balakar's warriors ambushed us. We must retake our weapons of war and drive the Nobu back. When Granith's blood soaks the ground, our purposes can align. Stupid, Stupid bird is chasing me.
five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god. So oh. That was so close. The other person that I was chasing didn't have a care in the world, though. Whoever that was. Maybe it was the tank. Then I would like, excuse it. Answer to me. Five. Well done. Keep retaking the weapons. Two more remain. I'm glad my glad my full moon procked on uh, the shade. Oh my god. Ah, my health. The elements answer to me. Nearly there. See to the final weapon. Hmm. Thanks for 66 gifts, man. What's up? Hope you had a nice weekend.
Granite has landed. Die. Strike now. This land is mine. Tremble before primal power. Die. Ready to fire. Let fly. Let fly. This boss is so annoying. Destroy. With the voice lines. And dismantle. Why are there two? Excuse me? Is that... What? Die. This land is mine. Tremble. Ready to fire. Red let fly. Never seen that before. Destroy and dismantle. And now we get another one into the same. What? I'm so confused. <clears throat> Die! This land is mine. Trem Ready to fire. Ready to let fly. Let fly. Destroy. Are we just playing the boss differently or something? And dismantle. Oh, there's a, there's a lot of them. Die. This land is mine. I guess this one doesn't matter. Ready to fire. Ready, let fly. Let fly. Yeah, I have no idea what uh, happened, what just happened, friend, or what the special technology is. But I'll, hold. I'll think about this later. <laughs> it must be some special tech. Clan No Kud has used Onara's song to conjure an avatar of the storm. By lightning. Blasphemy. The storm must be quieted and the elemental within it defeated before Clan Omir can join the Kanamatra. Their primalist allies have Five, placed totems that four, protect this raging three, tempest. Two, Find them and destroy them. Truly a blasphemous idol. Continue your work. And yeah, this might be interesting, this area. It's, we'll see. Him. We don't have that many drops. I mean, we have, we have an invoker, so maybe it's fine. Maybe we're okay. I think I'm gonna save this proc. Where are we going? The elements answer to me! Five. Oh, that was... I'm just gonna use my cooldowns here as well. Know that it's better like if you have a if you're using starfire it's better to starfire an off target instead of the main target because it does more damage on the splash than it does on the on the map that you're targeting Oh, wow. 
five. The primalist power weakens. Oh my god. <laughs> Totem, quickly! Um, the carbonara. I, I only cooked for two people, so I still have some left. It's really good. I honestly didn't see, like, didn't taste a super big difference to the carbonara I usually cook, which back in Parmesan. The I don't know, it felt kind of the same. It was really good though. A little bit too salty, which is funny because oh. I didn't add any salt. It was just like Guanchala being so salty. So uh, I, I don't think you can change that. I think that's just how it is. Mm, should I delay my cooldowns a little bit? I think I do. Until we have some sex. Sorry, I have to be a bit closer for the evoker. But I need to get some stacks. The elements answer to me! Oh, wow. Oh, it hurts. Oh, I'm so upset. My stacks! I'm gonna take these from the tank because the tank already has 10 stacks. Electric storm soon. Can I get one of those? The elements answer to me. I'm gonna. Five. Nice. Nah. 
Lost my breath again. I think this boss would be so e much easier if you coordinated better with the uh, sex. Today we use Onara's gifts to free her. We will journey to Nokudin Hold. Fly, outsider. Valakar's power grows. <laughs> Clan Ukel has allied with Clan Nokud. Today, they will regret that alliance. Oh. <laughs> they have desecrated the graves of our first grave. ancestors, Tira and Maruk. Destroy these grave robbers and return our ancestors to their rest before they are forced to fight in Balakar's name. The elements answer to me! Five, four, Oh shit. Is it Starfall pulling these mobs? Are they like considered in combat or something? Because I swear, like whenever I'm doing this dungeon, I, you all, like, I always pull them. Or is, is it just like... Um, it could also just be that it's proximity aggro. And as soon as they're pulled, I'm the one having aggro? Because it's Starfall hitting them as soon as we're in combat with them? I don't know. I guess it could be either or. Dude, where am I? Into so 90 months, half and half. What's up? I am the messenger of death. Where's my soul? The wind is so hard to see, like, the frontal of these birds. The elements answer to me! Five. Four. Raise me. Again. The messenger of death. Shit, did all the other people use their cooldowns as well? Jesus. Why is this pack dying so fast? Answer to me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Raise. Raise me again. Five. <laughs> well. <laughs> that 
know, something. I will stop on your grave. Again. Oh shit, are we doing boss now? Because I don't have cooldowns. No oh well. I didn't reset. Huh. Necromancers? On our sacred grounds? On our sacred this grounds? Is what it, you shall pay for this blasphemy with your lives. Flee before me! Is the end, defilers. Did they nerf this shot, by the way? Like, I feel like it did so much more damage before. Away from him! Guides my arrows. Flee <laughs> before me. Away from him. The elements answer to me! Flee before me! So what is it actually? Okay, so I have a question about Demon Hunters. What is... What makes Demon Hunters so good? Like, is there like a specific thing? Or is it just like all of their abilities are kind of doing insane damage? Because I feel like they're just kind of good at everything, right? End, defilers. Like they're good at AoE, they're good at single target, they're good at two targets, they're good at, like, everything. <laughs> Maybe they're not so good at, cons like, really big AoE pulls. My children. Like, unkept stuff, maybe not so much, I don't know.
The elements answer to me! Five. The elements answer to me! Five, four, three. Yeah, Rogue's house is really good, obviously. They're also just good at everything, I feel like. <laughs> Sequence, thank you very much. Oh, wait, are we playing them after all? My storm will bring forth I guess we were missing a pack or something. Greatness awaits us. I'll save my pulse of proc. The elements oh. <laughs> so to me. I almost fucked into that one. Your skulls will shatter beneath my hooves. Stop chasing me! Oh my god, the full moon procced on it. Oh. That's just so annoying. Me. 
slashed and skewered! I don't have cool lines for intermission. We we're blasting this boss too much. You will be trampled in the elephant eagle mother will not gift me her power. I will take it. This land is our birthright. Five, four. What? Oh. Um, that's fuck me. Ah, <laughs> uh, we have four battle rests, but I don't know if any one of them has uh, the engineering item. <clears throat> I got, yeah, I got zero bolt, I guess. One hundred ninety-five k. I mean, I can still do it with four people. Man, it sucks that the. Um, Oh wait, he actually had it! Oh my god. I'm so impressed right now. Please, liar. I will defend my The elements answer to me! I'm actually so impressed he's got engineer rest. That is so nice. A feeble deal to the strong! No! <laughs> well, we need another one. My <laughs> well, that, uh, yep, that happened. At least we're having a very nice floor POV here. <laughs> From inside. No, 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 no. <laughs> From inside these uh, swirlies. It gives you a little bit of a like. Like, it's like I'm um, recording a, a movie, you know? I'm setting the scene. Starfire and Wrath, honestly, just press whatever you want. Like, Fear my wrath. just do whatever you want, honestly, it doesn't matter. It's too complicated. Ancestors. Just press Wrath whenever you feel like pressing Ancestors. Wrath, and press Starfire whenever you feel like pressing Starfire. <laughs> Thalakar's weapon will be broken. <laughs> He will not take a place of honor with the Ancestor Khans. My thanks. All right. Onara now flies free, and without Falakar's influence, Clan Nokud may heal. <laughs> Seven. Then this must be Nagany because you're griefing this key. Two things, okay? Whoa, 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 whoa. Number one, Nagany never griefed a key. <laughs> Number two, I wasn't griefing this key either. It's not my fault if they don't interrupt. <laughs> I'm sorry, but do I look like I can interrupt? Do I look like I have an interrupt? <laughs> it's not my fault. No, there's no cap on how many servers you can up, have up at the time, except your GCD. Your GCD will hold you back. I 
I'm gonna be right back one second. And then I think we watched the interview. What do you think about that? The Amplast interview. Okay, they're back.
it. I paused the interview, go watch it. We're gonna watch it on stream together now. But do me a favor and click the YouTube link so I get some views on my YouTube channel. That'd be nice. Oh. Well, first of all, first of all, <laughs> wait. Yeah, make sure you click the YouTube link. You can uh, leave it open in the background, mute it, and watch it with me together, right? So I get some views and some watch time. <laughs> Give it a like, you know, all those things. All right, let's go over it. Let's do this or that. Let's do this. All right, first of all, I have to, <laughs> first of all, I have to tell you about, I know that people are going to complain about this, um, but <laughs> the, the recording that they sent me, um, like whenever I spoke, his camera is not there. Like we don't have his camera point of view whenever I'm speaking. And I know that people are going to be complaining because um, my editor just put me on full screen whenever I was speaking because we don't have the camera of Matt Villers whenever I'm speaking. So that's why that is. It's not because of any other reasons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so sorry about that, but I know people are going to be complaining. So I wanted to say thank you so much for doing this interview. That's awesome. And I quickly wanted to ask if you would be so nice to introduce yourself in case some people don't know who you are. Yeah, so uh, I'm Matt Villers. I'm uh, one of two leading counter designers on the World of Warcraft team. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I've been on the team for about four years now and uh, very excited to be here. Nice. All right. Nice. Well, uh, we're going to be talking about M plus a little bit, which I'm very excited about. I love M uh, Let's make this a bit louder. Is it too plus, loud now? Especially in Dragonflight. So the first question I wanted to ask is um, if your like, design philosophy changed for Mythic Plus ever since... So I said this wrong. I, was, I wanted to ask if your design philosophy changed for dungeons ever since Mythic Plus became a big thing. But he, know, he knew the question, so he answered it properly. Mythic Plus became so such know. a big thing in World of Warcraft. I think at the really high level, most of the things that make a good dungeon also make a good Mythic Plus dungeon. We have things that we try to accomplish, like uh, having a dungeon tell a story, feel like a real space with you know, real things living there. Uh, we try to offer a variety of layouts and gameplay challenges. All of those things are things that play really well into making a good Mythic Plus dungeon as well. So that hasn't really changed a lot. Uh, there are some lessons that we've learned along the way, though. Uh, one of the big ones is we try to plan ahead now for longer bosses. So you'll think of things like uh, a boss that fills up the space with fire. Uh, in the past, it might have been, oh yeah, it'll just fill up the space and eventually you run out of time. But on Mythic Plus, you know, we actually expect longer boss fights. So we start to think about like, hey, maybe the fire should expire faster. Maybe you know, on Elise in Halls of Atonement, the container should respawn after a while, things like that. Uh, mm -hmm. We also try to think about player choice, uh, things like, hey, what are ways that we can let you make decisions about your route? Because we want you to express mastery through Mythic Plus and feel good about the choices that you've made. And part of that is having decisions that you can make along the way. Okay. Let's see here. I don't know if you have any other questions. I can, I can keep going, but I didn't want to. Uh, yeah, no, definitely keep going if you have anything <laughs> right. else. Yeah, so two other big ones. Um, RP, uh, that's something that we get a lot of player feedback about and we try to be mindful of. We love RP. Uh, sometimes, uh, like in Tazavesh, we did this. We would actually cut out some of the RP if there aren't really opportunities to optimize, especially at the very start. But there are also cool moments like in Freehold with the Ring of Booty where you can actually make strategic choices. And in those cases, we leave the RP in to, uh, to let players figure out how to do that. Uh, and then the last big one is randomness. We try to uh, to implement some control over that for Mythic Plus so that it's not completely random so that you can kind of plan your route out. So things like Fenrir uh, on a given week is going to be on a specific side and not switch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. And I guess um, some of the issues, like some of this RP and this randomness that we still have in the old dungeons. So when they ever, when they come back into the M plus pool, I guess it's going to be harder for you to adjust that because you would have maybe like have to change the whole dungeon or like a whole boss fight. But with the new dungeons, I definitely see that happening a lot less, that there's like long RPs. I guess a good point would be Halls of Valor, where like in the last boss, there's so many downtimes. But is there any plans like maybe shortening that or do you just leave it in there? For Halls of Valor, it, it was kind of such a classic thing that we, we almost couldn't bear to do it. it. 
uh, if yeah. that makes sense. Uh, but it absolutely in general is a fair point. Uh, also, I do want to call out even when we bring back legacy dungeons for Mythic Plus, like we've done this time around, uh, we do want to try to address some of those pain points. Um, one notable one is uh, we don't randomize the boss and temple of the Jade Serpent. So like, we're absolutely willing to do that work to make sure that it's a good experience. All right. Sounds um yeah, so basically he said the health of Valor RP at the end will not get shortened. He basically said he felt like they had to keep it there because it's such a I don't know. Like because I don't know, I guess it's 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 nostalgia or I don't know. He basically said he, they felt bad for removing it's iconic. Yeah. I don't know. It's important, RP. I mean, I, I understand the point, I guess. But, yeah. The, I guess this... Because whatever else he was saying, that um, he basically said that there's some RP that um, people find interesting ways to optimize the downtime by doing other things, which, in my opinion, is true. And I think that is a pretty cool thing about him. Plus, is that people really find ways to optimize everything. Uh, so whenever there are downside downtimes in RP, they will just they will make sure to trigger it earlier and then go back and do other trash, or they pull trash maps into the RP, blah blah blah. Stuff like that I think is pretty cool, right? So I don't think uh you would have to move like every single RP point in the game. Like I don't think that's necessary. Um, but at the same time, there's some RP like the Halls of Valor RP specifically, is where you really just cannot do anything else. Like there's like what are you gonna do on Odin? Uh like there's just no trash around that he could be pulling in there. Yeah. Like it, it's at that point you just have to wait, right? Which I do think is the RP that most people are annoyed about, is the one where they really cannot make any optimizations. Um but yeah, you specifically said that that one is like iconic and therefore they don't wanna remove it, I guess. Uh which is fine. Then he also said that they are removing RNG stuff, which they have done in the past. Not always. I think there's definitely some times where they could have improved the RNG. But uh, he had a good point with Fenrir, that Fenrir always spawns on the same side now instead of it being RNG, which um, is, of course, good. And then he also said the temple um, rotation just not being random anymore, which, to be honest, I completely even forgot that that was a thing. And yeah, but there's still some RNG stuff that I think is a bit weird that they maybe could be addressing as well. For example, the rotation of Medivh uh, in Upper Karasan that they never addressed in uh, on Life Keys. They did fix it for the MDI specifically, but I was thinking they could also have fixed it for Life Keys, but oh well. That's good. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I do have two questions that are maybe... I'm not even sure if this is true, but <laughs> one of the questions space, I was yeah. asking myself is that are you designing dungeons specifically to like hold players back in like what they can do by designing, you know, platforms or walls that don't open up until you have done a certain thing or the squad leaders that we've seen implemented that basically reduce AOE damage uh, onto the mobs. Is that like a philosophy or is that something you do on purpose or is it just happening? Yeah, so that goes a little bit back to kind of the layouts and variety of challenges thing I was talking about above. Uh, I mean, I think we all know that by default, uh, players will try to solve every problem with mass CC, with AOE, and, you know, that's okay to an extent, right? Like our dungeons offer a lot of freedom and, and we really like that. We let you choose how to approach things. But we do also want to, again, stress demonstrating mastery, uh, especially in Mythic Plus, and that includes mastery of your player toolkit. Uh, you know, if we limit your preferred strategy with some of the challenges that we throw at you, that means that maybe you care about your other tools. Maybe you want to explore the new talent system and try different things out. Maybe you care a little bit more about single target, about utility, or maybe it means that you have to find creative ways to do, you know, bigger pulls like in Mist of Turn Scythe, where we initially had this setting of, oh yeah, you have to kill things to open the door, but players found creative ways with their class toolkits to get more, more, pull, more of a bigger pull in there, which actually was really cool, I thought. Yeah, that was also... Uh, would have to because I like the maze in general, but if you couldn't have pulled stuff through there, I guess it would have gotten boring eventually when you always have to pull like three mobs, four mobs, one mob, right? So yeah, that's a good point, I guess, that people always find these creative ways to play around these things that are trying to hold you back. Yeah, we love seeing uh, how players figure out how to deal with the challenges that we throw at them. And then sometimes you hotfix them if it's uh, going too far, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, we, absolutely. We're always listening to player feedback, and you know. 
So here, I think he misunderstood my question because I was basically saying that they hot fix stuff if people are going too far with like going around um, restrictions. Like basically, I I've meant to like, for example, um, in King's Rest, when people would jump over like wall the wall to not pull the mini boss and like pull the other. Obviously, like understand why they're hot fixing that <laughs> because at that point it's not just like a a small thing at that point it's like a really big thing and it's also like hard for a person that isn't into super high and plus that has not a lot of experience to replicate those things and i think it makes sense to fix that because at that point you have to know some like very specific things like oh there's a invisible wall but you can like wall jump over it and it's like you know like it definitely is a bit weird and i think it's okay that they yeah, we're playing that. ourselves too like Mythic Plus is, is a big thing for me. I play it a bunch, especially on the weekends. And, yeah, we're spending you know, the We're feeling the same things that players are feeling, and we're listening to the feedback. And yeah, we're, we're very happy to make changes along the way. All right, cool. Uh, then I have another question, which I'm not sure if everyone would agree of course, on so. this one, but I was just asking or thinking, would mm. it make sense to make some of the dungeons a little bit easier when it comes to like the amount of abilities the trash mobs are casting, considering that we're changing the plus seasons now to completely shuffle the dungeons through every season. Yeah, that's a really good point. And that's something that we thought about a lot going into to Dragonflight and thinking about the future of our Mythic Plus seasonal rotation. Uh, it, it actually is real. You know, when you have 12, 18 months to master a dungeon, you have a lot more time to figure out every little thing. But it, it's it's a big deal when you go into one that you've never seen before. It can feel a lot more difficult. So we have been thinking about like, okay, how do we address that? And one of the big changes was around the seasonal ethics. Uh, we tried to do something that was not quite so transformative, not your main focus so that you could focus on learning the dungeon. Uh, you know, as a designer, it's very tempting to, you have a lot of cool ideas that you're excited about. You wanna tell a really cool story, but you have to kind of be mindful of how many things are competing for the player's attention. What are you asking them to do? Uh, and with that in mind, we think about both enemy design, affix design, Sometimes we have to create special rules for fairness. Uh, quaking is a big example that we'll get feedback on sometimes. Uh, Iron Docks being one of the most recent examples where on the last boss, you all get pulled on top of each other. If quaking happens at the same time, hmm. you're having a bad day. So yeah. we'll actually put in protections for something like that to, uh, to make sure that you don't get uh, unfairly blown up. Uh, we have also been watching for Dragonflight Dungeons specifically, cases where things either have a lot going on. Uh, we've pulled a couple of abilities off of trash mobs, uh, notably the tiny fire elementals and ruby life pools. Uh, they used to have a cast, they don't anymore. Uh, we've slowed down a couple bosses. Uh, Overgrown Ancient is one that uh, uh, I've heard definitely people talk about. I had the experience of getting blown up myself and we, we agreed. We were like, there's there's too much going on here. We need to, <laughs> to kind of slow things down just a bit. Uh, and hopefully folks are feeling the effects of that. But you know, we're keeping a good eye on it. Again, watching player feedback and we will continue to adjust to make sure things feel good. All right, sounds good. Yeah. Be um... All right, so you basically said they're going to keep an eye on it because the reason why I asked this question was because um, specifically because they are switching the plus pool all the time. And I've noticed, um, and I think I'm going to talk about this in a second as well. I've no noticed that if players know that certain dungeons are only going to be in a pool for one season, then they feel like, sometimes I feel like they don't want to learn the dungeon properly because they know it's going to be gone afterwards. So a lot of people, because in general, I think and plus is already very difficult to learn properly for players because there's just so many, um, like there's just so many things you have to learn from experience because it's very difficult to learn a whole dungeon by just like reading a guide. Like there's just so many abilities because each trash mob sometimes has like two, three abilities, and then there's like uh, 50 different trash mobs in a dungeon and the bosses, right? So you have to you have to learn all of these different abilities plus the interactions of these abilities with the affixes. So I was thinking that lowering the amount of abilities of the trash a bit might help people to get into M plus, just because I, yeah, I just have the feeling that a lot of people are just generally overwhelmed by the amount of abilities that are happening. Um, it takes so long for you to learn it properly. Like you can play a dungeon literally 20 times and you still don't know every ability and you still don't know exactly what everything does. And that can be annoying and just feels like completely overwhelming, especially when you know that the dungeon is gonna be gone next season, right? So if you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm spending all of this time uh, learning these dungeons and then next season it's gonna be gone, right? So yeah, I was, and he basically just said that they're gonna keep an eye on it. 
Um, he didn't necessarily say that they're gonna lower the amount of abilities, but he did say that uh, they're gonna keep an eye on it. And I do think that it's generally a, a bit better now than it has been with like older dungeons, because usually it's the old dungeons that they bring back that have like overwhelming amounts of abilities sometimes. For example, um, like Laura Karasan, I guess is like the best example, where there was just so many things you would have to know to understand Lower Karasan properly. And I think that was like, I feel like 95% of the players just did not know how Lower Karasan worked. I mean, the, you know it like generally speaking, but you didn't know what every single trash mob does, right? It's, um, like one example I have, for example, is Lower Karasan is one of my most favorite dungeons. But a lot of people, especially people that haven't played it in the past, felt completely overwhelmed and that's why they didn't mm. like it. They felt like it's really hard to pug because uh, so many people don't know the mechanics and then they don't interrupt the proper thing and it's just overwhelming. And I felt so bad because I was thinking, oh my God, if you would just know all of the abilities, you would actually <laughs> like it. But yeah, it's understandable that people don't want to learn it if it's only like a se one season, right? Yeah, it's fair. And anytime I get feedback, I'm always thinking about that. Is, is this a thing where... You know, maybe if you just play it a couple more times, you'll learn it because that's cool, right? It, learning is, yeah. is really exciting. It's a, it's a fun part of playing the game, mastering the dungeons, but we also don't want to overdo it. You know, does it get to the point where even if you have learned it, it still feels really overwhelming? And if that's the case, then that's a, a spot where we try to maybe maybe dial things back a little bit. All right. Yeah, it makes Okay. Yeah. So you basically just said they're keeping an eye on it and they might dial back some abilities if they see stuff like that. But then at the same time, you also said, um, if they get feedback early, then he's asking himself, is he getting this feedback because people just don't know the dungeon yet? Or is it genuine feedback? And I get that worry, right? Because sometimes people are judging a dungeon so quickly, like after playing it once or twice, people are immediately, oh my God, I hate this dungeon. But then maybe you're just you just hate it because you don't know exactly what every mob does and you're just getting uh like i don't know like you're doing a dungeon and you just die a couple of times and you're frustrated and you maybe you died because you didn't handle the abilities properly though you know like maybe uh you just have to get better to figure out when to use your stuns your interrupts or whatever right thank you so much for prime melmers appreciate it this mechanic is fucked no outplay second time pulling a trash bag on beta <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> Sense. After two months, I think we know Dragonflight Dungeons suck. Well, I I heavily disagree. I think... Uh, like, I personally like all of the Dragonflight Dungeons that we have in this pool. Um, I like No Kid Offensive a lot. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I like it. I think it's fun. Uh, I... The, the least favorite, in my opinion, is Astro Vault. Astro Vault, it's not that I hate Astro Vault, but I think it's a bit, yeah, I don't know. Like, there's some parts of the dungeon where I'm just like, yeah. Otherwise, I think it's okay. Academy is good. And then what's the last one? Ruby Life Pools. I think Ruby Life Pools is also good. It's definitely difficult, Ruby Life Pools, but just because something is difficult doesn't mean that it's, that it's bad. So I, I personally like the Dragonflight Dungeons. But I know that there are some people who don't like it. All right, so since we're, we're talking about thundering, I do have a question about that as well. Yeah. Um, first of all, do you like the way thundering is right now, the way it worked out? And do you want to do similar seasonal affixes to thundering in the future? Yeah, so I think to start with, I would say we're happy with thundering overall. Uh, I mentioned earlier, we kind of set up with this goal of having a seasonal affix that's not completely taking over the dungeon, that isn't your, your primary focus. We wanted something that felt a little bit lighter, but still really flavorful, still captured that kind of primalist Razaga theme. So with that in mind, we wanted to have it feel like it was meaningful, but not you know take up tons of space. And the solution that we arrived there was, okay, this will happen sometimes. We will give you a pretty generous window to deal with it. You, know, you kind of have opt-in difficulty. You can clear it right away, say, you know what, we just don't want to think about this. Or you can say, I want to optimize this and I'm okay with the fact that now I'm going to do some mechanics alongside it and seeing players interact with that and, and slowly get better at it over time has been really cool to watch. As far as the future, we're still thinking about it. Uh, there are many ways that we could go. Maybe we try something completely different for season two. Maybe we don't have a seasonal affix at all. Uh, there's still kind of discussion going. We're still watching, learning, uh, and again, really welcoming feedback on that. 
All right, so I do have... Um, okay, so Thundering, I know a lot of people really hate Thundering. I personally don't hate it. I think it's a... I personally think it's a good ethics for what it's supposed to do. Because um, people are comparing Thundering with the previous seasonal ethics. And if that if that's what I would be doing, then I would also think Thundering sucks. But the thing is, um, they have said, which makes a lot of sense, that they don't want the seasonal ethics to be the same as it used to be. Um, because, as Mad Village just explained, because the purpose of a seasonal ethics in the past was to really change up the dungeons because the dungeons don't change themselves, right? Because previously we had the same dungeons in the first season than in the last season. We always just had the same dungeons. So the seasonal ethics's purpose was to change up the dungeons so much that you would change your route around the ethics and like play around it so the dungeons feel fresh. Right, but we don't need that anymore because um, we are changing the whole dungeon pool. All eight dungeons are going to be changed from first season to second season. So having a seasonal affix that completely changes the way you play dungeon is a bad thing. Because why would it do that? Like, what's the point of having an affix that you completely play around if the dungeons are completely new to you and you haven't like even played them before? Like, it's the first time you play them, right? So that's why um, he just explained. Thundering is supposed to be uh, something that you do care about, and it's a themed thing that is around, you know, a vault of incarnates, Rasageth, blah, blah, blah. Um, but it's not supposed to, like, completely alter the way you play a dungeon, which I think was successful. Like, I do think Thundering does not completely change the way you play a dungeon, right? Uh, but it is something you have to react to and you have to play uh, around it, right? So, and it's also, like, the difficulty of the affix you can choose how difficult it will be for you. Like he basically said that uh, you can clear it immediately if you don't want to bother with it, or you like min-max it for your damage and you just keep it up for longer, right? So I do think having a little bit of freedom to how you deal with the affix is also a good thing. So I personally think thundering is, is good. I know, as I said, a lot of people disagree with me. <laughs> Everyone can have their opinions. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about thundering is um, specifically the way tanks have to deal with it. And I'm, I'm, I'm talking about that in just a second. I guess I'm just going to uh, show you what he said about that. Another question about Thundering since we're talking about it. And yeah. I think a lot of people um, gave feedback about, like specifically tanks don't like Thundering mm. because whenever they get the red debuff, uh, they have to clear it with somebody. And since there's a lot of frontals and tanks have to do so much already in Mythic Plus, they have so much responsibility and things to look out for. Sometimes uh, it can cause you to wipe because the damage dealer doesn't walk to the tank or they walk in and you mm. get killed from a frontal, frontal. So I'm wondering if there's something that you might want to change with that or is there something you're thinking about changing that the tank maybe can't get the red debuff or or do you think that's okay and people have to figure it out? It's a good call out. We are watching the feedback on this. Our hope is that with the amount of time that we give you, you can find some downtime in between to, to make that clearing happen. But uh, we are open to potential adjustments. Maybe we give you a tiny bit more time. I don't want to promise anything, but uh, okay. uh, absolutely watching that. It is it is one of the things that we have heard. But uh, we're also seeing players, again, get better at it over time. So we don't want to overreact just yet. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. So he did say that they acknowledge the feedback at least for the tanks but yeah if they're gonna do anything i don't know <laughs> he basically just said they're gonna listen to feedback for it this dungeon focusing gets out of hand there is a lot more to the game this is an interview about m plus <laughs> of course we're focusing on, on m plus it's an interview about him plus. <laughs> the problem is that Thundering is a genuine DPS loss. That is false. Any 5% HP to all enemies in a dungeon on top of the key level modifier is a huge problem. And big reason for many keys being harder on time than previous seasons. Wait, excuse me, why would you think that Thundering is a DPS loss? That makes no sense. You're saying that the uh, the time that it takes you to clear the debuff is less than what you gain?
Basically, if you complain more, then they will change it. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I wish seasonal affixes wasn't so punishing. Thundering literally, you want to see if you missed it. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Like, I do think uh, they could make it either less punishing or they could... Uh, give you more time. I, I, I feel like giving you more time to clear it is not a solution. Because honestly, the reason... Most of the time, the reason why you die to thundering is not because you don't have enough time. It's because people clear it the last couple of seconds and if some other ability happens at the same time then you don't manage to clear it and that won't change just because the duration is longer right like if they increase the duration i think the same thing is going to happen just later right because that's almost always why people die to thundering thundering gets applied you're like, oh my god, nice, more damage, blah, blah, blah. And then at the last five seconds, you're like, oh my god, I need to clear Thundering. And you like walk around and, and it's fucked up, right? Now, people get better at clearing Thundering because um, they've had things happen to them. Like, for example, on certain boss fights, you know, oh, um, in, in seven seconds, we're all going to be pushed back and spread out. So we have to clear Thundering before that happens. And people do get better at that, I think. Um, but yeah, that's usually when it happens, I guess. Um, all right, so since you were also talking about like maybe not having a seasonal affix, I was also wondering if you ever considered having less ac active affixes per week, since, you know, the dungeon pool changes every season now, so maybe we don't need to have four affixes, or is that something that uh, you don't know yet or you're not considering? It's something we have discussions about a lot. I, I would say it's... Yeah, I'm confused, Money Hater. You're saying... You're you're assuming that people have more that mobs have more HP because of thundering. But I don't think that's the case. I'm confused. Like you're basically saying that the mobs have five percent more HP because thundering is in, in the game? Oh, okay, okay. So you're basically assuming that that will not happen with with other affixes as well. Okay, okay, I see what you're saying. So you're basically saying the thundering because of the 5% uh, extra, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, that could be, but that does, okay, so you, I mean, I get your point, but I do think that the, that's the purpose of the affix. Like, I don't think the affix is supposed to um, give you like a million more damage, like a million more DPS in, in the dungeon. Like, it's not supposed to be the way uh, other affixes worked. I think that's where the, the like disconnect comes from. Like the affix is not supposed to make things necessarily easier for you. It's also not supposed to make uh, like um, the dungeon route completely different. I think it's just supposed to be like an affix that has a theme that changes the way you play the dungeon barely, but you have to affect, you have to like play around the affix the way you want. Cause you can time the keys, um, by immediately clearing the affix you know like you can literally like as thundering gets applied you could immediately clear it and you can still time your keys you know and if you're just saying that in the past we were able to do higher keys then i'm asking myself why does that matter like because i personally don't think it makes any sort of difference like what why is it better to be able to do higher keys as long as we're able to do 20 keys without having to deal with the affix? You know what I mean? Like, if plus 20 keys are fine, because that's the highest reward we get, right? Plus 20 is the highest reward. If you do higher, you get no extra rewards at all. And we can do 20s just fine, even if you clear Thundering immediately, right? If you instantly clear Thundering, you'll be able to do plus 20 keys. Guaranteed, right? with like the, the item level that you're supposed to have for plus 20s. Now, I personally don't see a difference if the highest keys that we can do is at 24 or a 26 or a plus 30. Like, I don't think there that has anything, like I don't think that has any relevance, right? Personally. Or do you think so? Because I, I don't care if the highest keys are 30 or 25 because it always depends on the diff because 
as soon as keys are higher than 20, then the only purpose at that point is like score and the rank one title, right? And those two things are just dependent on what other people are doing. And at that point, it doesn't matter how high the key level is. So I'm not bothered by the key level at all. Like, I, I don't care if we can do 30s or 25s, whatever it is, you know. Thing is, the 5% is added after the key level modifiers, which makes the increase even higher. Yeah, but what is the issue here? Like, I'm not sure what, uh, what the problem is. Like, so it, what is it that, that, that is affecting you in the end with, with this like extra difficulty to the key level? If you're saying that you're having a hard time to doing twenties or whatever, that like you're not gonna you're not able to do like the highest um keys to give you like a reward. Um if you're just saying that it's generally harder to get the highest rewards, then I think that's definitely a combination of um this season being a bit harder than usual, but they specifically wanted that to happen. Like Blizzard specifically said that they want the higher keys to be um, more difficult because they also changed um, the key level modifiers. And um, they also have the vault and the end of dungeon reward scale higher to 20 now. Like they specifically want it to be harder, right? Just means that overall in a general key, it's both a DPS loss and makes you doesn't make you feel special and punishing. But that's the thing, yeah, that's, again, like, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to um, explain this to people this whole time. The seasonal affix is not supposed to make you feel better anymore. It's not supposed to be a reward. Like, I understand where people are coming from, because the previous seasonal affix that we had were fun, right? People, people like certain previous affixes, and they were, like, a fun thing that made that was just like more fun to play around, right? And I 100% get that. Um, but those previous seasonal affixes also had to fulfill a different purpose, right? It was a completely different purpose that those affixes want, needed to fulfill. Uh, they needed to change the dungeons in a, such a impactful way that the dungeons don't get boring because you're playing the same dungeons throughout the whole expansion in Legion, BFA, um, even Shadowlands up until the last season, right? So that seasonal affix was kind of complete change to the way people see dungeons, and it, it was supposed to be fun to to like um, encourage players to play in plus again, right? That was the whole purpose of the seasonal affix. They wanted to to have people come back into in plus if they have stopped playing in plus before, because the dungeons didn't change. The dungeons were the same. So they needed the, the seasonal affix to make dungeons interesting again for players, right? But now we have a completely new and plus system where the eight dungeons that we have now are going to be gone in the next season and we get eight completely new dungeons. So the fact that we are changing all eight dungeons with other eight dungeons is already like kind of... Um, fulfilling the purpose of maybe bringing players back because it's something completely new. So the seasonal affix does not need, doesn't need to do the same thing anymore as it used to in the past. The seasonal affix it shouldn't change the dungeons completely. In fact, that would be a bad thing if it would. Like the seasonal affix specifically should not change the way you play dungeons. And also the seasonal affix does not have to be like something really fun uh, for players to play around, right? Because it's just supposed to be a themed um, affix that fits with the, with the tier. Like, for example, Thundering is the whole Rasageth, uh, Vault of Incarnates kind of element, blah, blah, blah theme, which Thundering 
does, right? Thundering definitely has this theme going on. And it's supposed to be just something that you think about, that you uh, can play around, but it's not supposed to like impact you in any like meaningful way that would change the way you route the dungeon or you play a dungeon, which in my opinion, it's definitely doing that. So for what Thundering is supposed to do, I think it's a, it's a success. The reason why people hate it so much is because they are comparing it to previous seasonal affixes. And then I 100% agree with players when they say it's not as good as the other ones were, which is true, of course. But again, you have to understand what the purpose of the seasonal affix is now. It's not supposed to be the same thing as uh, uh, all these previous affixes that we had, right? It's only success if the customer slash player is satisfied. Well, I mean, yeah, but then, well, at that point, do you want them to remove um, the seasonal affix completely? Because that would be, in my opinion, the other option. I personally wouldn't mind that. It shouldn't be anti-fun. Well, I don't think it is. I personally don't think that, that thundering is anti-fun. Again, everyone can have a different opinion, but I don't... I personally think people are definitely super exaggerating with thundering. Uh, it's honestly just like, it really doesn't affect me that much that I would hate it. In fact, I, I like thundering a lot more than some of the other affixes that we have. I like thundering more than spiteful. I like thundering more than, than uh, bullstring. I like thundering more than like a bunch of these other affixes. So, so if you should do anything, like, if you want to compare Thundering, I personally would com compare Thundering to normal affixes um, rather than comparing it to other seasonal affixes. Because the, the new seasonal affix is supposed to be more of a normal affix rather than a, the previous seasonal affixes we had. And if you compare it to normal affixes, I honestly don't think it's that bad. In fact, it's one of the better affixes that we have if you compare it to, like, Spiteful or whatever, right? <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I do understand what, if people don't like it. I mean... It's, personal opinion, whatever, you know, like, if you don't like it, you don't like it. I do agree with the weak aura, though. I definitely agree that the visual animation of Thundering is not good. I think it's incredibly difficult uh, to see who you're supposed to clear with. They should, they could at least, like, give it an additional color or something, like the animation over your head. I just think it's really hard to see. And if you don't have a weak girl for it, uh, with like the same message and stuff, it's ugh, it's it's very bad. I personally uh, always think of affix, I uh, think of thundering with the weak girl, because with the weak girl it's fine if people use the same message. But yeah, without the weak girl, it's definitely not good. The visual is not good. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty constant topic when we talk about Mythic Plus <laughs> of how do we change it? How do we keep it feeling fresh? Uh, one of the ways that we might approach that is by changing, again, the affix layout. Maybe we have a different set of affixes. Maybe we have fewer. Uh, but the thing is that we want to keep it feeling fresh. We don't want it to feel stale. I, I would be concerned potentially that if we went down to fewer affixes, it might not feel as fresh week over week if you only have one bucket changing. But we are open to experimenting. That's one of the things that has worked out really well for us in Mythic Plus is just trying different things. I think Thundering is a representation of that. And I think that we want to do even more. Uh, I think also that like we've been experimenting with updating affixes. We did a smaller update going into Shadowlands, uh, changing some things, particularly focused on finding places for classes to shine. We took something like Bursting, which was really, really rough for a Discipline Priest, and we actually made it their best affix and something where they got to feel amazing with Mass Dispel. So uh, things like that, I think, have been really successful. We'd like to do more of, but also affixes that are working well, even then, could maybe take a vacation one, and maybe we try something else, completely new experiment. So. Uh, I don't have specific details or a timeline, but I think it's something that we are excited to do more of. Okay. Yes. Good morning, Calandra. All right. So he said, because um, I was asking if they considered to just like lower the amount of access affixes that are active per week. And he basically said that, uh, yeah, that's something that they are thinking about and that could happen. He didn't say it will. Uh, he basically... On any of the questions that I've asked so far, he never said anything definitive. Like he never said that, like, yeah, we will do that or we do that. He just basically said, oh, we are considering it. We're uh, looking at feedback, blah, 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 which I mean, makes sense. But, <laughs> but yeah, so he, he basically wasn't saying that that's something that they would never do. But he did say that he's worried about 
um, dungeons becoming stale if it's the same from week to week, which I do understand uh, understand the point of view. Um, but I honestly wouldn't... Like, I don't think it would hurt to test it. And he also said the same... Like, with Thundering, he also said... Um, they are currently happy with the way Thundering works out, but he did say that they, um, for next season, he, they don't know what they're going to do with the seasonal ethics. Like, they don't know if they're going to just completely not have one or if they're going to change the way it works or blah, 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 right? So it's not that Thundering is something that they want to do something like that exactly for season two as well. Like, they're not, like, it's not like a set in stone that they're going to bring back something similar to Thundering, right? So, uh, yeah, that's uh, good to know, I guess. So another question about affixes. Um, so a lot of the affixes have been around for a long time. And you did mention, of course, that a lot of the affixes also have been changed. And ever like whenever you change them, they also are handled differently. So it definitely, mm -hmm. like it almost feels like a new affix. But yep. um, is there any, like, I, do you think about completely changing affixes or like adding new ones? Um, specifically affixes that affect bosses because I feel like there's very few that really change the way you do boss fights and I think boss fights are really the thing that most people get bored with after some time because there's just you just do the same thing every single week and yeah if it's tyrannical the boss fight takes a bit longer but it's still the same boss fight right oh this is a fun one so bosses tend to be kind of the most intense challenges that we provide and layering affixes on that can be can be pretty dangerous. Uh, mm -hmm. It is something though that we think is really cool. It's it's nice to, to vary up boss gameplay. We even tried it with uh, faded raids in season four for, for raid bosses. Uh, and I think we wanna keep exploring that space. Uh, Thundering was actually an experiment in there as well. It's kind of the first seasonal affix that you, you really have to deal with alongside the boss. And uh, watching that play out, watching how players deal with it, I think has already given us info on how we might approach that for, for future affixes that may interact with bosses. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's def Thundering is definitely something that I notice a lot, uh, really changing the way you play a boss fight. And uh, as you said, I think people also get better at it too, because certain boss fights require you to spread out at some point. Mm -hmm. And if you don't think about clearing Thundering before the spread, then all of a sudden people scramble to get their debuff uh, out, but then they have to spread and then things go wrong. But I definitely think that people have been getting better at it. And it's a good affix, in my opinion, to change boss fights a little bit at least. Yeah, that's the hope is it adds a layer to the strategy, but it doesn't feel unfair is what we're going for. Yeah. All right. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so um, I do think that what he said there, that thundering is an affix that affects boss fights. Um, in my opinion, it's a cool thing. Because <laughs> I do think that almost all of the affixes that we have are not really affecting boss fights which leads to boss fights being very stale and boring after a while. Uh, it's maybe not that big of a deal anymore with the dungeons completely changing from one season to the other. But I definitely noticed that in the past, like in Shadowlands BFA Legion, when he had the same dungeon season one and then season four, it just felt like the most boring thing about, um, about dungeons was always the bosses. Because the bosses become longer and longer and longer the higher the keys that you're doing plus you have tyrannical which makes the boss fights even longer and then you just do the same thing every week while with trash mobs they definitely change like it changes the way you play trash depending on what affixes you have you do definitely have to react a little bit differently there's more variables when it comes to trash it's not like a it's not as scripted as a boss fight is so there's always like things that you do differently on the trash so it's always staying a bit fresh well, boss fights, in my opinion, became very stale after like a few months, right? So that's why I was asking if there's ever like affixes that they consider adding to to specifically change boss fights as well. And he did say that um, they're a bit careful with that because, um, which is also understandable, I guess, that uh, boss fights, if you wipe on a boss or if you problems on a boss then it's very easy to deplete a key. Well, if you have issues on a trash uh, on a trash pack, um, it's usually much easier to recover, right? Like even if the tank dies or some other people die, most of the time you can just release and you can run back. So that is something that I was wondering um, as well. And I didn't ask the question in this interview, but I was thinking, do you think it would make sense if they would code bosses differently in M plus? Um, so people can actually release their their like spirit. 
and fly back. Because I do think that it is true that if you like wipe on a boss, if you make a mistake on a boss, then you get punished so much harder than if it happens on trash. And that's why they're careful with adding affixes to, to, to bosses, right? Specifically. And I do think that's a good point. But then at the same time, would it be better, in my opinion, to like make boss fights less punishing, but in return make them more interesting with affixes affecting them? Because just having boss fights be the same thing over and over and over, and then you have a full wipe and blah, blah, blah. Like, in my opinion, it's boring, right? So in, maybe the solution is to have boss fights be less punishing, um, to maybe allow players to release and run back to the boss fight, for example. Uh, stuff like that. Um, I know that would be a little bit of a challenge because some bosses can be reset. So if somebody dies and they release and then they run back and maybe they get targeted by a mechanic as they run back and then the boss resets, right? That would be <laughs> that would be a problem, right? <laughs> but something like that. Like I don't know what they could do to make boss fights less punishing other than like making uh, making it possible to release spirit. But yeah, I just I just feel like uh bosses are so ugh. they're just so boring after a while. So I wonder what the solution for that will be, other than adding affixes and making it more difficult. <clears throat> Academy tree boss with Sanguine? No, I'm not saying that they should add... I'm not saying that the affixes should affect the boss mobs, because obviously that would be stupid in that scenario. Um... I'm saying that they should add different affixes to affect bosses more. Like, I'm not necessarily saying that the current affixes that we have should affect bosses. I'm saying that um, they should maybe come up with new affixes that affect boss fights, you know, that are specifically made to, to affect you in a boss fight, something like that. I do think thundering, for example, is a cool um, mechanic for... If you only think about thundering in, in a boss fight, I think thundering does not like affect you uh, that heavily during a boss fight, but you still have to play around it and you have to think ahead, which in my opinion is pretty cool. So if you have thundering and you play a boss fight where you have to spread out or whatever, um, then you need to think of thundering beforehand and not just during the last five seconds of the debuff. You have to be like, oh, uh, in 10 seconds, we have to spread out, but we are currently a thundering, so we should maybe clear that before, you know? And I think thinking ahead and having to play around that is kind of interesting. How would thundering work in Brutekeeper Diurna? Well, we're not talking about raid bosses. We're talking about dungeon bosses, right? Just to make that clear. <laughs> but anyway, so... Yeah, so he, he did say that it was like... Um, they're more careful with them. So uh, I guess that makes sense. All right, now I wanted to talk a little bit about Mythic Plus balancing. Uh, it has been like an interesting topic ever since M Plus became such a big thing. Um, so first of all, I wanted to ask what your approach is to tuning classes for Mythic Plus. In general, very high level. Uh, we want players to be able to play what they want to play, what, what resonates with them and feel successful doing that. Of course, there's a gear and a skill component, but all specs should have the potential to do a Mythic Plus 20 to clear Mythic Raid. And we're watching data, we're listening to player feedback closely to ensure that that is the case. Uh, but aside from actual numbers, we also want to have moments where each class can feel like they can shine outside of their DPS, their HPS. Uh, think of something like Death Knight Mass Grip on Valakar Khan uh, and the difference that that makes in terms of the difficulty of that moment in the boss fight. That's something that you can't really measure in DPS alone or uh, in Rage Dispels during Raging Week. You really want one of those in your group. Uh, so things like that, uh, we try to have moments where you can feel awesome about more than just your DPS. It definitely felt like a little bit like in the past that there were some classes who were just like notoriously like not taken for a mythic class because I don't know, they're like ramping classes or they don't have a certain utility that would be nice. Um, and I think mainly it has been like Shadow Priests that have struggled a little bit. I got you guys, but I got I you. Other than that, there's definitely quite a few different classes that have been considered meta, quote unquote. So do you think there's uh, it changes around a lot, which in my opinion is important that you don't always see the same classes 
uh, like mage, for example, <laughs> or windwalker. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, mages and windwalkers. <laughs> so there's a couple things Sorry. to go into that. Uh, I would say that uh, a big interesting challenge that we face is is perception. Uh, every class right now is able to do a mythic plus 20. But of course, mm -hmm. we have leaderboards, we have high end players, we have streamers who are very good at the game and will seek any advantage that they can get to to be competitive because that's what they're excited about is they want to top that leaderboard. And people watch that and that perception can trickle down and you can watch your favorite streamer and see what they're doing and go, oh, well, that's how to be successful. I'm going to do that. So even if uh, you know, you're playing something that can absolutely do whatever key you're applying to, you might find that you struggle a little bit because folks maybe think that, oh, well, you're not this meta class, so we, we don't want you. We want the best one possible. Uh, and that's something that we're trying to keep a closer eye on and be more responsive with uh, Mythic Plus balance changes with that in mind, especially with mm -hmm. the new talent system. It creates such a great opportunity for us to look for ways to target those specific things. You talked about ramp up. You know, what if there was a talent that maybe helped you with that specific situation that you would want to take in Mythic Plus? You know, th that's an opportunity that we have now with that new system. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, um, there's a question I came up with just as we were talking about this. So I'm going a little bit off script, if that's okay. Um, so I'm just wondering, since you were talking about the, the perception, which I think is totally true that there are some classes who are, would be totally fine to play, but because they are not being played on like the high end from the streamers, content creators, and so on, people or the community doesn't maybe know that the class is viable or that it's good. And mm. I was wondering if there's something that you can do about it or something that you were thinking about doing, because just like people always think, oh, just balance the classes and then it will be fine. But we all know that that's probably not going to be true. Like even if there's only like a small difference between the top and the bottom, if the top players all play a certain meta, then they will be the ones that get invited into puck keys and other classes maybe don't. Is that something that you can change outside of balancing? Do you think that's something that, uh, or did you think about that, talk about that, any solutions that you have in mind for that issue? Yeah, it's it's, it's a really fun challenge and there's a couple different ways to approach it. Uh, one of them is the one I talked about earlier with finding kind of non-throughput ways for mm -hmm. you to shine. Uh, if, hey, it's Raging Week and you know we really should bring an Enraged Dispel, it's it's not a meta class, but Enraged Dispel is really good. And then you see, oh, hey, actually that person's keeping up fine. Uh, that can help to shift perception. Uh, other things are, can we do incentives to maybe bring someone who it would bring their rating up. We did something with Mythic Plus rating where we actually give you bonus Valor points if you bring someone who then gets a rating increase in your dungeon. Um, mm -hmm. So from that angle too, like, hey, what can we do to reward people for bringing someone they might not have otherwise considered uh, is, is another big one. And of course, just again, like looking out for what are the things that the community is giving us feedback on and can we do things to address that? If there is a specific thing like, hey, the ramp time on this spec is, is kind of long, can we do something there? And if we make a meaningful change, uh, that can also maybe prompt people to go, hey, let's let's give this another shot. They got they got some buffs. Maybe we bring them now. Okay. Shake yeah, makes up. sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if um, I don't know if I'm like super happy about this answer because it. it I'm not sure if they if he just didn't because it's also possible that they talked about this a bit more internally and he just didn't want to talk about it like publicly but I do think that there might be other ways because again I think this whole community perception thing is a big deal right like people will not invite certain classes even though that class might actually be really good just because um they don't see those classes in like the highest keys done they don't see the MD MDI they don't see it on streams blah 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 and then they just don't get invited right um, even though the class might actually be very viable. Like sometimes the community perception is really bad. People just look at the highest keys and see what they're running and they're not inviting anything else, which sometimes is even just like plain stupid or wrong. But uh, you also have to understand the community. Like you cannot change the community uh, in that case. You cannot go and say, oh, well, we're not going to change the game because the community, it's the community's fault. Like it, their perception is wrong, you know, like, you can, that's not a solution, right? Because in the end, you cannot change the community. You cannot tell people, guys, listen, you should invite the Shadow Priest, you should invite um, the uh, Fire Mage, you should invite the Affliction World, like, blah, blah, blah. You cannot tell that to the community. You can't, that doesn't work, right? So my question basically was, is if they have any other solutions in mind to address that issue a bit further. And in my opinion, some of the solutions are 
like there are quite a few things they could they could do. Uh, one of the biggest solutions, uh, which would be like a really big implementation, though, would be something like solo queue, right? If there was solo queue for M plus, then you don't have any of these issues anymore because then you just queue up and you get matched with other people and it's whatever, right? I don't think that solo queue um, necessarily is a good thing for a Mythic Plus. Like, I'm not saying that uh, it would be good, but it would definitely be a solution for um, the community perception, right? So and th this is just one example. I'm, I'm, there's also other things that um, you can do, in my opinion, to change the issue of the community perception, right? Um, so I was just wondering if they had something in mind, maybe not something as drastic as solo queue, because obviously that would be like a really drastic change to the way the game works. But I do think that there's other solutions than just balancing, right? Because, I mean, balancing is just not gonna solve all of these issues that people constantly talk about with the perception because sometimes different times like for example the best the best uh, example that i have is Destro warlock in season three and season four of shadowlands uh where Destro warlock was incredibly good for high keys and broken basically but the thing was that Destro Warlock wasn't actually that good on really low keys. Destro Warlock was not that good in like plus 15 keys or plus 10 keys. It really wasn't. There were so many other classes that were better than the Warlock. There were so many. But players didn't invite uh, anyone other than Warlocks into lower keys. Like whenever people queued up, they saw, oh, there's a Warlock or there's a, I don't know, a Warrior. I'm going to invite the Warlock because I see the Warlocks... Uh, being so good, doing so many high keys, they must be good, right? And people don't necessarily understand that the key level really matters um, and the affixes and the dungeon matters, right? Because Warlocks might have been really good on super high keys, but they were not that good on low keys compare, uh, if you compare them to other classes. And a lot of people don't understand that. It's the same with Moonkin right now. Moonkin is really good on high keys, but it's really bad on low keys. So uh, some people um, some people know that and some people don't. And then it creates this community perception. At that point, balancing doesn't do anything, right? Like at that point, what are you supposed to balance when the community doesn't understand the current balance? Like if the community is completely unaware of how good or bad certain class are for certain key levels, then how would balancing solve that, right? Now, of course, balancing solves some of the community perception, um, certainly, but it's not going to be like a, a full-on like solution to that issue. And that's why I was asking for that. Like, if they have any other things that they could do, you know, like maybe something with Group Finder that they can uh, solo queue would be the drastic change, right? But then the solo uh, like the Group Finder could have something um, implemented somehow that would uh, that could possibly change perception as well. Um, maybe show rating for spec. That's something that I was thinking about. Because a, a big thing, in my opinion, um, especially when it doesn't come to like super high keys, but because of course, if you do like the highest of the highest keys, then you will need the best classes, right? Sometimes it's just like that, which is, in my opinion, fine though, right? Because it's the same in arena, right? If you do high arena, high rated arena, at some point, you have to play the meta comps, right? Uh, <laughs> at some point, it's important that you do that. But um, on lower key levels, that's not true. On lower key levels, you can play almost any comp and you can still do it, right? So uh, what I was thinking is, if there's two players that queue up to your plus 20 key, let's say one of them is a demon hunter and one of them is a um, red paladin, right? Red paladin is not considered meta, even though red paladin is pretty good. Um, but Demon Hunter is considered meta, right? Now, imagine the score would be displayed, like your normal score would be displayed, but then it would also show like the ranking for your spec. Because if the Demon Hunter would be, let's say, um, 2.5k rating and the Red Paladin is 2.5k rating, uh, if you only see that, you would probably invite the Demon Hunter, right? Because they have the same rating, they have the same item level, but Demon Hunter is better than Red Paladin, so I'm going to invite the Red Paladin, right? But what if they would display, like, the, the Demon Hunter is the the best top, uh, I don't know, 1,000? So this is the w rank 1,000 of Demon Hunters. 
but the Red Paladin is rank 50 of Red Paladins. And in, in my opinion, um, that would maybe kind of show the leader of the, of the group that is inviting, it's like, oh, well, this Paladin is like maybe really good because he's like the 50th highest Paladin in, in M+. Plus. You know, maybe that would, that would maybe lead a person to invite the class that isn't the meta class just because uh, they're good for their class, right? In my opinion, I... Because I, I would rather invite a non-meta class if I know that the player is good rather than inviting a meta class um, because then they, maybe they're just carried because it's meta. You know, may, maybe maybe this person only has a high rating because they are playing Demon Hunter or Rogue or Moonkin or whatever. Maybe this Red Paladin is a much better player though because he managed to get high rating with a Red Paladin, you know? So maybe seeing that rating would actually help uh, other classes get invited. I don't know. I don't know if it's true, but I'm just I'm just like spitballing ideas, right? So these are like the things that I'm thinking about uh, on how to change community perception or how to help um, classes get invited to keys without like balancing. Thanks for three months, uh, June. Thank you so, so much. But the score means the rest result is the same. They both reach the same level. Yeah, I understand that, but obviously. <laughs> but if you manage to reach a higher score with a class that is not considered meta, it might have been more difficult for that player, right? And that might lead you to invite that person. Problem is, if there are no red paladins played, then it's easy to get like top 100 or something. But it, it doesn't matter how easy or hard it is, because it's not like, I'm not saying that this rating should give you anything. Like it's just supposed to be a visual like ranking. It's not supposed to give you any titles or achievements or whatever, you know what I mean? So if I'm like the first red paladin, like the world first red paladin in, in Raider.io, um, that doesn't give you anything in my like it shouldn't give you like a bonus or achievement or anything because i understand what you're saying and it's true if there's only like 50 uh red paladins in the world that would do high and plus then it's easier to get number one than if there's like uh, five thousand demon hunters right like i 100 understand what you're saying but uh having a rating like that like a display might have two positive effects number one um maybe people invite non-meta classes into pucks more because the rating might impress them where they're like oh this is a non-meta class but they're really good at that class so maybe i'd rather invite that you know so in my opinion that might help to get non-meta people invited and number two it might also encourage people to play non-meta classes more right because if there's uh these these rankings are always People care about numbers people care about rankings right so maybe if you main um let's say you main uh I don't know, like a Feral. Um, but usually you switch to other classes because Feral never gets invited and you feel bad about it, right? But maybe if you have a rating displayed next to your character that says, oh, you're the fifth best Feral in the world, then maybe they stick to that non-meta class more. Maybe they're more inclined to keep playing Feral instead of switching to a meta class, right? Uh, which in my opinion would again, be a good thing. So there will be more non-meta classes around, people maybe get invited more, stuff like that. I'm not saying that this is like the, the, the full solution to community perception and to pugging or whatever, like it's really not. I'm just trying to come up with um, some solutions that are not balancing solutions to this whole issue, which I think at this point, anything is better than, not ha than nothing. Because I feel like at the moment, at the moment, the community perception is really bad. So having something like any of these things that could help a little bit would already be better than not having anything at all, right? So I don't know. Anyway, let's continue <laughs> uh, the interview. The next question is: Do you think some utility is too strong? Uh, now we're talking about um, like bloodlust specifically and some other utilities. Mm -hmm. Uh, and on the same note, when it comes to utility, I also was wondering if you think that there might be some utility that seems a little bit too strong, where it almost seems like a requirement for every single key, for example, bloodlust. 
And I know there's more classes now that have bloodlust uh, with uh, Volkers as well, but sometimes it still feels like, you know, there's four people in a group and there's so many players that want to join, but you need to invite this bloodlust class because drums have been nerfed a while ago and it feels so much worse. And other things would be like battle rest or as you said, like raging the spell as well. And sometimes, especially if that specific utility is in a class that is already really strong, it feels even worse, right? Right. Yeah, it's it's an interesting one because unique buffs like that, they've been part of World of Warcraft, part of class identity for pretty much the entire history of the game. And they do, as we talked about earlier, have a lot of upsides. They could create opportunities to to feature someone. I'm so sorry. I'm going to go back. Uh, I just need to quickly address somebody in the chat. Someone's saying, this game is tailored to elites. As a new player and returning Rest of Druid player, I've quit after 2000. Okay, I just quickly wanted to say something about that. Um... Okay, you're saying that the, the game is being tailored to elites, um, but at the same time, you quit after 2000. So you specifically mentioned Vader I.O. Like, you specifically mentioned Mythic Score. So what is, it, what is it you think is considered an elite? Are you talking about competitive people? Because you seem to be a competitive person. So I feel like you're just a bit salty that he can't get higher score. Because there's so many things in the game that it could do that is not uh, required, like that doesn't, doesn't require high-end gameplay. Like you could literally do a million of the other things. You can farm Renown, you can do professions, you can do dragon flying, you can uh, do any of the open world content we have, right? Like there's so many things that are like casual content in Dragonflight. And then, of course, you can play in plus, but you don't have to push rating. And no one's forcing you to do that. Uh, you can rate, you can do so many things, right? So when you say that you quit the game after 2K because the game is tailored around the elites, then I think you specifically just mean that it's too hard for you to get high rating and that you're annoyed by that, right? Like, that's what I read out of this sentence. <laughs> you know? Like, if you are a competitive person, we're, there's nothing wrong with that. But then you also, like, you can't be upset just because it's not easy to get the rewards, right? If you're upset that other people are higher rated than you and that you can't reach it, then you have to put in more effort. And if you don't want to put in the effort, well, then you have to find different content. Then you have to find uh, more casual content that you, that you want to do, right? But saying that the game is catered around the least, like, what does it even mean? What does it mean? I think there's so many people who are upset that they cannot do everything in a game. And there's nothing else that bothers me more than that. Because the game is not supposed to be... Like, not every single player that plays World of Warcraft is supposed to do everything in the game. Like, you, that's just... Why? Why should that be how the game works? Like, why should somebody that, that plays one hour per week... Why should that person be able to get everything? I just don't think that's like, uh, I, I do think that there is content that is own, made for people that play more and put more effort in, right? And if, you, if you're not able to achieve that, then either you have to put more effort in or you have to just focus on other things, right? But saying that it's catered around like elites just because you cannot achieve something, in my opinion, is, is such a... Like, I just hate that point of view because not everything is supposed to be catered around you specifically. Not everything is catered around me either, right? There's so many things in a game that are um, for different kinds of players. And that's fine. Not, not every content in a game is supposed to be for me. Not every content is supposed to be for person X or person Y. Uh, you should do whatever is catered towards you. You shouldn't try to go out of your way to do things that you don't like doing and then complain that you can't do it, you know? Like, I'm not going to go around and be like, oh my God, I really want this, like, uh, this transmog, but I, I hate doing transmog runs, so they should make it easier. It's like, if, if you hate transmog runs, then don't get the fucking transmog at that point, you know? <laughs> like, I just, I just think it's a weird thing, right? <clears throat> uh, 
please go pack one key 20 to 22 and you will understand what he's talking about. I literally packed all of my keys to 2980 rating. You call them pug? I played with them a few keys, yeah. Did I play all keys with them? No. I played with them one time, one day. If that's what you consider, like, I don't know, at least you play with them one day. But listen, like, it's not that I am saying that, um, like, ah. Uh, People are talking about like entitlement and elitist sermon, blah 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 blah. It's like as if <laughs> as if I somehow think uh, everything should be catered around me when it's in fact the opposite. I think some sometimes uh, people that are more casual are super entitled. <laughs> like I think I think entitlement is usually like the opposite of what high end players sometimes do, because most of the time high end game uh, players. They only care about their own content and yeah, they want their content to be catered around them, but they never go out of their way to ask other content to be catered around them or almost never, right? Like a high-end and plus player doesn't necessarily go around and say, hey, uh, I want this uh, pff, this quest line to be different because I don't want to spend the time doing it, you know? Well, but I feel like sometimes more casual players that don't care about and plus that much they complain about it a lot uh, when it's not necessarily the content they want to do just because they want to get a certain achievement. At that point, it's like, you're basically asking um, a content that is made for other people, not for you as a player, to be completely changed towards your needs just because you want a certain like achievement or wh whatever, right? And I think that is that is entitlement, I think. Like, at that point, you you don't care about this other player base. You only care about yourself in that moment. And I hate when that happens because uh, there are other people playing this game that like different things, right? So uh, being like asking for other people's content to be like changed or removed for your own gain is, uh, I don't know, I think that's a bit, uh, that's very selfish. <laughs> but then at the same time, I do uh, understand when people have issues with pugging uh, generally. Because I do agree that pugging keys is not, um, like, pugging keys can be incredibly annoying, especially um, because of this community perception that we've talked about. I do think that there's things that you can do as a player to make it less of a bad experience. But I also think that, uh, that specifically why I talked about this just now, um, that some people, like, this whole problem of community perception of not getting invited is an issue that I am currently addressing, right? Like the last uh, 20 minutes, I've spoken about solutions for community perception for pugging, even though that doesn't affect me personally, because I will just re-roll to something else um, if the class that I'm playing is not considered meta, because I know how pugging works, and I know that I'm not going to be invited if I play a class that is not good. So me, it doesn't affect me because I will just re-roll. Right, but I know that it affects a lot of people, and that's why I'm trying to find solutions for you. That it doesn't even affect me, right? But I'm still trying to, trying to come up with stuff to help you out because I do understand the issue, and I think it is a problem. I do think it's a problem that uh, certain classes are just not getting invited to keys. Like I totally get that, and at the same time, I do think pugging the pugging experience in general is just not great. <laughs> Uh, so I definitely think that's an issue and that it should be addressed in some w shape or form. Um, but yeah, sometimes when people just want everything and are not trying to make any sort of compromises and at that point, it's just like, come on. <laughs> hey, Fendi, what's up? How are you doing? Yeah, I mean, you can do your own... I think doing your own key is almost always, like, um, like the best thing to do. Um, especially if you either don't have high enough rating for the keys you want to do, or if you um, 
to play a class that is maybe not considered the best. Now, I can guarantee you that if you put a bit more effort into your pugging and when you do your own key, that uh, you will have a much better time. Like there's so many things you could do, um, which is a lot of effort though, and I understand that people don't want to put the effort in. But for example, if you do your own keys, if you want to have a much better chance at timing them, number one, you should ask people to come Discord or voice chat, right? Because being in voice chat just makes things so much easier. So if you want to do your own key, type voice chat or Discord in the title. And the people that are joining are aware that they have to come Discord, right? Number one. That's like the number one thing that makes you time keys more. Because uh, even if people don't speak that much, like even if you're almost always silent on Discord, sometimes something happens and a call is being made and people can react to it, right? It's like, I don't know. Uh, one person says... Uh, oh my God, uh, my gear broke. Somebody please put a, <laughs> a repair bot, right? Like that's something that you would never be able to, to figure out in, in normal chat. And of course, that's just like a, an extreme example. But uh, being in voice chat, almost always is a positive thing. And it's almost never like a negative thing. Like people can call interrupts. And even if they don't, people can ask for uh, like certain things. People can ask for rebuffs. People can ask for uh, like a defensive. People can ask for whatever, right? Uh, people can call, oh my God, uh, I interrupted the wrong thing. Can you take over my interrupts? Stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, going voice chat for pegging is definitely uh, a good thing. And then additionally, if you care a lot about increasing your rating, then there's other things you can do um to like help your group time keys because it's actually it's actually somewhat easy to carry a group as one person um if you're really good at if you learn how to like shot call and stuff like if you learn how to call interrupts and if you learn routes a lot if you like look at routes from from like top players um shouldn't necessarily apply top routes to plus 15 keys, but as long as it makes sense, right? For example, you shouldn't do weird skips for people if you're not on voice chat and even if they've never done it before, um, but you can still do like efficient routes. So if you, if you learn how to do routes properly and you try them out and you play around with routes, that will help you a lot for your packing experience, number one. And number two, even if you're not the tank, you don't have to be the tank to, to do routes, especially if you go on voice chat. Because sometimes um, posting a route as a non-tank might not be the best idea if you're not on voice chat because the tank maybe have never done has never done the route before and then a tank doesn't remember what to do and then maybe you post the wrong stuff or skips the wrong stuff or whatever, right? But if you're in voice chat as a DPS player or as a healer, uh, you can call what to do next for the tank if it's your route. You can be like, oh, so next we're pulling this and that. And then afterwards, we're skipping this or blah, 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 right? So you can call that stuff. And I know it's a lot of responsibility, but if you want to increase your rating, then uh, these are things that will help you with that, right? And um, as I said, calling interrupts would be a big thing. Um, installing stuff like an auto marker and assigning interrupts before the key starts. Uh, you can have an auto marker that sets, let's say, uh, cross and star. And then before the key starts, you're like, okay, Rogue, you're a cross. Um, Demon Hunter, you're a star, right? Done. And now you have an, a rough assignment. Now, of course, it's not always uh, perfect. Sometimes one single person cannot interrupt all of the spells or whatever. Um, but it's better than not having any assignments at all, right? So even if you're a healer, you can do this. I know healers usually don't care about interrupts. Or if you're a Moonkin and you don't have an interrupt, you can still do it, right? You can install um, auto markers. And then just assign people beforehand, before you start the key. Because sometimes, I swear to God, there's people. And, and don't get me wrong, it's fine if you, if you are like that. Like, if you're a person that just queues up keys and just doesn't, isn't, wants any responsibility and just wants to do the key, uh, that's fine, right? But if your goal is to increase your rating, there are so many things you can do, even when you're pugging, to increase your chances of timing the key. And I think a lot of people don't want to put in the effort and then just like blame the others. You know, they're like, oh, pugging sucks and oh, this rogue didn't interrupt and oh, this is the route is bad and oh, my tank is doing this and my healer didn't blah, 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 right? And which 
I'm not saying you're wrong. <laughs> like so, a lot of the times you are plugging keys and the other people make mistakes. That obviously happens, right? But you cannot change that, right? You cannot change necessarily the fact that other people make mistakes, but you can put as more effort in yourself to, to time the keys instead of just taking the easy route and flame others, right? You can be, uh, you can cue your own key, you can do voice chat, you can try to learn how to shot call, uh, you can focus more on routes, maybe find better or easier routes for your pucks. Uh, maybe you can do auto marker, assign interrupts. Like there's so many things you can do as, a, as a one singular person um, that will help you time keys and get higher rating, right? You can also like try to find a set group instead of pugging as well, right? You can uh, try to find like a set group that you play with all the time. And I'm not saying that um, that you have to do this or that you're a bad player if you don't do this, but I'm just saying that there are solutions to, the, to these problems. And um, if you don't want to put in the effort and you don't want to do that, that's fine, right? But just keep in mind that that is a thing, right? It's not always so simple to just blame the pugs and blame the other players. Sometimes you didn't put the maximum effort in yourself, right? Yeah, I know that a lot of people don't go on Discord, uh, myself included, but if you queue up your own key and you put Discord as a requirement, then people won't join if they don't want to go Discord, right? So that's how you can play around it. If you're joining someone else's pack key and they don't want to go Discord, well, then there's nothing you can do about that, right? Anyway, let's go back to this question. And while we listen to this, I'm going to go FK for a second, okay? Okay, Shake yeah, it makes up. sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and on the same note, when it comes to utility, I also was wondering if you think that there might be some utility that seems a little bit too strong, where it almost seems like a requirement for every single key, for example, Bloodlust. And I know there's more classes now that have Bloodlust uh, with uh, Vokers as well, but sometimes it still feels like, you know, there's four people in a group, and there's so many players that want to join, but you need to invite this Bloodlust class because drums have been nerfed a while ago and it feels so much worse. And other things would be like Battle Rest or, as you said, like a Raging Dispel as well. And sometimes, especially if that specific utility is in a class that is already really strong, it feels even worse, right? Right. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting one because unique buffs like that, they've been part of World of Warcraft, part of class identity for pretty much the entire history of the game. And they do, as we talked about earlier, have a lot of upsides. They could create opportunities to, to feature someone who might not have otherwise been brought. Uh, but as you say, if the meta class already has it, that can be a challenge. We are trying to be mindful of that and make sure that group compositions don't feel overly restrictive. That's part of why we've been distributing those a bit more. Why evokers do have uh, bloodlust now? Why uh, holy paladins uh, or sorry paladins can do uh, battle res is is exactly that reason uh, of trying to strike a balance between making sure that you have something that makes you feel special, but also it's not so difficult to form a group composition that you just must have a certain class all the time. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, because I think a lot of the utilities, like, um, if you have it, it's nice, but you don't need it, right? Something right. like a stamina buff or intellect buff or whatever, like, all of those are nice, and I think people are really happy, uh, happy to have them. But yeah, whenever it comes to Bloodlust or Battlerest, I feel like they're just a lot more mandatory, and sometimes it can just be a problem if you don't find that specific class uh, and you just inv want to invite a friend and you can stuff like that. But as long Absolutely. as it's only like one spot that needs that requirement and everything else you're free to fill your group with whatever, then I guess it's still okay. All right. So then I have another question about um, balancing between rating and Mythic Plus, because um, yeah. we of course know that there's different PvP bal balancing compared to PvE. But between a plus and rating, it's the same. And I was just wondering if you had ever talked about or if you have any plans on ever doing any sort of separate balancing through, I don't know, talents or different tier sets or whatever the possibilities might be. I think that compared to something like PvE versus PvP, uh, Mythic Plus and Raids have a lot more in common in terms of yeah. the things that you care about and what's valuable. And I think that, and you kind of touched on this a little bit, that our talent system kind of creates a lot of that opportunity. We're seeing already that players are taking very different builds going into Raids versus going into Mythic Plus, which which is great. You know, it's it's you're thinking about, okay, which talents are good here, which talents are good here, and, and kind of building it. You know, I have on every character, I have my my Mythic Plus loadout, my Raid loadout, maybe my, my Raging Week loadout, that kind of thing. Uh, so 
I think we want to keep leaning into that and uh, look for more opportunities to let players feel like they can customize based on the play style that they want uh, and use that as an opportunity as well to address cases where, hey, maybe there's something that I could be a little bit better at in Mythic Plus. Cool. Maybe we can do something through the talents. It's, it's been a really big success so far. The separate balancing, I'm not sure if you want to answer this question, but I was uh, wondering if you have like a reason, like is the reason why you don't necessarily want to do completely separate balancing because you don't want like barrier of entries being really high, like you just want the PVE community to be doing both and you don't want to like separate the communities that much by having separate um, like tier sets or whatever it may be, or is it just because, um, I don't know, you don't want to, like is it another reason? So the, the barriers part of it, I think uh, we don't want you to feel like you you must do both to be successful. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's cool to have that feeling of, okay, I, I mostly raid or I mostly do Mythic Plus and I don't have to do the other if I don't want to. Uh, but also having the freedom to do that if you do want to, I think is great. And you know to the extent that we can make that possible, I think that's, that's very healthy for the game. Uh, but also there is some amount of, you know, if I have to remember like, oh, in this context, my ability does this. And in this context, it does this. And then over here, it, does, like, it starts to get kind of pretty overwhelming. It's, yeah. It feels good when you just, you know your class, you know what your buttons do. You're not surprised like, oh, right, I'm in a Mythic Plus. So now my button works differently or I have a different set bonus. Uh, it's, it's nice to kind of have that be consistent. And to the extent that we can make that work, I think that that would just feel better, you know? Yeah, I think it's a very valid point because uh, it definitely has happened to me that I, did PvP once in a blue moon, and then all of a sudden, this demon hunter does this ability that I've never seen before in my life, or <laughs> my abilities work differently, and it's very confusing. So I definitely understand that, especially for people that uh, maybe don't play as much, and then it will be just really overwhelming. I get that. All right. Yeah, so I think that makes sense. Thank you so much for 42 months, Ben Roth. Appreciate that. And thanks for Prime Sub, uh, Aleo. Appreciate that as well. Um, so yeah, because people have been asking for different talents from plus and different sets from plus and whatever. And um, he has a good point that it might just be really weird if your abilities do different things depending on the content that you do. Uh, thanks for Prime Sub most. Thank you very much. So I guess that makes sense. Because PvP and PvE is such a different uh, aspect of the game that it does make sense to have different abilities there and that the things work differently in PvP because it's completely different and you have to consider that. But, um, and plus and rating is more similar. It's still very different, but it's a lot more similar. And if things work differently in, in rating versus uh, and plus, I can totally see how that might be very confusing to like more casual players. I don't think the high-end players would have a problem with it, right? But I do think for people that are not high-end players, it would be very overwhelming if things work differently depending on a plus or raid. Separate tuning. Yeah, separate tuning. Well, yeah, the problem with separate tuning, in my opinion, is that it would change your rotations. And that, that in itself, it can also be really overwhelming because people don't even know their rotations proper. Like rotations in general are hard. Not, not a single target rotation. That one can be um, very specific, right? For a single target rotation, you know exactly, okay, this ability I have to press here and then I have to do this and blah, blah, blah. Because a single target scenario can be simulated with a simulation craft and then you know exactly what you should be doing, right? But as soon as there's variables, as soon as there's like two targets, three targets, big AOE, targets that die fast, targets that uh, live long, you do different things, right? And that is already overwhelming to a lot of players. I think the majority of the player base does not press the correct buttons in the correct situations because it's it's complicated. It really is. And as soon as you do different tuning, um, this will change as well. So that means, okay, if I do M+, I press Starfall on two targets and I put Moonfire and Sunfire at in that moment, uh, as a Moonkin, for example. And if I'm raiding, I starfall at maybe four targets because it does less damage in, P in raiding. And then I have to dot differently and I have to cast differently and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So that can be even more overwhelming if they do different tuning. Like it does affect everything. It also might affect even your talent choice. So maybe because uh, in a plus my starfall does more damage, I would have to use different talents in that situation compared to what I would do in raiding, even though the situation 
is the same in a RAID environment versus a plus environment, but because my, my abilities do different kinds of damage, because they're tuned differently, after you use different talents, right? And I think that um, is a problem. <laughs> yeah, that is all. All right. Then uh, I have another question about loot tables when it comes to dungeons and then plus, because um, the loot tables, as far as I understand, are being designed boss to boss, because of course, that's how Mythic Zero works and how heroic dungeons work, that you, loot, you kill a boss, you loot the boss, you get an item. But uh, Mythic Plus, you only have a chest at the end, and there's one item out of the whole loot table. And I was wondering if uh, you consider changing the loot tables that are more um, designed towards Mythic Plus loot and not necessarily for dungeon loot, because dungeons are only being played in non-Mythic Plus environments, I feel like at the very start, and for like really new players. But then later on, almost everyone just plays the Mythic Plus version, and then a loot table sometimes feel like they don't fit for how Mythic Plus works. I would start by talking a little bit about uh, you know, the goals when we are making a loot table for a dungeon. Uh, mm -hmm. It's an opportunity, especially as we're going boss by boss, to kind of add flavor, to reinforce the story. It can be fun to have you know, a really iconic boss and then have an item that drops specifically from that boss. So mm -hmm. that, that's part of where we're going for there. And of course, we also want to offer a good variety to appeal to different specs, different stat preferences, which can potentially give you a broader loot table as well. Uh, we don't have any current plans to change this, but uh, I'm happy to pass along any feedback around, uh, you know, like, what would you hope to see change? Is it just that there are there are too many items and it's harder to target the one you want? Or like, what's your feeling there? I think the biggest problem I've seen is that sometimes, especially dungeons that have like four bosses or five, they have um, just a lot of items that everyone can loot like rings cloaks mm. stuff like that and then it just feels like you're always just looting rings or you're always looting cloaks and then there's like 10 items you can get and you want this one trinket and it just not, never drops while another dungeon that only has three bosses that maybe only has four possible items you can loot and then it's much easier to get that uh sort the trinket or whatever you want this is a theater pain question isn't it <laughs> <laughs> oh yes <laughs> You can definitely pass that feedback along. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. <laughs> it was a theater thing. Well, to be fair, <laughs> I do think there's definitely, um, I guess I should have also touched on something else that, I, that just didn't come up in the moment. Like I didn't think about it in a moment. But yeah, one thing was like the bigger loot tables. Some dungeons have like 10 items that you could possibly loot, right? And then it's like really hard to get a specific item. That's one issue. But then uh, one more thing, I guess, that I didn't mention in this specific interview was the fact that sometimes the loot across um, the whole dungeon pool is just very samey. And this is something that happened, that happens right now in season one. Um, for example, there's some items, like there's like three different leather belts that all have the same stats or like four different boots and they all have the crit mastery. Or there's like three offhands with crit haste, you know? And at that point, it's like, does it really have to be this way? Like, couldn't they design the loot tables um, around and plus in a sense that, okay, we know these eight du dungeons are going to be the first and plus pool, and we want to design the items accordingly that drop there. Um, like they do in a raid, right? When they, look at, when they look at a raid, usually they think about that. Usually in the raid, they make sure they are in like five different belts, but only one set of boots. Or they are in like uh, five rings that drop crit and mastery, right? So they do usually for raiding, they they think about that. But for in plus pools, I always feel like the, 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 the loot tables are a bit all over the place. So I was wondering if they're considered that. But I guess his answer is no, not necessarily. They're not considering that that much because the main thing that they're looking at is um, looking at bosses and what they should be dropping, right? Like this boss um, has like a cool weapon because that's the weapon he uses, right? With his, like, that's just the weapon the boss has and that's why it drops there, right? Um, and I get that. Like I get that it, that it makes sense thematically. That the boss drops a certain item that is related to the boss fight. But I do think that overall uh, in an plus setting, it doesn't necessarily make sense because you don't loot items from the bosses, right? In M+, you don't kill a boss and you loot the boss. In M+, you 
clear the dungeon and then you get an item from a chest. So at that point, maybe designing items around the bosses makes no, no sense. Maybe it would make sense to design items around the whole dungeon. You can still have boss themed items, but not necessarily, uh, it just shouldn't have, it shouldn't be the only like thing that you think about, right? But yeah, that's, that's uh, why I was asking this question. <laughs> All right, then I have another question about um, balancing with the new approach to um, the way and plus seasons work. Because we talked about this earlier, every season, all of the dungeons are shuffling through. And usually this doesn't happen. Usually there's only one dungeon that gets added or two. And those, you know, if they don't work instantly uh, or they need to be balanced a little bit, it's, it's okay. But mm -hmm. if the whole dungeon pool gets shuffled, um, do you have any concerns about balancing and tuning of these dungeons? Um, because I assume that PTR maybe is not being played as much um, compared to beta for Dragonflight, right? Because a lot of people were playing a lot of the dungeons there, but for a PTR, maybe there's like less feedback. Uh, do you think that's a concern? I wouldn't say I'm super concerned about it. We, uh, we do see, of course, the most activity during beta, but uh, we actually get a lot of players of different skill levels checking out Mythic Plus on PTR as well. In Shadowlands, we saw lots of great feedback every PTR cycle. We were very fortunate to have that. Uh, players of many skill levels posting, sharing their thoughts. Uh, we also do a lot of internal testing. Uh, that's something that uh, you know we really value, and it helps us to kind of ensure that we have the right idea of what's going in and what pain points players might feel. Uh, and we even, when PTR is up, we go on there, uh, we run keys with players. You might be in a group with us and not know about it. Uh, so uh, it's something that we do keep a very close eye on. Because this is a bigger shift uh, mid-expansion, uh, it's something that we'll watch extra closely. And of course, uh, we want to be responsive even when something goes out as well. If if there is something that we missed, we want to try to to hit that quickly so that it's not uh, you know even shaping perception because perception, by the way, affects dungeons as well. I'm sure mm -hmm. uh, there are folks who are like, oh, Ruby Life pulls, it's pretty rough. Uh, you know, we don't want to just get to the point where everyone's like, oh, I don't want to do Ruby Life pulls. We want them to be excited. So like we've tried to be really on top of making changes there when we see things that are like, yeah, you know what, that's a pain point. We agree. All right, yeah, makes sense. People are always really happy when one of some of these overtuned dungeons are getting like nerfed a little bit. But then at the same time, I'm sure people are not very happy when the easy dungeons uh, are made a little bit harder, like we've seen with Shadow Moon Burial Grounds uh, a few times. <laughs> so <laughs> I hope that doesn't have to happen uh, that much in the next season. Yeah, uh, I want to speak to that a little bit too, uh, specifically around our philosophy. We try very hard to avoid making dungeons more difficult during the course of a season. Mm -hmm. uh, to the extent that we do it, we try to do it early in the season, and we try to make very targeted changes. I think that an entire boss mechanic not really doing what you expect it to do is, is something that felt like we did need to address it there. Uh, but very broadly, I think that you'll, you should see those changes pretty sparingly because, you know, we want to recognize that effort. We don't want to also, you know, close the door. Like somebody got a really high key and then we buffed the dungeon and now other people can't repeat that performance. So that's something that we try to be very mindful of as well. Okay. I have another question, um, towards that regard, because when it comes yeah. to dungeon balancing, like the difficulty of dungeons compared to one another, is that mm -hmm. something that, um, you try to keep as equal as possible, or do you think it's okay if one dungeon is a bit harder and another dungeon is a bit easier? So the way that we approach it is we'll have a baseline. We'll say, Hey, this is about how difficult we want this to be. And then we'll try to make the dungeons as close to that as possible. Uh, if a dungeon is a little bit below that, I think, I think we feel okay with that. It's, it's not the worst thing to have like, oh, I'm excited to get this key because it's, it's just a little bit easier. Um, something like Junkyard is probably too extreme. Uh, that was to the point yeah. of, you know, where you could get three plus more key levels. Uh, and, you know, we let that go because that was a season four period and it's, it's fun times. But I think that that's something that we'd want to be careful about. Uh, but on the higher end, I think that if a dungeon is significantly above that, that baseline we're shooting for, we would want to try to make adjustments to get there. Uh, so that it doesn't feel like, oh, I I'm sad because I got this key specifically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so one more question. I was wondering if you have any plans on adding additional rewards to Mythic Plus, especially for like the higher end, to give like more of an incentive for people to push those high scores? Yeah, I think it's really cool to have things to aspire to. This is something we've been working on uh, really since kind of the end of Battle for Azeroth, uh, when we first put in uh, mounts as a reward. Uh, for Mythic Plus, and we have been looking for other opportunities since then. Things like uh, the the hero titles for the top 0.1%. Uh, things like uh, we did a thing where you got to unlock all your best conduits if you reached a certain rating. Uh, I think we have a cool cosmetic thing that we've done this time around. Uh, so definitely, that's something that we want to continue to explore and uh, try to offer cool incentives to to push your rating up and chase those rewards. All right, cool. Well, thank you so. 
All right, well, that was it. What do you think? Uh, I think uh, there wasn't necessarily anything um, that he said that would... Uh, like, he didn't, like, announce anything or something crazy. It's like, he wasn't like, oh my god, uh, yeah, next expansion, we're going to do a completely different affix or whatever. <laughs> but I think it was uh, interesting to hear his thoughts on some of these things. Uh, most of the time... I feel like we didn't get like a super clear answer other than the fact that, you know, he's saying, oh yeah, he, he, we're considering that. Or we are thinking about that. Or maybe we do that in the future, possibly, maybe. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I feel like we didn't necessarily get anything like super, um, super interesting other than the fact that uh, they know about some of the issues. And uh, I guess their point of view on some of the things that people uh, have been talking about with I guess with thundering specifically and with um, like balancing and community perception. Thank you so much for 64 months, Jens. Appreciate that. Thank you very much for two months, Pikachu, as well. And yeah, the difference in difficulty between um, dungeons. A lot of people say that SPG is a lot easier than other dungeons. I do think that has obviously been very true at the start. Did it change? Um, did it? They made SPG a bit harder now. I still think it's obviously like easier than most other keys and court as well, I guess. But uh, when it comes to the really high keys, I don't necessarily think that's super true anymore. And it's not like a big difference. Like it's not junkyard. I don't think you can compare SPG with junkyard. Because, uh, I mean, if you look at my best runs here, for example, and not saying that my. Uh, <laughs> Highest runs are like the same for everyone. But yeah, I do have the highest key 24, which is SVG, right? But my other keys are 23, right? So it's not that it's a big difference. It's not that I have like a 26 SVG and then my highest next key is 23. Uh, like I do think on the higher key levels, it is somewhat closer to each other. And then my Court of Stars is not even, like my Court is actually 22. <laughs> I do think I could do a higher one, but yeah. And if you look at Tyrannical, my highest SPG is 22, and then it's the same with the Aster Vault. So I don't even have a higher key level. Um, and if you look at the scores on Radar.io, the highest keys are obviously like SPG, but it's really, like, it's not as big of a difference anymore. And if you look at Radar.io, right, the highest keys are like quarter stars and SPG. Um, and these are not, these are actually depleted here. So this AA is depleted. So the highest keys, the 26s are only SPG. There's no timed 26. Actually, there is no timed 26 SPG either. Uh, let's go on timed. Um, 25 quarter stars and SPG. 25, but there's 125 no code offensive as well, right? Of course, there's a lot more Court of Stars and SPGs, but there are some no good offensives, right? So it's not like... I don't think it's as big of a problem as it maybe was with Junkie or anything. But yeah, of course, SPG and Court are easier. But yeah, you can see, like, if you scroll through here, you can totally see that almost all of the 24s are SPGs and Court of Stars. Then there's one Temple here, one Academy, one Ruby Life Pools. So you do definitely see other keys being done on high keys as well. So yeah, it's not like the, the biggest difference. Definitely a difference, but yeah. Yeah, there is a 24. There's a top four Aster Vault. I think the hardest key is actually... Um, I think the hardest key might be Hulls, actually. So the highest chord is 26, right? The highest SVG is 25. Um, then the highest no code offensive is also 25. Yeah, 25. The highest um, Academy is 24. The highest Hulls... It's also 24. Temple. 
Temple 24, Astro Vault 24. Yeah, so I guess all of them are done on 24. There is no single key that you can't do on 24. Now, of course, there's difficulties, right? Because if you look at um, Ruby Life Pulse, for example, it's not... Like, there's a lot of 24 keys. There's 15 24s on Ruby Life Pools. Well, if you compare it to Hulls, there's only three. So Hulls is definitely more difficult, right? And then if you compare it to what would be the other difficult one? I think Hulls might be the most difficult. Aster Vault, there's also, there's, there's 11. Temple. Temple is only eight, actually. Yeah, I, th I think Court is the mo uh, Hulse is the most difficult key so far. And I think Hulse is mainly difficult because of the timer, not because of anything else, really. And it's because it's really long. So, one thing that you have to consider as well is that the longer the a key is, the harder it is by default. Like just generally, because the longer the dungeon is, the more room for mistakes there is, right? Because if you if you, if you play a dungeon for forty minutes, uh, and another dungeon is only twenty five, then you almost have like double the amount of time to make mistakes, right? So obviously that will be uh, that will make it harder. But I do think the time in halls is also a bit short. I think they should, they might have to. Um, buff the timer a little bit. Well, okay. The reason why people always... The reason why people uh, say that Ruby is difficult is because people, uh, whenever they talk about difficulty, they don't um, define which difficulty they mean. Because Dun and Plus Dungeons have two separate difficulties. Number one, execution difficulty. And number two, timer difficulty. If you look at the highest keys done, it almost always just matters how difficult the timer is. Right? Because the people that do the highest keys possible, they probably can execute a dungeon really well, no matter if it's like on more difficult to execute or easier to execute, right? So even if a dungeon can be really hard mechanic-wise, the best of the best players, they will be able to execute it. And therefore, for the highest players, high-end high -end players, the timer is the difficulty that they think about mainly, right? Because they know how to execute the dungeons. They have communication, they know what each mob does, they know what they have to interrupt, they know what they have to stun, they know what to watch out for, right? So they don't necessarily care as much about the difficulty of the actual, like, mobs and the bosses inside the dungeon. They care about the timer. So that's why Halls of Valor is the hardest key for the high-end players, because the timer is the hardest there, right? Ruby Life Pulse, on the other hand, has a pretty easy timer um, for the high-end players. The dungeon itself is very difficult to execute, but because the high-end players don't care as much about the difficulty, like you can see there's 15 keys that are being timed on 24, which is um, a lot more than what we've seen in other dungeons. But that's because they know how to handle uh, Ruby Life Pools, right? They know they have to interrupt the, uh, the Cinder Bolts, they know they, how they have to deal with the, the dance, they know how to deal with the first boss, they know what to skip, what to do, blah, 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 right? And the timer in Ruby Life Pools is not that hard in comparison to other keys. But yeah, when it comes to ex execution difficulty, then Ruby Life Pools is one of the more difficult dungeons for sure. Thank you so much for Prime Sub, Celestial. Thank you very much.
All right, cool, cool, cool. I still have to update my sim. Shit, I forgot about doing that. Uh, did I close it? Uh, let me find this. One sec. Um... Oh, we're doing a threat thing. Oh my god. Okay, wait. And this, I did this, I simmed this properly, right? Yeah, so the biggest upgrade is just primal council trinkets, both of them. Mm, crook. 400 DPS, just random upgrades. All right. I still need heroic gloves. Actually, I mean, I don't... Uh, I still need to figure out where to put my sockets. I'll just put it in the bracers. Cam. My wares were made with knowledge. Oh my god, they're expensive. Come see me again. All right, so put that here. Did I have so many sockets? I have five sockets. Crazy, huh? I hate that I have to upgrade my cloak, but it is what it is. Yeah, I could wait for the next vault, but it's too late. Baldraken quality. It's too late. Wait, how much is this? 250. What did raid bots tell me to upgrade? It told me to upgrade braces once and cloak twice. Yeah. Sure, let's do it. See all Veldraken has to offer. The city awaits. All right, nice. I still need a different trinket. I'm not sure. Maybe it's fine. If I'm red's not that bad. Maybe I should train my ruby whelp shell. Maybe I should train it. Have you guys been training your whelpling?
What should I play? I really want to play at 22 holes. But the amount of times <laughs> we have to play at 22 holes... <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I have absolutely no idea what you want to do with your whelpling. Like, I have no idea how, what you should be training and... I don't know. Need to wait until they implement it into SimCraft properly. Hmm. Nah, I don't think it's this good. People are exaggerating. I mean, it's probably good, but it's not like insane. I don't think the RPPM is all over the place. Isn't it just one RPPM? I don't think it's changing. I think it's just one RPPM, I've heard. So I cannot believe Rain is sibbing 79k DPS. Oh my god, I hate Demon Hunters. I'm saving 70k! Oh my god, Moonkin's, Moonkin's single target. <laughs> Lalio is saving 76k? God, that's depressing. Uh, I have no idea how much sexy is sibbing. I didn't post it. I think. I don't even want to see the enhancement sim. Whatever is going on with enhancement sims is... Uh, I think they're sandbagging like backwards. The, <laughs> the enhancement APL is sandbagging backwards. Which makes sense when you think about it. Like, they specifically sim really highly to make sure that their upgrades have a bigger number. Just like, oh, this ring is like 5,000 DPS for me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> this is why I also ask for percent yet. I think that actually makes more sense. Hmm. It's so weird that uh, depleted keys give time. I uh, give score. I mean, it makes sense to give score, but uh, that much. I think they messed something up with the scoring system this time around. <sighs> do you really want to do Astro Vault? I don't know. Kinda don't. But there are no keys. I need to do a chord. Why are there no chord keys? I need to do at least a 23 chord.
Mm -hmm. That's the new Mist merch, apparently. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. Beautiful. <laughs> but uh, some of these things I can't show on stream. What the hell? <laughs> oh, I love the. I love the flex. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Okay, we played elementals, so I guess we don't have a rogue. Okay. I don't like this pack, but um, it is sort of just. I guess we play nothing here, okay? Okay, sounds good. Do you see everything in 8K USG? <laughs> I do see pretty well. My vault is many things, but harmless is not one of them. These whelplings perceive anyone not of my blood as a threat. You hate this key? Really? I don't mind. I mean, it's not my favorite dungeon, but I do. I don't mind it that much. Nearby creatures will awaken to purge you from the vault. I think it's time for a... For a... Um, blabbery muffin. There you go. No! <laughs> the frog rooms? Five. I mean, four, honestly, I've seen three, some other classes do really two, well in the frog rooms. One. Like, obviously, Munkin is really good. But I've seen other other classes come close to my damage. Like, just melee specs. Like, just demon hunters or rogues or whatever. My vault is many things, but harmless is not one of them. These whelplings perceive anyone not of my blood as a threat. Their gaze pierces all. If they see you, all nearby creatures will awaken to purge you from the vault. Marked by lightning! Five, four, three, two. Nice. The sundered flame have been delved uh? into my vault. They do not understand the dangers within, nor the powers they meddle with.
The elements answer to me! Five. Four. I hate to... Uh... Oh. Oh, I'm dead. I hate the view in this area. Ugh. Like, the ceilings are so low. It's like you just can't see anything. Oh. Well, this is not what we wanted. Are we just resetting this? The tank's not releasing, so I guess we're dying? What are we doing? Are we leaving? Is, uh, uh, are we going out? Sure, is just a tank rage quit or like something. What am I? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we tried. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we uh, just, yeah, it happens. More often than not, I feel like it's a tree. So <laughs> yeah, that is true. Yeah, sometimes when... Uh, like, specifically this pool, where... Because in the first room, it's still fine. But as soon as you go into this corridor, um, I think it's so difficult to do this pool. Just because... If you don't interrupt, you wipe, right? Like, you need to drop the Furies, Frontals, and you need to interrupt the Lashers. And you just don't see anything. Like... <laughs> The ceilings are so low, so your camera is like super zoomed in. And then you can move your camera like this, so you see the nameplates and stuff more. But then you don't see the floor properly, and then there's like these pools on the floor everywhere as well. So you need to look at the floor, and you need to look at the mobs, and your camera is like zoomed in, and it's like, what the fuck? Are you supposed to see anything? <laughs> Many deals for a friend of the Grummels, <laughs> like you. 23 temple. 24 halls. Beautiful. Good morning, simply. Mm <laughs> Listen to voice I'll play from first person. <laughs> yeah. I mean technically you could just pull it back. But I think first of all it takes some time to pull it back. But second of all, I think people are honestly, I think people are just a little bit too um like they feel like they can do it anyway, you know what I mean? But I do think pulling that back would make so much sense. Like, I think pulling this pull outside and then also pulling this pull outside would make so much more sense, in my opinion. The only problem is uh, the whelpling. Like, you need to make sure you somehow get the whelpling out. If you want to pull the whelpling. Because then, obviously, if you pull it out, he's just going to cast it and spawn the Furies. But if you have a DK, which we had, you can just grip... Uh, a well playing out, kill it, and then like move in this room. Because in this room, you see so much more. But in this room, you see nothing, and even in this area, you also see nothing. Like in this corridor, there's. I don't know, you just don't see anything. Uh, I will need Curse the Spell. Actually, I think. And go with this. Thanks for 15 months, Wisp. What's up? How you doing? I 
Have you seen that route where you just get 100% trash before second boss? And you jump down to the third and fourth boss? Uh, wait, that's, uh, don't you just, that's just a normal route, right? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a normal route. Doing, doing the Furies is pretty normal, yes. In high keys, you never play the, the rings. Whenever you do high keys, you never play, play the rings. But I personally like the other route more, where you do the frog area in the end. And the reason why I like it more is because you can skip the two breakers. I personally think um, playing these breakers here... Wait, let me show you. I was right there. These two breakers. I think there's such a big time loss in... Um, in Fortified. Because first, like you have to play them in one pool. Like, you do one pool for two mobs. Which, in my opinion, is already annoying. And they actually do a lot of AoE. Plus the charge. So I like it when you just don't do those two mobs. So you just play it at the end of the route. And then I also like skipping the two elementals. If you, Obviously, you need some sort of shadow melt for it, though. Or, like, a shroud. Yeah, but Mind Sooth requires you to have a priest. And that's a problem. <laughs> no, there's... No, 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 no. There's no way you skip the frocks. Like, that makes no sense. Because then you would have to play the... the <laughs> that seems absolutely awful. Because if you skip the, the... Like, you're basically saying that you want to skip all of these, like, frogs? That means that you have to play the platforms. Which seems so much worse. Like, playing the platform is definitely very inefficient. I don't think you want to do that. Oh, we're skipping the pandas? Oh. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, but I don't know, like, the, the thing that I am wondering, because... Like, I just don't understand why it would be worth it to skip the frogs. Because the frogs are actually pretty efficient, right? So why would you want to skip them? Like, that's what I don't get. Like, these frogs are really... Like, you can pull so many of them together. So I don't necessarily understand why you would skip all of that. I've added classes trouble damaging them. I mean... Uh, do they? Like, I do understand that they're jumping around, but as long as you keep... Because they jump on players, right? 
if you don't have like multiple range players that stand in China somewhere, um, you shouldn't have an issue damaging them that much. I mean, I can show you when I did at 23. Or was that 22? I don't remember. Let me see. Then, yeah, I did the most damage because obviously Munkin is going to be the best. But it's not that the other um, classes didn't do a lot either. Um... I can try and find that area for you. Okay, I opened op opened it up randomly, and it was me doing the most damage by far. <laughs> okay, may maybe Moonkins. Maybe you need Moonkins for the frog area. I don't know why I remember the rogues doing a lot of damage though. Maybe it was just at the start. Oh, you can see that. Hi. Right. The, the the problem was here that the demon hunter died. The demon hunter died before this. But you can see the rogue doing like quite a lot still. I don't know. I guess you just need to try to contain them more or something. Maybe there's a trick to it. Um. Elements answer to me. Wait, why is he not casting? Oh, there it is. Five, four, three. Maybe we have to see one of the mobs actually. The elements answer to me. Because we don't have a lot of interrupts with me not having one plus five. The four, warlock. Three. Two. Oh my god, I was so scared. Okay, maybe we have to see one of the water speakers on next fall. I mean, I guess we have Curse of Tongues. Wait. Are, are Warlocks running Curse of Tongues, or is that something you you have to spec? I mean, I assume you are. Uh, yeah, I assume you're running that, right? Oh, we are seeing one. Okay, good. That makes sense. Oh, we broke the other one. Oh my god, we're dead. Marked by lightning. We should, I don't know what we're gonna do here. Have to line, I guess. Oh, yeah, somehow we broke the water speaker, the blind.
The warlock pet broke it. That should not happen. Wait, he didn't spell reflect! Oh my god. Yeah, okay, this is just it. <laughs> I think if you're gonna pull them together, you need to... Pull them to this corner here. Like, you need to line up side them until they come over. I mean, I assume we're just spending. Thank you so much for Prime, Evelyn Vein. Thank you very much. I mean, yeah, the, I mean, the reason why we depleted was because someone broke the, the blind, right? Otherwise, uh, it would have been fine. Yeah, the I manipulator is fine as long as you just see one. You just have just to see one, right? But... But we broke it. We broke the blind. Well, those were some... Those, those were two really quick depletes. <laughs> Man, I'm so fast at doing keys today. That's crazy. <laughs> Okay, what do we do now? What do we deplete now? Man, I really want a Hulse. Academy? Hmm. Yeah, there aren't many keys that haven't timed. It's only Temple Academy? 23. But I don't see any of those anywhere. And Hulse 22, but... Oh! Okay, yeah. Like, the problem is sometimes I see the keys, but then I don't want to necessarily join if it looks like a weekly no lever, you know? Thanks for the Prime stuff, uh, Sono. Thank you so much. And I'm not sure if it's worth it to do a 22 um, in time when I depleted a 23. Like, I'm not even sure if that's better. Most of the time, it's probably not.
Hmm. I mean, there's no way we're not going to deplete this, right? It's 22 hulls. Right? This doesn't look like a timed key to me. But whatever, let's queue up. You never know. Oh, is there a brewmaster? Damn. <laughs> it's it's the evoker from the previous key <laughs> from the temple. <laughs> Okay, after this key, I'm gonna look at some Rustic stuff. I think after this key, I'm done. Unless we depleted after the first pool, then I will find one more. I'm gonna need a summon. I don't have a port. I don't wanna fly all the way to Hulse. Hulse is so far from Dalaran. Dude, preheat the city, 91k DPS. Excuse me? What is that sim? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, he's simming two minutes patchwork. Why would he sim two minutes? <laughs> Why are you simming two minutes? <laughs> is that an evoker thing? <laughs> Shit, wait, I'm gonna delete it and post it somewhere else. We shouldn't text in here, wait. Is Twitch dying? I don't see loyalty badges. Uh-oh. Twitch dying? Seems fine. Uh, seems fine. Okay, now we see the loyalty badges. I don't know. I saw Kuros write something earlier without a badge. Weird. Or without icons. My raid locks are private. Hmm. Oh, thank you. You know it, Banjo, you know it. The hardest dungeon for Boomy? Um, I mean, I don't think any of the dungeons are hard necessarily, or harder. 
But I think the dungeons where Mookie is just generally not so good is Court of Stars. Because, I mean, Mookie is really good on big AoE pulls that live for a long time. And Court has barely any of those. So that's why Mookie is not that good in Court, in my opinion. Then... Uh... I also don't think Mugen is that good in Temple, because of the same reason. Lots of tiny little ads, you know, that just die fast, and you can't do any super big pulls. And then Ruby Life Pools is a bit so-so. Like, a big problem with Ruby is that you need so many interrupts, and Mugen just doesn't have so many interrupts. <laughs> That's a bit annoying. And then at the same time, you also have a lot of small mobs in like the upstairs area. You have all of these tiny little elements, uh, elementals, uh, the fire elementals, um, that just die. All right, so we're not playing any wolves. Are we just seeing a thunder color? Yes, we are. We've been prison, so it should be fine, right? Thanks, Sir Prime, Sir Pry, and thanks to Nineteen Months Charlie. What's up? Oh. Long have I awaited noble champions to enter my realm. Behold, the halls of valor. This place will test your mettle. And if you are found worthy, Okay, now he simmed five minutes, but it's still 83k DPS. Evokers, man. Evokers. That's crazy. Thank you so much for the sub, uh, little bitch boy. I appreciate that. That is kind of insane. That's like 13k DPS more than I'm simming. Wait, why are we laughing? Wait, what happened? Oh, well, that's your name! Well, <laughs> that's your name! <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a bully. I don't know. What do you mean? Ah, let's do this. Are you ready for the first pull? Five, four. It's gonna be three, beautiful. It's a monkey pull. One. I said that, and now I'm, we're probably gonna wipe, or I'm gonna die, or ugh. I jinxed it. Champions to enter my realm. Behold the halls of battle. This place will test your metal, and if you are found worthy. The Aegis of Agrimar will be yours. The 
elements answer to me! Five, four, three, two. Holy shit, this shade is fast. The hell? Song, it's kids. Five, four. I call upon your aid. Uh oh. Let your words be measured. I should take it after. Watch the dragon. Watch the dragon. Oh my god. Oh my god. The blood of the unworthy will flow through these halls. Do not let the gates fall. I will bleed the weakness from your veins. I'm too far. I'm dead. I am dead. Oh, my life. <laughs> oh, come on. Why is Starfire such a long cast? It feels like it never ends. And this boss is really not dying. Guess I'm gonna have to use cooldowns. <gasps> to those, uh... please. <laughs> I will bleed the weakness from your veins. From your veins, storm breaks at my side. Five, four, three. The blood of the unworthy will flow through these halls. Okay, I guess I should have saved my pulsar proc at least. <laughs> Before you lies your next trial, defeat both Persia and Fenrir, and you will have proven your worth to me. Oh my. Nice. Five, four, three. 
Oh my. Oh. These stupid champions heal so much. I can soothe, but only one, so it's like. Oh, we pulled Devil Mystic? Alright, I like it. And a Thundercrawler. I'm gonna pop for this. I have a feeling this might be a pool. Somehow worked out. Hmm. I like it. Oh, we pulled that guy. Oh shit, and my cooldowns are ready. Uh, guess I'm gonna have to use the cooldown and a sentinel. Can't just hold on the to them. To me. Five, four. Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> that hurts. No! I died through bark skin? Oh man. I even saw that that cast might go through. Man, I thought bark skin might be enough. 6.4k overkill. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Why can't I have Dark Pact? I wouldn't have that then. I am line of sight. Through great deeds of courage and valor, Persia has earned this most sacred of rights. She shall ascend. Marked by lightning! Are you nervous, Persia? It is understandable if. Five, I'm not nervous. Four. Only excited. All my life has led to this one glorious moment. Organ like a true Valkyr. Mortal intruders approach. I witnessed their deeds in Stormheim. Their kind has no true honor, no true virtue. 
I will purge them from these sacred halls myself. The ritual is not yet complete. Wait. Oh my god. For a second I did, I wasn't sure where the frontal is facing. <laughs> Starfall Five, here, by the way. Four, three, two. Because I have a feeling that I was in range of um, Solston. Maybe not. Thanks for 22 months, Light Void. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well. <gasps> that frontal. You sully this ritual with your presence, mortals. You will not deny Hersha's ascendance. Hold that maybe a bit, Urm? The elements answer to me! No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Five, four, three, two. Hmm, I guess we should just rest. Interrupt? Nice. Is yours to command. What is the, the trick with this boss battle? I saw a video, but I didn't like really pay attention to it. Oh, somebody remind me. Like, apparently there's something you can do with Harsha that we already did in Legion, but then people forgot about it or something. Five, I don't know. Four. The light shines eternal in you, Harsha. Yeah, I don't know, like, it's something like, um, to tank the boss here or something, and then something with the stairs, I don't really, like, I guess you're, like, um, CXing the, 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 the boss or something? I will not fail you, Aegir! Like, they just go over your head or something like that, I think? Be gone from these hallowed halls! Oh my. Light embraces you, Hersha. Are we gonna die to these now? Marked by lightning. I mean, this time it was already weird, right? Because we had um, the AOEs, Five, like the circles. Four, three. The storm gathers within you, Hersha. Well, my HP was a bit low. 
the light embraces you. You will pollute these halls no more! Do I evokers are evokers ever out of mana? I I feel like I looked at the evoker mana earlier and it was 50% and now I looked at it again and it was 60%. Like they literally gained mana throughout the boss fight somehow. It's like, oh, okay. Out of healers lose mana, evokers gain mana. I guess they equal us for next pull. The elements answer to me. Mighty Fenrir stalks these grounds. It will take cunning and guile to slay this beast. A perfect test of your worthiness. <laughs> Saber too. I honestly think Evoker is quite a lot better, specifically for um. Um, spiteful, just because they never have to drink. And spiteful is so bad for drinking because you almost, like, you know, if you need to get out of combat, it's such a tim big time loss, right? Because you have to wait for the shades to be killed or disappear. And it takes quite a long time. Well, if you have a healer that never has to drink, you can just keep chain pulling and just leave the, um, the shades in the back, whatever. Because Rastodroid needs to drink a lot. Rastodroid is like a lot of mana issues in comparison. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't know what, what that is. I guess uh, it's just bugged. It's probably because I walked through the portal and it didn't like it. So now I just have a permanent cloud effect as if I'm... I don't know. Maybe it's just foggy. You know? It's a foggy day.
Oh, we don't have a rogue for Fenrir, I just realized. Oh. Might be annoying. Especially since we're not playing the works. Ooh. We're not playing the wolves. That might be slightly annoying. Because then we don't have a lot of space to spread out. Why are you not moving out? Idiot. <laughs> no. Let's see if we can do this. Without a rogue. It's gonna be something. I believe. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm stuck. Maybe we can do the oh, we sing all the spells. Marked by lightning. Think that I got this spell though. I'm squishy. Five. Definitely stacked up with that one. Uh, I think I'm just dead. I'm not dead. I might still die to the bleeds. We have trip two a uh, triple double bleeds. Oh, I'm just I'm just so scared. <laughs> The elements answer to me! Are you supposed to survive this? <laughs> Thanks for price of Groomskull. I'm sorry, but what are you supposed to do? <laughs> Yikes! Back to boss! Kinda of nerve to bleed already! Come on! How, how is this legal? The dot ticks for fucking 90k! <laughs> That's insane! Idiot. It's not even a dwarf meta, it's night elf. Well, in fact, you just bring a rock. <laughs> and you're fine. That's 30k DPS, that ain't that high for 22s, to be honest. Uh, 
Are you just blaming my boss DPS? Do you, do you think we just wiped because uh, you didn't see our boss DPS? <laughs> when I wasn't there for him 24 7 because I was dying. <laughs> I did 90k overall DPS, bruh. 90k overall! You got a problem? <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, without a rogue, like I didn't even realize we don't have a rogue until we were about to pull Fenrir. And I was like, oh, wait a second, we don't have a rogue. <laughs> well, to be fair, they should just nerf the bleed, honestly, because, um, like, I think this boss is just really dumb. It just does way too much damage. I don't think you should, uh, I don't think it's like a good mechanic to require you to have, um, like a certain racial or a rogue. Especially because Rogue is already so good right now. If Rogue would be bad currently, then I wouldn't even mind it. Right? Because, like, Warlock... Uh, needing a second Dispel for the last boss in Temple, I think that's okay. Because Warlock is not that good right now. Well, I mean, Warlock is good, but it's not, like, OP OP. So, requiring a Warlock for Temple or, like, a mass Spell or whatever, I think is fine. Personally. But, uh... Requiring a rogue when rogue is already broken seems like meh. I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, oh, you can't do Fenrir without the rogue. I mean, you can do it, but it's, it's really stupid. Could just put a timer in the bleed instead of infinite duration. Yeah, I mean, there's m many things they could do. Like, either they just don't make it infinite duration, which, in my opinion, would already be a good thing. Um, so it doesn't stack um, on the second leap. Like, it should definitely run out before the second leap. I don't think you should stack up to two or three or whatever, because that's just so that's just unhealable damage. And then um, they could also just make it. Um, so it's somehow easier to, to, either it's easier to dodge, or you can, I don't know, just like outplay in a way, or you can, or the bleed does less damage, or, I don't know, there's many things they could do um, to make it less annoying. Yeah, Munkin is good in uh, Rates and, and Plus. I'm not sure if it's good as an alt, though. The problem with Munkin is that it's not very good on low and plus keys. And it's not good if you don't have four piece, for example. So if you play it as an alt, um, maybe you're not going to have that much fun with it. Because Munkin is, is good for high end content. But for like middle content or lower tier content, it's really not good. So maybe as an alt, it's not the best idea. Then I would rather. Play classes that are maybe better for lower end content. Mal is a boomy. I'm doing 15 keys, doing decent damage with three piece. Really? What does decent damage mean? I feel like if you don't even have 4 piece and you do 15 keys, I would just get absolutely wiped. Like somebody would take my moon kit and just wipe the fucking floor with it. And it wouldn't even be close. I don't know. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to be right back one second, and then we're going to take a look at Rasagath. I think I'm done with keys for now, at least for a little while. Maybe we play one more key before the raids. 
afterwards. Okay, one second, bear back. And people really aren't happy with uh, the interview answers. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> is there a 15 euro patch today? There is not. You must be downloading like the PTR or something.
Okay. <laughs> that is true, Benjo. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at the uh, Rastagaf for a second. How far did they get? Where's the song? I don't like it. Doesn't look that bad. We've seen intermission once. Took us five minutes though. I think that's a bit long. <laughs> but the last try was good. Um, the toast stream it. Oh, they don't have POVs, right? Uh, bots, I mean. Does any of these streamers have bots? Oh no! Wait, to to has view these. Never mind. All right, let's see what they did. Apparently we're not doing like proper um, positions anymore. We just like move somewhere close together and we don't stack. I guess that's fine. What do I have to do for the pushbacks? I think uh, I'm gonna ask Faramond or Lifelum, I guess. Oh, no, Lifelum wasn't there. Er? But I think you just charge and that's it. I guess you can gate on one of the last ones. Yeah, for this one, charge is surely just fine. Also, I think. I think feral charge, like cat charge, is better than bear charge, right? People just use bear charge because you're tankier and you can use frenzied region. Because <laughs> the bear charge puts you at the, si at the edge of the hitbox, but the cat jump puts you in the middle, right? So cat jump is better. Yeah, bear jump is slower. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, it is slower. That is true. I can't believe this worked out, even though no one was in position. I guess you have to be close, though, for the AoE. For the fall of damage. Hmm. 
Uh, I think I just want a timer for... For the spread, right? Which one is that again? Volatile current? That one, yeah. Then maybe change the bar. And I need a breath weaker. I deleted all my weakers on accident. <laughs> Thanks for the 44 months, uh, Canon. Appreciate that. Um. Because so I, I deleted all my weaker ass because I took these other weaker ass on our spreadsheet and they absolutely did nothing. <laughs> it looked like it had everything. Like these liquid weaker ass. It looked like it literally is everything and then it had nothing. I don't know if it just didn't work. <laughs> I guess this is just supposed to be for the spread out. But then I need to get the other weaker ass back. Because I deleted them all. Is the full liquid pack, like, does it include everything? Or is... Wait, let me, t let me see. Because then maybe I just take that instead of these. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> they said two months, then it's what's up. Let's try those then. Oh my god, it's not even loading. Not even the Vago website is loading them. That's how many there are. Oh my god, it literally isn't loading. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, wait, let's delete this then. That's a lot of weaker ass. <laughs> Holy Jesus. <laughs> All right. I'll take a look then. Ah, shit. Oh wait, it has the rasa gas separately though. So we can Oh my god, that's so nice. Let's just delete all of the rest of it then. I hope it works then. Tank or us. Yeah, delete that. Delete this. Okay, 
Okay, wait. So all of these are put at load never? No, they're not. Where's the whole thing at load never? No. Dude, why are the dragons so loud? This is bothering me so much. It's like a jump scare every time. Spreads. Why does it say two? Do I have those somewhere else? Wait, so these do work? Because the last time I had... So I had them and they just didn't work? Okay, now I'm confused. Because I did heroic Rasageth or normal world and none of those regrows worked. Like, none of them. Were they just in Lord Never or something? Oh, it was Heroic Mythic and we were doing normal mode. Ah, okay. Yeah, maybe that's, that was it. Yeah, maybe just in a lot of normal. But then we can delete the other ones again. I guess. What does this one have? Okay, this is the uh, static. Formula in charge. Oh, these are glows. Okay. This is uh, the thing for spread circle, blast. What's searching for? Isn't that the frontal? Do I need a circle for the frontal? Oh no, what is third? Oh wait, is that the 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 the, the, the phase three thing? Tempest swing circle. Maybe this just shows the duration of it. Maybe that's fine. Okay, so there's no weaker for the breath here, I think. What's the breath called? Lightning breath. I don't see a lightning breath weaker, do you? Let's take that from here then. Oh, this is the other breath. Is there a breath weaker anywhere? What, are you just supposed to see it? <laughs> what the hell? How am I supposed to dodge the breath if there isn't a weaker uh, yelling at me? I mean, there's this weaker, but it's just a timer. He always has a timer too. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's take this. Oh shit. I think I'll just take all of these weaker still and see what happens. Okay, so all of this is load mythic. Let's see how rug is all, just to see. Her. 
Whatever, let's just use all of these weak rows and then see what I want to do, leads. I'm sure there's a bunch of useless stuff. Well, let's get rid of this then. I know what this is, though. It's cover- these weakers here are covering my big wigs. Should I install this? What the hell is that? Is that the healing debuff? Or... Oh yeah, it is. We don't need that. I'm not a healer. <laughs> Storm spide. What's that? What is that? I'm confused. Storm spides. Oh, it's the last phase diva from soaking the orbs? No. Oh, this is literally just from standing in a raging storm. No, I don't need that. <clears throat> did I did I just move this here huh oh no it was the storm search shield that I moved what's the other thing oh the flame shield ah it's the red guy flame shield yeah I'm not on the red side but I'm just gonna keep it anyway it's not gonna trigger when I'm not there right I assume it's not. So I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, that's fine. Breath is fine as well, I guess. Oh no, this is a breath swoop! Oh, no, you liked me the wrong week. I, I just meant the... <laughs> I meant the, the literal, just the normal breath. From the boss, you know? How is there no weaker for that? In the pack, I mean. Like, I can just get one, right? But I, I didn't mean the swoop, I meant the other thing. Like, just the normal, when the boss is in phase one, it just turns around and, like, does a breath, right? There's one? Okay, where is it? I just... Oh, you just mean the timer, right? Like this one, yeah? Maybe if I just move them closer, it's fine. I guess we just put a sound. What sound do we want? Isn't there a Dutch sound? <gasps> Should we use the meow? We haven't used meow yet. <gasps> Do you think this, this is the meow? This is the cat. <coughs> oh my god, that's so loud. <laughs> Thanks for 10 months, Panther. Appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks for stuff, Defcon. Okay, this one's fine. Let's use this then. Uh, did I delete the other Uyghur now that uh, Toe sent me? Do I want that one? Or is there one in this pack? The breath, uh, the sweeping breath. Is there a Uyghur for it? In here? Like when 
she flies over the platforms. Other than the first breath thing. I guess there is one. Like this one here, breath announcer. But does this one work for the main platform as well? Maybe I'll just keep this one, whatever. Then I have two breath regress. Whatever, we'll just we'll just delete whatever we don't need. I'm sure it will be fun. No cat, please. <gasps> What's wrong with the cats? <laughs> Guess the only problem is that if people with cats watch my stream, their cats might get confused. Is that, th is that a thing, guys? Should I watch out for you cats? Why are Nazareth streaming so much? 85k DPS, sure. <laughs> so are you telling me all of the enhancement shaman players are just bad players? Because they never reached their sim DPS? Is that what's happening? And evokers too, for that matter. <laughs> okay, fine, I'm gonna remove the cat. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. No more cats. <laughs> okay, what do we have then? We could use this one. <laughs> what the hell does a polar bear sound like? Well, that's scary. <laughs> What's a sword ring? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, we are going with that. <laughs> That's pretty, isn't it? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I mean, thunder would be kind of fitting, but then at the same time, this, this is way too long, that sound. <laughs> Man, this is, uh... <laughs> this is very important. We need the correct sound, guys. <laughs> I can't use this one. I already have this one. Definitely not an air horn. It's like an apocalypse. apocalypse. Oh my god, that's the longest weaker of sound ever. This is literally the worst weaker of sound because it has nothing at the start. Like you can barely hear it at the start. <laughs> the hell <laughs> yeah that's that's good idiot she just have the idiot sound But it already says this when we wipe. I don't think we can overuse idiots. Punch. Okay, let's have the punch. You know what? If I ever die to the to the breath now, it's gonna be reload's fault. <laughs> so we're just gonna leave it like this now. <laughs> okay. What's the time? It's still one hour. Ugh, let's play another in plus. Ah, oh, look, it's Smog! 24 cord, that'd be nice. Mooking kind of sucks in cord, though. <laughs> I 
25 Shadow Moon Burial Grounds. This would be key. Twenty five Astro Vault. Hmm. Man, now that I wanna raid, there's all of these high keys all of a sudden. Hmm. If I time at 22 Academy, is that better than that 23 Depleted? Ooh. <laughs> it's Smuck. Okay, what do we play in court? I was thinking, um... That maybe, like, playing a more single target heavy build makes sense. But then at the same time, I mean, this is single target, right? The only thing that you would change is like, like not play Ethereal Kindling, I guess. And I like go with Power of Goldrin and Friend of the Fae or some bullshit. I don't know. But I don't know if that makes sense. So there's only really some big pulls to start. And even then it dies kind of fast. Maybe only one ethereal kindling would make sense. Play like gold written. Also, I don't need this. And beam is not big on this key now. Beam is only good for the imps, but you don't need it for the imps, because you just reflect it, and they die. <laughs> yeah, because Prot is balanced. <laughs> Also, I'm scared for my life in this key as well. Everything just is so much damage. I have 4.2k haste. That's a lot of haste. Yeah, enhancement shaman would be really nice because we're missing bloodlust. I'm sorry, what do you mean, Crimson? Park? Oh, Spark. I use Sparks for all four of my crafted items, yeah. I crafted two rings, a weapon, and a necklace. Do you like how Munkins look? Munkins are beautiful and adorable. And they just they just look incredibly capable. Like whenever you look at a Munkin model, they just like they look capable and you feel safe and protected. <laughs> like whenever you see them cast Starfire or something, it's just like you know they got your back. <laughs> Couriers deliver when they're flapping information to lieutenants throughout when they're the flapping they definitely they look very scary if there's ever any enemies that is, that see a moon can flap then they'll just run away in fear Yeah, 
Ja, er staat een lor. Er staat een lorretje om ook in. Het is nice. I am stuck. Help! Oh, we actually got a summon. Nice. Dude, pandas are really nice, though. Pandas have the best animations. Pandas actually have... Moonkin animations are kind of garbage. Yeah, that's the biggest reason why I don't play Moonkin uh, form. Because the animations are just very bad. Pandas have really good animations, though. Pandas have awesome animations. I love it when I get a panda for my coin or something. What's an atomic recalibrator? What is that? It can turn into a panda? Do I need that? I don't want to be a male dwarf right now. I want to be a Tusker. It's an injury thing? Really? How long does it last? The buff. <gasps> and stay through death? Oh my god, is it engineering only? It lasts one hour? Oh my god, that's insane. I need that right now. Do I need to be an engineer for it? Oh my god, you can buy it off the auction house. That is amazing. I need this right now in my life. It's removed once you get in into combat? Oh my god, seriously? Well, that's useless then. <laughs> it's definitely not removed in combat. Okay, now chat is just making things up. <laughs> god damn it, chat. It only works with four sets. It only works if you have four sets and your character name starts with S. Hello, Hello. Hello. So this is the route you were suggested doing uh, last year, yeah. right? With docks after first boss. Um, let's see, the harbor or what? Up. Yeah, harbor. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. I, I want to try it again because last time it was not so clean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, so after the first boss, we just go to Hopper and then we kill that without Rogue. And then Rogue skips. Yep. Sounds good. Uh, did you get out and change the dungeon to Mythic? Oh, it's not Mythic. Nice, so. Ooh, I have beer as well. So what about last? We mm, I can have a beer later for the raid. After first or boss, maybe or... two. Yeah. Two or okay. three. You can go in now. Thanks for 69, Kevin. What's up? Wait, it's still on her. Right. <laughs> maybe four? <laughs> hey, Aki. <laughs> Good. 
Good point, so I see what you say. Let's see how this goes. I'm playing blacksmith, so I can do a trap if we get it. Cool. Cool. Wait, I'm as well. Black I'm a blacksmith as well. Right? Okay, so if we don't do harbor at the start, I'm just gonna use cooldowns on pole. Keep in mind we don't have a lot of interrupts. It should be fine. The constructs yeah, might be a little bit of an issue. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I try to take every ears from our season. We should be fine. Thanks, Sir Prime. Crafty, thank you so much. Our spies report that Elisand herself will attend. This presents a rare opportunity to catch her away from her source of Wait, it gets removed because of the Moonkin glyph? We'll take a side Oh my god, seriously? Too many that is so annoying. They need to fix that right now. This is unplayable. This is your best chance to eliminate the Grand Magistrates. Good luck. I should have roared the tank. It seems the Dusk Watcher charged with keeping order during the party. I'll just have to wait for Might night through the long road. The hidden approach. Along yeah, the I should have definitely roared the tank. To disable their arcane beacons my bad. And keep the no, oh my god. Raising the alarm. <laughs> Tank's so slow. I will kick horse first. Okay. My vortex down. My cutie cat. Want to jump melee then? Uh... Oh, gee, I think. Marked by lightning. Kicking Can horse. Me? I am stunned for Four. an hour. Four. It's clear. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Did I got that no horse. Did we miss the beacon or what? Um... Okay. Yeah, I think we missed it. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was rooted, so. Oh, okay. Couldn't get him. It's fine, it doesn't matter. He has millions of HP. Kick someone. Can this? I got next one if needed. Let's check. I'm first one on ho I didn't last on first pack, my bad. You want to use it now? Or... Sort of. Oh, uh, you can. Yeah. I have it. And what's the next? You can just last whenever, I guess. Or. Yeah, yeah we can last now. It's fine, I guess. Okay, kick, kick, kick. Don't, don't have. Kick, bro. Kick, bro. Marked by lightning! I kick next. This. Five. Four. Clear. Three. I got. Uh, still got next. Mistake. Okay, let's just kill the sentry. Nice trees. Oh, we had it. Fine. Oh, we gotta pull him back. Oh no. We... Uh, we gotta reset this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see... right, right. yeah, just die. Uh... <laughs> by oh no. Just skip. Or... Yeah, I just think activate the tower. I do tower. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Did I help my at this and pulling? No, please don't. Please don't. Okay, then pull. Oh, thank God. What the fuck? Can I can't strike. Interrupt the another sentry. I'll root it. I keep. I got necked on sentry. On losses. Man, I hate these stupid little. Fa fairies. God, the they're annoying. Hole. This is why I never play the fairies. Answer to me. I remember now. Five. And break the center in the back. And yeah, that's what I'm trying. Okay, we're definitely a bit slow, to say the least. I am first one on horse. <laughs> also, we have so much trash. Because we pulled an, we pulled an extra sentry, we pulled an I extra next. construct. I assume smock is not... activating? It is. I'm gonna shot me next on horse. Yes. I'm next if he comes up. Fuck it. Okay. Clear and then I go do the thing. I was planning to do boss with the pack, but I guess we have enough percentage now. We can maybe still do it and then skip something later, but it depends what toys we have. Yeah. So I don't know. I guess we can just do it. Right. Shouldn't be a big damage loss to the boss. If we're just cleaving. Uh, maybe we disable this pillar as well, to be honest. Because we yeah, we can do that. Alright, I'm yeah, waiting go. in a second. Yeah. No trespassers allowed! Is this with you, Carol? Because, uh... Yeah. Might as well. Mouse Love getting this spell. Right? Yeah, yeah. I need reinforcements. Man. I interview you. It's fine. Thanks. We have a. Can you just see this one, maybe? In the back? The desk watch? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Don't have this one yet. The elements answer to me!
kind of spots us to lie for a long time. Line broke. This will even the odds. Time I can uh, we, we go back now and do hover. I got yeah. Nicely done. <laughs> this guy's gonna disappear, right? Yeah. You fine? We don't have a list. I should be fine. I'll kill the sentry first. The elements answer to me. I go pull me while clear me. Don't have cool eyes for this. I burn. I put it at him. By the way, so uh, let me go in solo and uh, recap the first round. I will AOE uh, stun next. Sounds good. When do we lose next? Mm. We lost um, uh, second mini boost if time will be fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let me catch the aims and only get in combat after they start casting. Okay, I slam next. I can roar next. Nice. Should we summon the guy or what? Oh yeah. And kill it with these yeah, two. Just, just pull, we just only pull have it. one summon, unfortunately. It sucks. <laughs> We're gonna go super yeah, so over chat. By the way. <laughs> no one can spin? Marked by lightning! Make yourself useful and take a look around. I got next. Five. Ow. <laughs> well, that hurts. Maybe we have the blacksmithing trap, I guess. Holy shit, that almost one-shots me. Jesus Christ. I think we pull two more mobs on this and just burn the last. You have anything left? Yes. Uh, I've pulled downs now, yeah. Okay, let's go for it. I'll take the first kick on my lightning. God, it hurts. Five, four, three. Someone has an exit. I have the next exit on the Go other side, I guess. 
Good time. No one can this book. Can oh, we have to chop. Uh, let me hunt names. Same thing, I reflect first. I have um, the trap, yeah. I can do that. I'm stuck. I stun. Oh, I don't have someone stun. Stomping. Oh okay. And I stun next. I stun next. I can, I can dunk. Okay. The elements answer to me! Mm, let's kill the enforcer for first one. Actually. Yeah. Then I can use trap on last one. I'll take the first kick. Oh, that guy um. jumped far. Oh. Watch out. <laughs> Just move to other corner, man. Oh, cool. yeah. <laughs> move to other corner. Line, line, line. Mm. The elements Just... answer to me. Just uh, the leads here. Before the yeah. yes. We should have interrupted, or I guess we have to interrupt the mistress's uh, cast because it does so much damage. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that, uh, whatever it's called. The mm, get this. What are you waiting for? Check out that noise. We still need more trash, right? Do we do we last here or do we actually just hold? Um should last think. Just be a bit stress here so I can just go. Show me next. Yes. What else do we need here? Tank is next. We need uh, maybe those two mobs. Answer to me. Show me. Yes. Five, four, three. Careful with this one. Here. Too much. Hello, next. I can... We do the trap now, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Stay for a minute, I don't have. And we will also put some trash on this. I think we need the patrol with the three I'm guys. Gonna, I'm gonna use trap now. Is the mistress and the dog not enough? I don't think so, we need like 6%. You. Okay. Have a look over there. Okay, taking the patrol. Uh, clear me. I'm first one on dog. Five. Trento. Seating. He didn't interrupt. Oh shit! <laughs> I got next. 
I got knocked. And they can kill. Get okay. it. Yeah. The elements answer to me! There's so much to watch oh, out for on this pool. <laughs> uh, wrong next one. This pool is a bit crazy, honestly. Five, four, three. I shouldn't have used my cooldowns, but I was a bit worried. <laughs> Thanks for two months, Esper. Thank you so much. You're fine with 40% uh, mana, right? Some of Plenty of accounts. Plenty of accounts. No, your mana is fine, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Who needs henchmen? I'll burn you myself. I kick boss first. It will amuse me to help this boss is fine without me having cooldowns. This boss does so much damage. The elements answer to me. Shami boss. Yes, sir. I'm just gonna innovate I'm him. I'm feeling positively radiant. Uh, rogue, yeah. Hi, Ben. Hi, Mark. Sorry. You said everything. Mortal flash. That's a good boss. So pretty when it burns. I am next one, boss. I can't take other ones. Okay. It will amuse me to watch you melt. Marked by lightning. I kick. Get stun swims. Someone? I have Roar next. Five, four, three. It will amuse me to watch you melt. I got number one. We don't have to fail, I guess, because we have the beacon. Yes. Yeah. Can we ask to do this normally? I will go lower left. No, all right. Speaking of the hatch you disguised, may be infused by latent magic. I'm going to attention to yourself with wild activity. It's your first one, I guess. Kind of slow. No cape, light vest. No born filth. Perhaps reducing their rations of arquine will remind them who it is they serve. Oh, nice. Huge. Gamer. <laughs> Thanks for three months, uh, Kyra. Thank you so much. Don't think we have enough time, oh. unfortunately. Mm. <laughs> Mark, Mark, when do you want me to As pop my uh, <laughs> my uh, <laughs> will turn on each other oh, like uh, uh, this one here. Like Any this, sympathizers will be exposed. Can't believe you walked the other side. I didn't on notice. The second, uh, okay, on the fourth. Yeah. Uh, seven. Okay. With the rest, should be nice. I think I might use cooldowns here, actually. Can you play melee here, please? So I can stun the first. Mm -hmm. Nice. Maybe we do have enough time, actually. Even though we clown this key quite a lot. But thankfully, Quarter Stars is just really easy in the timer. <laughs> Okay. 
but almost one just me. I was thunder. But it doesn't actually one shot me, so I don't know. I don't have to go bear for him, right? Lightning. Fuck, I'm gonna go bear for I'm scared. I'm just too scared. Damn, I got things. Five, four, three. I will do next. Oh, they just did so much damage. Okay, I'm running. Someone's done. Nice. No. No. It's a good kill. It's on me. Excellent. Must you leave so soon, now that we Grand Magistrate? The way to the balcony should be open. It's time to Do put you an end to Elisa. Don't you expect to waste time chattering with vapid nobles, even as my enemies close in? Look there, you fool. Okay, I don't call us a pull, but I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. We don't have last for two minutes. My God, mm, we never made such an intrusion. I don't think we have time. Just lost already. Yeah, yeah, okay, failure, two minutes. Malandrous. Consider this your chance to correct it. Dispose of these outsiders. I must return to the night hold. I'm gonna use a good pot. Maybe we have, maybe we can do it. Finally, I'll make this quick. I will speed you towards your demise. I will just clear one by one. I got nothing else to do. If you flink, you bleed. Yeah. You don't even need to despair me. We just spawn boss. Yeah. Five, four. Bleed for the Grand Magistrates. If you blink, you bleed. You can't counter what you can't see. If Next one will be really. You bleed. Yep. Yeah. Um, Let's intend. If you blink, Listing. you bleed. Okay, I have everything for this last. Slices to the bone. I will speed you towards your demise. The elements answer to me. If you blink, you bleed. Death by a thousand Five. cuts. If you blink, you bleed. <clears throat> Damn, we're blasting this boss. If you blink, you bleed. Death by a thousand cuts. I will speed you towards your demise. Good job, huge. First <laughs> weekly. <laughs> nah, I got rid again. Twenty-five. Shadow. Nice ring, by the way. Mm -hmm. We may have missed our chance at the Grand Magistrate. What you got, Shadow? But her I got Shadow. Come. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Yeah. We'll find another way to settle I actually have to go. Unfortunately. Oh. Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, unlucky. Uh, but thanks, Ricky, and good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Ricky. Oh man, he got Shadow Moon! And now I'm gonna have, I have to go and breed Rest again. He got 25 Shadow Moon. Oh, so unfortunate. <laughs> Feels bad. I can't believe we timed this. I thought it's already depleted when we did this really bad thing at the start where we just ninja pulled like three different packs. <laughs> but somehow we did it. But I guess it worked because we did these crazy pulls later where we just pulled 
inquisitor packs into mini bosses and, <laughs> and constructs. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Sexy is only saving 71k DPS to whoever asked earlier. So, I mean, it's not that that is like nothing, but compared to like some of the other higher swimming classes, <laughs> it's really insane. Mm -mm. Uh, I don't know if this shaman streams. I'm sorry, I don't know. I can't believe we killed this boss so fast. I think the last two minutes, 17. I don't, under like, I honestly don't understand how they tune boss HPs. Like, it's a 24 key and the boss dies in two minutes. And in some other keys, the boss have like triple the HP or something. I don't understand how they're tuning it. Shouldn't the bosses have approximately the same health in keys? If there's no like intermission phase or anything? I'm I'm confused. Like for example, the boss in Shadow Moon, Burial Grounds, the worm, that boss just feels like it has <laughs> no. It feels like it's three times the health of Advisor Melandris. <laughs> it depends on if there are ads or not. Yeah, but if there were, but yeah, but Melandris doesn't have any X, right? So it should be, it should have a decent amount of health, right? Because that boss uh, is just single target. There's literally nothing else. So I'm a bit confused on how this boss dies in two minutes. And then other bosses take four minutes on a 24 or like three to four minutes. That is just very weird. Anyway, uh, I want to see if there's a BOE on the... Take all the time you need. What is it? The boots, right? Is it boots? Mm, there's only the heroic version. I need the mythic version. This is when you need. I even used the good pot on the last boss, thinking that we might not have enough time, and then it turns out I didn't even need it. You bypass all the mechanics by baiting all the slices to the same spot. Well, even if you don't bait the slice to the same spot, you still damage the boss the same way. Like, the slices doesn't slow down your damage unless you literally have to move away from the boss. I mean, this is just how you play the boss properly, yeah? The baiting. That's just how the boss is being played. That's just the strategy on the boss. So saying that the boss should have less HP... I don't know. Like, I don't think that makes logical sense, right? Yeah, I do understand that the Maelstrom scales hard, but instead of instead of giving the boss less HP, they could just make the Maelstrom either do less damage or make it scale less high. Or they could make it, like, not have that many images scale to. Because the way it works, um, the way the Maelstrom works is that the more ads are up, the more damage the Maelstrom does. But they can just, like, cap it at a lower image count. If they think that that's the problem, right? They can just say, oh, um, as soon as there's like three images, then it doesn't go higher. So when the fourth image spawns, the first one disappears again or something like that, right? If that's a concern. I just don't think that having bosses... Uh... I mean, I personally don't mind if a boss doesn't have a lot of HP. I just think it should be more balanced between bosses, you know? 
Like it's a bit awkward when bo one boss dies in two minutes and the other one is like 3.30 in a different dungeon. It's just like really weird. Especially because I personally don't like uh, boss encounters being really long in general. So I'd just rather have them nerf the HP of bosses <laughs> to be similar to the cord bosses. Because mm -mm. Gerda, on the other hand, like the first boss, that one has, a, that one has more HP, right? That one lasts quite a lot longer. Uh, right, I think so, at least. How much HP does Gerdo have? Let's see. Uh, so on 24... This is tyrannical. On 24... Is this HP accurate? 36.99 million is what Melandris has. So 37 million. Let's see how much... Um, Gerdo has. Also 37? Is that true? Talixa only has 26? Oh well, Talixa has the, the imps, so I guess that makes sense. Okay, wait, 24? Sedana has 33. But Sonata also has ads, so I guess that makes sense. Bulma has 36. I feel like this is just wrong, right? Is this the way this is correct? You tell you Bulma has 36 million HP? That's the same as Gerdo. Ah, uh, that's the same as HP as Melandris. That can't be true, right? This boss literally is alive for a year and a half. Yeah, I know he has downtime. But just a little bit. Like, the downtime is not that bad, right? I know, I feel like this boss has like 20 billion HP. Yeah, I know that the boss has ads, but usually people don't focus them. They just get cleaved down by like the Moonkin or whatever, right? Yeah, I guess it's true that the last boss is like a patchwork fight. Except the person that is baiting. Because I personally, I could do a lot more damage if I wouldn't be baiting, right? Okay, so the fact that I have to bait is costing me quite a lot of damage. Because I have to move so much. So I would do more damage if I didn't have to bait, obviously. But on Bone Maw, I wouldn't do more damage, really. On Bone Maw, I just stand still. And cast on a boss. <laughs> on that boss, I barely lose any damage. <laughs> anyway, let's get ready for the raids. So we don't play Kindling, I guess. I do think Kindling makes sense, though. I wonder what other people play. I assume Kindling does make sense for uh, Intermission. Also, I assume playing Star Reverse a bit in... For intermission, probably a bit didn't. I just want to see though. I want to see how Star Weaver is. It's so much more mobility. But uh, I, I need a thorough kindling, no? Isn't the intermission like really bad without it? What do other monkeys play? But maybe the intermission is also just whatever. Like maybe that's just die. If that's just die, it doesn't really matter. I did play Star Reaver and Sun Earth. I don't think you have to. It's more, it's more mobility. Yeah. I thought it's nice to have. Um, I can see what this one played here. They all play a rattle, of course. It doesn't look like they, pay, they play kindling, though. No one played kindling. Solstice, Umbral, Lunar Shrapnel, Solar Flare. 
Okay, so they don't play kindling. Good. Yeah, then I'll try this. Wait, we are raiding today, right? There's a raid happening, right? Okay. <laughs> Alright, cool. I'm gonna be right back one second. And then we are gonna wipe on Rastagath. It's gonna be exciting. Be right back. Mmm, cold coffee. I got a beer, just in time for the raid. <laughs> you said we have arcane and nature damage with dots, and this dots increase star search damage. 10 plus 10. What can I read about that? Um, you can read about that. Here. Here. Sire Mastery. Your nature spells deal 36% additional damage to targets affected by Sunfire. Your arcane spell deals 36 additional damage to targets affected by Moonfire. And then Star Search. That is not actually explained anywhere. Um, 
So it says uh, dealing 12,468 astral damage. And astral damage is the combination of nature and arcane damage. It's not explained anywhere, though. That's just how it is. It's the same as um, frost fire damage. It's frost and fire, for example. And chaos damage is all spell schools together. And what else do we have that works like that? Um, do we have anything else that works like that? I guess frostfire damage, astral damage, chaos damage. Uh, that's it, I think, right? Oh, shadow frost. Yeah, shadow frost damage. It's shadow and frost, of course. I guess it's just a bit confusing because all these other names have both of the spell schools in the name, right? Frost fire damage makes sense. It's frost and fire. It's literally in the name. And shadow frost, right? Astral is confusing because it doesn't have nature and arcane in the name. It's not nature arcane damage. It's literally called astral. So that's definitely a bit confusing. But yeah, it is nature and arcane combined. Oh, radiant damage, yeah. Radiant is holy and fire, true. And what's plague damage? What's that? Oh, plague is nature and shadow. Oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> but them having 100 pulls on center, I'm not sure if he'll listen to me. He won't. He hates you. Yeah, so you go for it, yeah. <laughs> he still likes me. You do it for me, we have a bond. Yeah, both Danish and Eating yourself time. bond. <laughs> he won't do it for me either, I took his grump in league. I took his grump. Oh, go to him first time. run over this the whole time. That's a fucking yeah. war crime in some states, bro. <laughs> I need a Susan. Come on. Holy shit, let's go dude, Mechanome. <laughs> oh yeah! Lalio, what are you doing? Fuck. There we go, perfect. Okay, do I need yeah, more survivability? That's the question. Fucking chopper, man. Am I just gonna die? Oh, you die? have the wife beater. I was actually looking if I had the mog, dude. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. Is there any... Uh... Wake up and beat the wife. No. <laughs> I guess we can't England. do that no. because we need to. Bobby, can you fix your mog, though? I can't. Yeah. I can't get rid of this. What? I need Incabroi, I need Typhoon. I could get rid of Wellhound Instincts. He's and... fighting as a but, dragon uh, anyway. That's also bad. Oh, I need improved Stampeding War, right? How you now can do that and not so use got... toys when got... you play Evoker? We got a new oh, one. We got two yeah. new ones. Yeah, but then... I need one Minotaur. I'm taking a girl. damn it. Whoa. Whoa. Making demands. <laughs> I mean, I guess I have to get rid of Wellhounds. <laughs> so annoying. Oh, I take the PI. Hmm. I'm just gonna die. No objections? You can, you can have the two minute one, enjoy. It's a bun here. I'm dead. Um, no, Although, uh, yes. He has a By the way, one. Bob, I don't know how spicy healing is right now in P1, but since the damage check should be free, I think you actually just send the two minute one uh, anywhere between two and three minute thirty for healing. Sure. I can do that. No, I don't so think I don't we need like, mastery. I don't think we I don't do know this strategy. Benefit, but... Yeah. I don't think we do the root strat. I think we just kill uh, them. Probe? I don't. A case is kind but of I'm not sure. for me, Luca. But we're not there. We're, we're not gonna get to that point right now. So. It's like right after my rabbit comes up. <laughs> um. In raid stuff, there is a new uh, healing series. Everyone should take. Uh, you can send the thingy one earlier if you want the pull one. Like the the damage does not matter right now. <laughs> Then we should basically have no issue getting the DPS check. Wait. Okay. Oh my god, my FPS is going to be so bad, isn't it? Oh, ready to check, can you it? post Shakes. that in Razogath channel and can that get pinned? What uh, Chizix just posted? Uh, I mean, it's kind of probably. What's the option around. you changed here? Okay. I mean, then we can update the pin. Progress. The updating thing? Where is yeah, the update, update interval? Did I just put it three oh, seconds? It's, uh, it's technically an attachment. Yeah, this, just a change, right? I'm gonna re. Okay. And then I can change them. my. Personal notary. The graphic oh, settings? Fuck, no, I need all of them. Wait, what's. Oh my god. Oh, your what name's fucking we... Pyre of Hate, not Pyre of Ogre. Oh, I yeah. hear What do we have to leave? Particle density? <laughs> uh, Liquid detail. We don't need that, right? So, what do we leave? 
You can just change it with ERT, copy names. Oh know. my gosh, Paramount. <laughs> oh no. Then you get color on them as well. So I just need Particle Dance and that's it? Anyway. What is this? Control Surrender and Quality of... Oh, can I get a Mage Table, please? Uh, I don't know what this means. Oh, what this no. is. Computer. Uh, Compute effects. I said please. You did. Uh, I don't know. Why does the node have two slashes in front of the Outline mode. Yeah, I was about to say that because needs I needed to add their real names. I see. Shit. And they weren't in the real. Texture or something? Spell Thank density? you for pointing that out. I knew someone would when I did, when I did it. Have you removed this as well? Ellie fucking B. What's up, wife? It's just, I don't know. Ground Did you say cutter? what's up, wife? Yes. First of all, you, you are what? wife bloom. <laughs> oh. It doesn't work the other way. Oh, no, that's just useless. I, I love your ratty daddy. <laughs> oh, I hate it, I hate it. <laughs> okay. Um. Get me out. <laughs> But wasn't there like a someone on Twitter had like phase a whole two thing? There's a phase we'll hopefully reach multiple times tonight. No, well, hopefully not. But what I meant to say was first intermission. I'm gonna find uh, this. Dingy Razagat. I think it was Shella that that like wrote about that phase, oh, and then someone was saying something. If you haven't looked at the sheet, go look at it now. Um, Looking at let sheet. me just open it for reference. So we're showing them to first to intermission one. This part um, sick. Can we keep watching this part? Yeah, I'll scale just leave 80%. That bit on, since you asked very nicely. Render scale, where's that? Uh blah blah blah. There's one. He's on that. Okay. So should I change that? I guess immediately right in phase two. So me and I guess one person on the other side, which I'm guessing is probably best to be ready, can kind of get knocked like this and stand outside the grip. The rest of the group needs to make sure they're be it, like standing on the ad and be at the breath on it. Um, so if the breath goes on you first, I think they get second breath here. Yeah, because breath one just went off. So they get second breath. If the breath is on you, you just have to... Uh, start to move forwards. We will have a grippy hands on each side. And I know one of those sides has a mass grip, but it's not this side. Um, so I'll have a grippy hands at this point, so we can just kind of like run. But if the breath goes on you, you need to move immediately. And just make sure that you don't bait on the person that is standing outside and pumping. There are, on the sheet, you can see there's a kick rotation and there's a CC rotation. If the breath is on you, you are doing the kick rotation because you want the ads to move. And if the breath is on the other side, you are doing the CC rotation. Because you want the ads to be still and you want to have your kick rotation when the breath comes up. Uh, is that clear? Does that make sense? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fine. Yeah. So, uh, I have a question about the, so the green torches are like per ad, yeah? So mine would be yeah, for the ad shield, yeah, when yeah. he does his yeah. perfect cast on the rest. Yeah. Of and that's not the ruiner, but the small guy. Yeah. Yeah, so there are two mythic ads, two Susans, that need Susanified. Their names are on the sheet. So if you, everyone except Nugura and Lifebloom should have already seen the ad and have it added to their plater. So go change the color of that nameplate. They're obviously, it's Frostforge Zealot for left side and Flame Sworn Herald for right side. Uh, I actually think, I think I can like. Mine doesn't show up either for some reason. Can you like share? Oh, oh hell yeah, let's go. Begins. My tank. My big filter. Why are you no, tabbed in now anyway? Uh, um... Because my raid leader said to do something in game. <laughs> what is what is this supposed to be? I'm not sure I understand. What is that? Leader. What is render sharpness? It's quite a good excuse to be found. Is the Rayleigh down the room with us right now? So make sure you have that. I clicked the send or button. I didn't get a prompt. I'm not sure what that means. But I don't know. Do you see that anywhere? I clicked the button that said send to read on Plater. So I don't know if you can, if you reload, oh. can you like see the mob or something? I mean. Fuck those. Yeah, work. render sharpness. Where's render sharpness? I don't get it. What is this? 
Listen to you, dude. Okay, well, anyway. Oh, blue central the sharpness. Center, anyway. Oh, it's already in zero point two. So, <laughs> on the blue side, it's whatever. We on, on both sides, we focus that ad. On the right side, red side, uh, it has a shield cast that we need to break. There are grief torches assigned, so red on the first, Lado on the second, shade on the third. Make sure you mm -hmm. press it. And it's your point. kick on that one shade when the shield breaks. Yeah, so yeah. make sure Texture you press resolution. It. I don't need that, right? If you need any of those moves for whatever reason, like kicks, then let me know. Oh. You're still a shit slam. Can you still do the CC? Uh, yeah, I've got to look at this at that point. Okay, bang on. Do you need um, texture resolution? Other than that, I guess, I mean, the mythic ad is very, very important. You need to kill it, you need to play its mechanic, but other than that, it's That's kind try. of Rook. Uh, whenever the breath is on us, we always move forwards, same as Rook. So, forward being where we're going next. Um. That is all I have for the intermission, I think. Uh, you also have to after... bait the breath after you kill an ad, and you move over to the next ad. Uh, you kind of wait halfway uh, for the next breath. Like They will do it after killing the second ad, because they go the second breath. They don't have it. Probably worse, or probably. I don't actually know if Echo does it. But most of like after these, up. like the breath will be right on top of them now. Now they will kick and move. And it will wait halfway for the next breath, although they kind of fucking pumped. I'm playing on Terran Mill, Cyber Angel. Or the range will stay back here to bait it away. And then I think they're just the planning to kill that ad for the most part. But yeah, the breaths. I guess. Paramount, did you always just no. um, yeah, and then you wait, wait, like, charge? Here, so wait. In yeah, this mission, really and that was good enough. Afterwards. Yeah, you're yes. right. Or did they you wait. ever have to do anything mm -hmm. else? Okay, it's gonna. Yeah, I've heard a pushback, I mean. Um, I will wins. kind of be the voice for left side, and Zach will be voice for right side, so you can call breaths, and you can also call... Uh, oh, and I need to change the nameplate? Like Wait, what? Or whatever, if that's going wrong, uh, but hopefully... I'm sure there's like a plater doing... thing, right? Isn't there a plater option for that? Uh, first shield, um, I have put... I'll not go over phase two, but for if the first time we get here, I have put assignments for DPS CDs and light spread positions, but the spread positions are not strict. They're just kind of guidance. Um, any How's questions about first intermission? No. The, the Grief Torch Shield, that's the mythic ad, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, no so I just need the name of the ads. The flame I didn't do that. I rest my case. Modding? Um, Scripting? Sorry. The oh my god, how does this work? Spread positions in P2. Have you made I don't know how Plater works. Spark positions. Um, they are close to spark positions. Colors and I names. believe, like as close as possible. Sure. If someone is not, well, the only thing I've noticed is because the two druids are next to each other uh, on the P two spread, and shouldn't they be on two druids? And the evokers are all together. Mm. Oh, yes, that's because I moved a druid <laughs> last second. Well, the evokers served together because they're ranged outside of melee, right? So it's not like perfect because of that. Well, like I said, it's only like a guidance thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, the blue guy. Like, Frostforge. She, she's big enough Where did I move to like to stand to... like in front of each other and behind each other, right? So there's going to be a lot of space. Wait, how do you add this? Yeah. I think we should talk about that after getting through intermission, though. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I guess Let's the other it. person that needs to move to South House because. How do you add that? Thing. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. You can just soft spread and do your best if we get there. Uh, yeah, it's it's. Also, um, I don't know. You have my CDs for shield two DPS, but that was probably just be a bonus brew without anything because I don't have two minutes there. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. I thought that's what I that added was. into the list after you okay. see them for the first time. I haven't seen them ever. Um. Yeah. Can I still import it with ID then? Or do I have to see uh, can it? Can you drop health stones? Uh, yeah. One sec. I know. You can uh, repair the 10% of your ability we lost as well already, team. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. No problem. Uh, All right, let's do this. You jump off, you don't lose the right? I'm gonna die and I'm scared. Yeah. Test it.
Uh, I'm in the healer group. I don't like this. Does the people who weren't in yesterday know where they're supposed oh, to spread? Oh, wait. Yep. I have a question. Can we change Ruddy with oh. uh, me in the group? No. Like Please. In the group. You're... I want to be in group three. Oh, I don't want to be in the healer group though. What if we don't want you in group three? <laughs> yeah. uh, there's no one assigned to your group. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Mr. So Prime. You Sorry. Thank you so much. Does what now? Sorry. Do you want a grip on the knockback? Do I want a grip? No, I've race changed for a fucking. I can't believe I was just ignored. <laughs> I'm still in a healer group. Oh my right. god, I'm just gonna die. Oh, I almost double tap there. I swear. Okay, we're ready. I'm gonna oh, break my monitor. Is this last one supposed to be on the other side? I swear. There's a repair in the back. I'm on this side, right? <clears throat> Fairmont. I can send it. I'm on right, right? Do you want to send? Is this the real one? You need one. No, yeah, double tap, double tap. Please don't cancel, please don't cancel. Uh, I need to change my week. <laughs> <laughs> the age of the incarnates begins! Are we just tanking the boss here? I'm confused. Oh, so now I'm here. Okay, okay I got it. Die, Five. Three, two, one. The elements answer to me! Oh my. Nice FPS! Uh, These <laughs> winds peel flesh from both. Oh, I charged way too early. I was also supposed to reward this. Holy shit, the animations are so bad and I still have like no FPS. My breath weaker isn't working. Can I add one? Five, four, three, two, one. The elements answer to me. Okay, I'm definitely like very slow on this. By I'm supposed to be back. I'm dead. Yeah, I am so dead. I am very dead. <laughs> uh, just fight, fight, fight. I am somehow not dead. The positions changed, by the way, because left side is kind of weird. There is someone in wrong position. So, someone around the nipple marker was definitely not in the right place. On both of them, there were like one or two people, and it just felt like I've never. Yeah. Do you feel like you can castle well, up? If you know. So far, know no. The only person that was in before the change was you. I think I should change. I should um, save dash. Okay, we or when I have the debuff. I was on the opposite side before, so. I'm pretty what sure. What do you mean we were? Um, you're supposed to be at the D on the right side. You went to the left side. Oh, no, no, no. That's where life is supposed to be. Okay, I messed up. Ah, okay. I, I, have, I have a question. Nope. <laughs> okay. You're changing nope. me to D. Ah. Can everyone look at it again? It'll be correct now. Oh my god, the qu- Look at uh, how bad me. my- It's probably me, but you can live Zaxi if you really want. Oh wait, oh okay. Look at how bad my settings are, it's so bad. More no, 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 now we have it correct as I linked to you. Yeah, yeah, now it should be. Like, the boomkin's outside. I think I was in the correct spot-ish. Okay, can the boomkins and Sethas look at the sheet again? And do that. Yeah. Good. Ready release. No, not uh, release, except the res. Release. No, I think that was fun, right? Oh, I have another question now. Since I'm on D, what if I get like a bomb from left? Do I just always go right? Or you what? shouldn't. Uh, you will not. No, oh, okay. Change okay. Priority on left. If I go, uh, if I have back, uh, I still go back, right? Yes. Yes. No. You will not get right, but you can get left or back. You you can if... get right. It's just super rare. Yeah. Like... I just haven't had back. Um, which seemed fun. I'm gonna, uh, Except I almost walked into the. Yeah, why does this weaker than work? Does it like no. that? Is lightning breath? Okay. Oh, symbol never. <laughs> that explains something or two. So, so I always get either back or right. Yeah. Okay. You can get. Uh, oh no, I think one yeah. probably, but it's rare. Yeah, I that's think I'm rare. the only one that's guaranteed to not be right. 
What is thunderous okay, blast? Okay, so what if it happens? Do I just call that out that I'm not going left or what? No, you, you you go left, but if you don't make it back, you say that you have a weird spark and tuck in as close as you can where you came from. So, if you look at the weird stuff, there's um, mm -hmm. a diagram, uh, which is basically what you do if you're late. So, you just like tuck in as close as possible. Um, it might be kind of scuffed, but you just... You don't. You basically don't run over people and kill them. Like if you're right. having to come back from the other side, you just get as close as you can without killing. Yeah, people. I know that uh, the cat jump we'll is, is further. Yeah, I know, I know. But that wasn't really the issue. Like it wasn't okay. really the issue that I, because sometimes it's just nicer to be in bear because then you kind of frenzied region, right? Okay. Well, and as long as you make working. it, it's fine, right? The logs are working. <laughs> Thank you, Soros. I don't think we're gonna kill this boss soon, <laughs> but I appreciate it. This boss, does this boss turn frontal? Can I stand in front? I think Five, I can, right? Four. Okay. Three. Two. I'm just gonna one. assume that I can. The age of the incarnate begins. Five, Ow. four, three, two, one. The elements answer to me! Oh. Holy the shit, it's lagging. Okay, now the weaker is working at least. So now it's breath. And to push back. Huh? Five, four, three, two, one. Mm, I wasted my. The elements answer to me! Marked by lightning! I'm dead. Oh, I'm alive. <laughs> Don't forget, Robbie. Nothing yeah, I know, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm a lot more awake this today, by the way. Die, my grip! What? You're one and four. Oh, right, Five. Oh, that's not me. Four. Ignore me. <laughs> Wait. Two. My bubble! One. Yeah, I was gonna say that's the one you want his bubble, so don't help. Oh. Help! That's a frontal. Oh. Wait, my rescue's gone. Oh! There's just so much moving! Can someone go right at us? Oh no, I'm good, I'm good. I don't know where right and left is. <laughs> okay, we come right. Uh, Put your hand out and then make an A. Yeah, where you are now is, where you are now is left. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I mean, is there something very sarcastically for someone who said, I don't know where right and left is three seconds ago. Four, three, two, I'm on the other path. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> The elements okay, um, answer to me! I guess like the Dudor left is. It's like if you were behind the boss looking at the boss. So like skull would be left and orange would be right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just checking. Banger. There wasn't there wasn't an informative diagram like there was on Sylvanas on left and right. <laughs> the eco still managed to fuck it up. Oh my god, Mookins are horrible! <laughs> Somebody about Mookins! 
Uh, they have. Oh no my corners. Jesus! <laughs> How are you supposed to do damage in this fight? I want stellar drift back. What? Genius. <laughs> Where's my stellar drift? No. Oh that's no! Here so we cool. go. Where's my stellar drift? Prove it. Shut up, Red. Get your electron <laughs> microscope out. But I said infinite, so there will be even if you zoom in, still infinite. <laughs> it so, depends uh, on what I'm doing, Tracy. You can't okay. Prove that there's any corners then. If we do really big AOE pulls, I feel like I'm a god. And as soon as there's a single target and I have to move a lot, I feel like um, I'm pressing my buttons, but nothing comes out. And whenever I take a lot of damage, I feel like I'm just made out of paper. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Uh, give me a sec. I'm a paper moonkin. These marks, are they, they're way too close, right? Um, it's feeling sounds cozy. like them. I'm hunter live. Yeah. Very sure orange yeah. to Normally, be able to be out here. This this is where I was standing before. I think skull was uh like here. Yeah, skull have. I was... yeah. But I mean, at the end of the day, you wanna tuck in anyway. Yeah. The markers yeah. say yeah. his references. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm <laughs> just gonna you set now. <laughs> you need to learn based on the boss positioning and uh, just where everyone else is. Like you need to just tuck and give space where possible because these markers are going to need like replaced mid pull sometimes. And I'm just going to tell you that they're not going to be perfect whenever that happens. So it was only for the new people. Yeah, yeah. Um, they also feel just like at, at some point we shouldn't need markers in P1 and can have them in P2. Yeah, like. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Like you need the markers are again, so you just need to learn how to do it without them. So use some other kind of cue. Look at yeah, the floor. Like well, I just squeeze in like cheese. Squeeze cheese. Yeah. We've got a little shit stain over here at Orange, dude. In like cheese. The classic Five, saying. Four. Yeah, just made three, that one up. Two. One. <laughs> the age of the incarnate begins. else? Thanks, Zach. It's I'm very serious tonight. Fuck. Where's the first ability? Swedish. Oh, okay. yeah, sorry. British uh, actually isn't yet for another three hours. Why is my weak card not loading for the first one? Oh, that press is not on me. Four, three, okay, two, I can't do anything about that, so just let me know when it's not like that. Answer to me. Fix it, please. <laughs> huh? Oh my god, it's just lagging so much. Well, uh, just might be dangerous. Jesus no. Christ. Okay. I'm in mm. Yeah, I literally. Oh, Whoa, no. what is happening? <laughs> Probably the Probably end, please. The end. Uh, just fight, 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 fight. No, I'm. Lightning. I can't play the game. I mean, Chizix looked at what happened there. I mean, he is your brother he... so much. Is your brother punching your writer? No, I, I don't. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, Chizik, I literally character. teleported through the ground there. Idiot. Oh, no. <laughs> you know it, Paranoid. I haven't streamed in my secret stream for a while. Two seconds after that. That's the League of Legends stream. Whenever I play League of Legends, that's the stream I'm, I'm streaming on. Still next to the boss. Nobody touched his character. He just didn't move. So do we just log out on every breath? Yeah. See, this is the big team not good reload tech. Just wiggle your internet cable. When the wait, like I'm currently downloading it zero point. I'm doing a test test. One zero point one megabyte per second. Megabit per second. Not only is his internet gone bad, but he's having a stroke as well. It sounds. I was gonna say. Yeah. Fuck. What did you just say? Wait, am I lagging in voice? No, I think it's just. It was the sentence structure more than the lag, I think. Uh, uh, Noopsy, do you know yeah, how your racial uh, works yet? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've got it completely I, well, figured out, man. I did some extensive testing. <laughs> yeah, the dummy stood no chance after the radio. I think I had the oh, same too. issue there that, that I also had last week, where, like, the first time I get the bomb, the weak guard doesn't show. <clears> but <throat> then, like, from then onwards, it was fine again. Oh, but, by the way, for new people, uh, you may want to turn down your update frequency for details in later. Yeah, I did that. Too. I still have two FPS. Yeah, you still probably have two FPS, but at least you'll have two instead of one. <laughs> Where did I change the pattern? Send increase. Oh. Advanced. God, this is taking a long time. You... Oh wait, on later? Because I did it on details. Yeah, it's in it's in up. Do it in both. I set mine to. No, but you want you want you want to turn it up on later, right? Yeah, yeah. Turn that shit up. Crank that shit. 
When you say turn it up, you make make the number bigger or make it bigger number. <laughs> make, make the number bigger because it's okay. high, it's high often it updates, so you want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what that's what I thought. So when you said turn it up, I assume that like that makes it update faster. And my yeah, ray frames are good too. But yeah, I absolutely no, have no idea. <laughs> you're turning it up. I like how Lifelong whispered me, how do we do damage in this space? Like Help. <laughs> Luckily, and then he goes, you hover it, there's a piece of text that tells you. Are you always just running around? Because it feels like I'm just cat form. Yeah, out of the face, trying, trying to get to right. places. In Europe, hey, just bust already, get me out. No. The moon can lie. This is a uniquely European thing. Yeah, yeah. In every European country, people... If you said like crank it up for like how fast your health bar refreshes, then like that would be make it refresh faster, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I crank it up is basically just spin the motion. Oh yeah, faster. yeah, yeah. Okay, I agree. Yeah, yeah but in case, in case people thought the setting was like cranks per second or something, and not like the millisecond value. <laughs> Where's Robbie? Yeah, this is. I, I love Robbie. Already, it's already it's time already to really really login. Or do I do it in detail? Yeah, this What's is the. What's the default try. cranks per second of details? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's 0.25. Oh, wait, for details? I'm not sure. 0.2. It's, uh, How do you even open the details? One. What's, what's the... What's the details, details option. Well, you click on the oh. wheel. I think, by the way, my weaker are like, insane. Like, I, I have, like, have, like, everything, everything popping up. No, one wait, thing that I noticed, like, I have a sound for Lash on me. Like, the debuff on me. And I don't think I like that. Yeah, it's not the first time when you open it up. But maybe I do. I don't know. I think it's a big big setting. Oh yeah, there it is. Crank that shit up. Where? Sorry, where's Crank's? Oh, wait, don't do that. Turn it down. Oh, three seconds. Uh, yeah. Update once every three seconds. <laughs> once per yeah. pull. I've got to guess my opening. Yeah, I don't think I want to sound for this one. <laughs> that felt big. Was that big? Oh, yeah. Can you ask me how to do my openers? I look at details. Uh, at least you have time to look down so on the damage meter to see us fly. Yeah, this Five, is weird. Four. We'll I need to remember to reward the first thing, by the way. I hate Brits and their fucking Kong internet. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Wait, that, that is way too early for British sexy. Yeah, no, no, I'm just mad. I hate Robbie. <laughs> well, you know, I've turned up my cranks per second. And I didn't okay, so now we have breath <laughs> and then explosion. That's so correct. <gasps> and that's my oh my, my healer. My healer. Physics, you can say that he just gripped you, yeah? He like rescued you into it. Yeah, he did. Yeah. No, because that would have just happened if I'm out. Wait, I refer to the pub once again. Can you go and restart it or something? Oh, do you have routers in the UK? Let me get it directly from I the don't source. Dude. Tell me about IT <laughs> things, actually. <laughs> Maybe if we know. all turn off the internet one second and turn it on again. <laughs> <laughs> have you checked the cranks per second on your router? I, okay, I have an idea. What if we bait all the lightning strikes away from Robbie? <laughs> no, I need to learn to dodge. He's <laughs> probably not even lagging. It's just a play skill play yeah. issue at this point. He's hungover still. Yeah. I honestly don't think we're going for a specific world rank, but top 500 would be a bit... I think we want more than that. Top 500 is a bit low, I I'm think. I'm so hyped for our missed merch. At the Personally, I think, I think it should be a I bit mean, better than that. Right, we're not gonna, not gonna How many guild killed Russ together already? I have no idea. How many? I, I, like, I hate Brits. I mean, on the plus side, though, um, at least because this boss is well designed, when our healer is having connection issues, we can just sub someone else in and it makes the boss the exact same, right? Right? right. Especially, especially. Bring in the fourth wow. evoker. We can just sub in <laughs> can any bring other Farmont. healer that isn't an evoker and uh, that will cause no problems. <laughs> Wheel out the fourth evoker. When you get the knee slide, knee sliding? Is that your evoker's accent? Faramon, do you want to heal? Yeah, it's still level 60, though. What well, HP <laughs> laser probably... jet? <laughs> HP laser. <laughs> can we get? Can we get HP laser jet in? Is it bubble? <laughs> Premium printer. I'm ready. <laughs> well, Robbie is way too eager for that. Bro. Oh no. I don't think. Well, oh, actually, this uh, this battle guy's doing a mythic run. I might just go go do that while we're waiting for Robbie. Can we just buy an evoker Some from like trade gardening. chat or something? <laughs> Why do we need an evoker? Be like, an Uber from Robbie to me is like 20 minutes. Just get him in a cab. 
Yeah, but I have a land party. Land party. Why do we need to evoke her? cost, though. All right, someone else log on your evoker healer, please. Phase, yeah. <laughs> 70 quid. Can, can we shuffle? You never play new moon. Ever. Nice I've put a search out, guys. You it always play Trigger. for one evoker for Mythic Susan Prog. <laughs> Because of the reverse thing, but do we Not need that? Because then... just he's assigned to like twenty things. Oh. And everyone. Do we need yeah, those he's, things? He's, or? he's got a yeah. I think Bob will fall off the platform. Unfortunately, well, we died a lot when he yeah, the, yeah, the fact press he... his buttons yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So I think so. New Moon is technically a little bit better <laughs> on single target uh, compared the... to Fever Loon, but she only on like Simcraft. It's not actually better, like realistically, because as soon as you add movement buttons when they're required and stuff. It's oh, too much right. to cast, you know. Like it's I could both the amount of times that you killed, need delayed, to cast then, moons, you know, be about the same. it's just not worth it in comparison. <laughs> like it's just when you completely yeah, stand still here, right? and you're hitting yeah, a like, target dummy, then it might be slightly better. Oh, but good, good, good. Realistically, yeah, it's just worse. Oh, uh, weirdly, no one has replied to me saying they want to come help. Yeah. Oh, we yet. Fine. Uh, yet, yet. This is. Uh, this is not fixed itself at all. Even on Terrace, I, I okay. did it at the well, start. Like I, I played Convocus well really because Convocus is supposed to be better on single target. Just, just, but then I was like, fuck it. To the side instead of in the middle pack, it's yeah. just and annoying. You have left chance of the breath spawning on you. Please sort it, and the TLs will be raiding tomorrow. No, 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 is choking. Planning to chug pints tonight. He can't be hung over tomorrow. Mean Casting full moon in face one sounds fun, yeah. Don't let me see the worst cheese they raid. Thank you, Paranoids. I'm glad you like it. We're, we're not doing that. Five. Yeah, I Four had this cam position in yeah, LA words. because I one. wasn't able to have the camera above my screen. And a lot of people like really liked it. They thought yeah, I have a new camera. People were like, oh my god, do you have a new cam? This is so nice. I was like, no, what? Yeah. I guess people just uh, well, like this system because it's not so time. far above my head. Because <laughs> usually my cam is like really far up. <laughs> Am I liking your voice at all? No. Um, no. Five, four, three, what? two, Progress. Good job, one. Man. The <laughs> answer to me! Nothing will be left standing. Uh, I might rescue earlier, right? Physics? Oh, that's fine. Can you press your buttons you're assigned to press early as well? Oh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't press my... <laughs> oh, why am I dying? Oh. I am. Um, I thought it was Rob here, just went straight into flaming. I didn't use my roar again. I need to remember to do that. as well. Merde. Five, four, three, two, one. I made an error. The elements answer to me! Well, uh, Bryson. Die, mortals! Hello? Oh, I rest, it was just... Really uh, get a rest, so I can see. <laughs> This is my war. Oh. Nice, dude. This is time spiral. I have pressed time spiral. Wow. Die, what was your next poison? Oh shit! Oh! I'm dead. I almost yeah, walked into that. These bombs should not go too far <laughs> out with for the new people. No, <laughs> I... <laughs> Three, two, one. The elements answer to me! Okay, just like. Die, uh, mortal! At the end of the breath, I lagged out in front of the beam for four seconds. And I'm just I mean, you also said happening. you would rescue me early, and I almost got to the uh, edge before I got the rescue. I yes. lagged out for two seconds and then went back to bus. <laughs> the FPS lag comes from yeah, the bus. I, I'm yes. not lying when I'm saying I am lagging. This bus is just making everyone lag a lot. <laughs> okay, I mean, I it's, believe you, but I can't do anything about it. It's not easy to lag, it's just FPS lag. Either. You need to do something about it, or you tell us you can't do anything about it, and we figure out how to play the boss. No, no, it's like it has absolutely nothing to do with PCs. Yeah, off, like you could, could have the literal best PC in the world, like, and he would still get no FPS in this it boss. It's just uh, yeah, if you get knocked too far away, like, it's the honestly the game. Get, like, like the game is the, like, just the kill zone. Yeah. I I still don't understand. 
Like one thing I really, really do not understand is why Blizzard creates mechanics that specifically make you lag, because they know that this is happening. It was the same thing with the moats. They got the moats that we had I mean, as an affix to... in Season 4 Wait, of Shadowlands. Like, yeah. why create that mechanic I mean, in the first place, you know? Um, like, <laughs> when they know that their game sucks and you have 5 FPS, why would you create Bob, can you moats, one and four so we don't Rastagath have, uh... sparks, the Nathrius phase one? It's like, how do you not learn? Like, how don't... <laughs> Why can't you just create different mechanics that. Uh, that don't have a million ads spawn at the same time? <laughs> like, clearly, yeah. the game can't handle it, right? Yeah, because the rescue is... I'm sure there's other mechanics that do not involve <laughs> 500 ads spawning simultaneously. Just, dog, right? That would also be interesting, right? <laughs> Surely that's not a requirement for a boss design. <laughs> I don't think no. You cannot change okay, um, so color in radar. The, the, the like color like always depends on the highest rating. I think. Never speak again. like that ever again. The age of Man down. Begins. Nothing happened. So the, the the way it works, I think, is that um, your color of your score is dependent on how close you are to the highest score and that is dependent on what the current highest score is you know i think that's how it works but i'm not 100 percent sure yep i didn't want to play the game it's okay Am I just dead? This is because I'm in the healer group. Did you see that? Did you see I almost died there because I'm in the healer group? Yeah. I had to use when you. I was literally in one HP for an hour. I hate the healer group. It's the worst. Five, four, three, two, one. The elements answer to me! And then again. Uh-huh. What? What's that about? Just die. <clears throat> Were we missing something there? No, the front is uh, literally on the spot you want to go uh, left side with. Will be left standing. Hmm. So I had to go way closer to middle. And I had no mobility because we missed the uh, grip on the first one. Yeah, the boss does that front though, like as Seriously, well, I don't understand why I'm in a healer group. Does yeah, Ready have the trinket or something? But, but what I mean is that that should kill. Can we put somebody else in the healer group? Really middle guy, that's fine. <laughs> that's... I, I'm sorry, I killed I hate it here. I mean, we is not top theater after you, I guess, because of Robbie <laughs> lagging. Uh, I will back really late as well. Also, I don't think I see the lash on, on the raid frames. I mean, like, I for, example, I, I, for example, could have led with popping like another person only, yeah, but it's assigned for the one after, yeah, so. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out like what actually went wrong on that one. I, like, I'm not looking for guesses. So like, we have, like, I know you moving to six might have killed you and the other bomb, but it shouldn't have killed. Yeah, but there. I think it's close as well, so Why not? we might take just in general more damage on it. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if it was lag or how far Robbie managed to move out on the right side, but I felt like that was late. Or I don't know if he dashed very late. I didn't have an angle on mm -hmm. him. How far should the back bomb go? To like the to like red marker. Far enough, but... Oh, was it already there? The gate, maybe That's it was. Far. Maybe I'm just stupid. Yeah. M middle of the room, red, roughly. I mean, for if you can go oh, far, electric lash. go with the red, basically. The only one you don't do that on what is on the fourth then? bomb. That's the one where everybody pops personals because you need to get back in fast with the sparks. So then you do it pretty close and just instantly run as soon as it pops uh, to your spark position. I'm gonna add the debuff. Thank you, Rady. 
No Three problem, aids. wipey. One, two, five, one. That help? Where's it? I don't see it. Uh, the hell? I could try my phone internet. I'm on phone internet. Been oh, it goes to raid. Yeah, true. Times. True. So the group shouldn't really matter. Yeah, can you do so that? why is Rod in a different group now? Yeah. Sure, go. Go. I can. Yeah, doing it. Isn't Roddy like really tanky? Fucking outage. Can't you be in group four? Yeah, mine. Yeah, why do I have to be in your group? <laughs> Use like cable tethering, USB tethering. Oh, I don't have a cable, me. I both would. You don't have a cable. How do you charge your phone? <laughs> you just turn it around real fast. <laughs> just rub just it rubs in. It, yeah, rubs it between his <laughs> hands really quickly. <laughs> you, wouldn't, you wouldn't get it. Uh, Roddy, can you kind of Put it in the microwave, mate. Woolly sweater. That'll sort it out. There's Radical no cam. resistance. Uh, no, there's no gear with a resistance on it. There's no resistance gear. I would love to have yeah. some though. I would equip that nature resistance. I assume it's nature. In there agree here? Yeah, it's nature. No. Is yeah. there like yes, a race that takes less rage, nature damage? A weak aura, but I'm not even sure if it's working. I keep saying that. But I don't know if it's true. There goes your gold. Torrent. Yep. <gasps> I should switch Torrent. Torrent has more HP and less nature damage. Oh my god. I should go Torrent. Torrent is the play. Where's some rats? True, I'm still not going to cast that because I'm already using three globals to interrupt them. Never mind, it's not actually showing up on my network. Three! I don't know why. <laughs> no, with that, sorry. It must be nice playing a DK on this boss. Just standing still through the wind. Hitting the boss. Having a good time. Can we kill this boss for my vault? Oh, I'm on. Yeah, same. Oh, I need it too. I guess Robbie doesn't need it. Doesn't everyone that. <sighs> I guess oh, no, that's I'm actually, not that's using that's three CCs, it's just three well. Lobos. Because Typhoon, one global, Inca Broyer, one global, Moonkin Forum, one global, one global one right? I'm gonna pick the first one, I think. Yeah, I don't know why, man. No, we'll get up to stop picking up. Yeah, I thought the spell ID <laughs> might work <laughs> anyway. It's not a bunk, <laughs> it's not a bunk machine. <laughs> it's, it's a fence. fence. Like, maybe this one works anyway, it's but maybe not. It's a cracker trying to put his card in a fence. <laughs> I don't know. Guess I'm gonna check again since I don't know. What is well, I guess. You know, on like old guild apps, it would always have that question like, do you have a stable working internet connection? <laughs> always yeah, lie. And, 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 and you kind of said yes on his supply. You kind of always <laughs> think, oh man, that question is so pointless. And now I see why they put it in there. No, Dude, my, internet, just... my internet is fucked. Hold on, I just realized something. Someone in my chat just pointed out that Kaput Makin means to destroy, and that's fucking sick. Holy shit. I didn't realize that name was so sick. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. Dude, you're fucking awesome. Oh. Yikes. Can't believe it's you didn't know that. Oh, no. It's the most toddler way of saying yeah. destroy. Yes. <laughs> to make you yes. to it's destroy. Like, yeah. It is the oh, toddler way to say destroy. I'm so glad I stopped before you. Have you never heard anyone describe yeah. something as no, 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 kaput? I knew, I knew kaput means like it's broken, but I didn't yeah. know it meant Back like to is... destroy. Well, no, no, but, <laughs> but, but like kaput is broke, yeah, and then Macken is like to make, so it's like to, uh, to destroy make maker. Broken. I am also fourteen years old. This is fucking epic. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Emily, what Break is your the things? status of your internet slash the internet you're trying to tether to? Uh, neither USB or Wi-Fi or is showing. Why do I have a soul stone? Caveman. 
Do you look like have a you healer? On, like tethering on the phone. <laughs> yes, I have. I I, I do work in like you... <laughs> what, Who are we waiting are you for? Still lagging in game Robbie? on your current DM? connection. Yes, it's lagging like crazy. It might be an idea to bring Stash in. Get him I out. I don't think I'll be able to do the HPS numbers. To be perfectly honest, as much as I don't want to, but for some reason my internet decides to shit the bed ten minutes into the raid. Uh, you just want to have a point with the lads. No, I really don't. I'm really fucking annoyed. Right, I'm redoing assignments real quick. Uh, so... I love this new Miley uh, Cyrus song, it's really nice. Oi, Darren, are you downloading? Oi! Oi! Oi, Darren! He's gonna get the fire to go Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> My fucking wanking brothers. Boy, boy, again. The wife, Susan. Boy, boy, Darren, you're now loading. Stop! Darren is downloading and Susan is getting a beat in. What can you do? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's too you, early for this. It's too early for this. Let's go to Mr. Panther. Uh, at officers, am I allowed to step away from my computer for two minutes while you... No, you're not allowed to smoke, you fucking oh, you got <laughs> What about Bob Voker? Mm. Bob Voker. We need a priest in the red. Oi. Bob Voker. Oi. Let's just okay, play this fucking in without 10% HP. Uh, we can get we in Flay. It's 5% stamina. <sighs> yeah, get, get Flay priest healing and then Bob Voker heal her. <laughs> there you go, problem solved. Quick stop at Toby's. <laughs> this fight does require some stamina, <laughs> you are right. Oh no. Yeah, this is very weak, it's like 397 item. <laughs> Wait, was that a soundboard? Is Stash here though? He's here. Oh, uh, welcome Stash. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, uh, Stash. I... <laughs> what? You're going for a guy without the internet to a high guy, he's fucking lost. No, I'm not high, <laughs> It's just uh, 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 Toby's Carver with me. <laughs> Wait, was I muted? Wait. Yes. Oh, oh, boy. I'm boy, so confused. You were talking boy. to fucking Darren. <laughs> <laughs> That's not that, that is it? <laughs> what is going on? on? With Darren. Oi, Darren, mate. No, nah, he's not downloaded. <laughs> no. Thank you. He's uploading. Quick <laughs> shout out to Darren. He's uploading. Quick shout out to Darren. Big D. Big D's on something else. <laughs> I've updated cheat with stash things. Uh, Let me half stone out, stash, before you accept that. Um, I would accept uh... it as a tribute. <laughs> stash, look at the sheet, and you yeah, yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, king. I'll get a very quick drink. <sighs> So you're supposed to use the gate in a second pushback and a fifth, but what if I don't need it? Do you just do you use it anyway? Mm. Uh, yeah, two four times spells. I think people. I guess I do, and then I, in the fifth one, I use gate again. Yep. That's you just do three. three yeah, yeah, four. I know, but I, like, I maybe if I use gate, I don't need anything else. Maybe I can stay moving yeah, form into so damage. Uh, mm. Can you? What? Sorry. Sorry. So just move Lavoker from five to three. That's what he's asking. And and are you sure? This is the same as cat form jump, right? Can you clarify? Like yeah, as long as I run against it. Third, it means I only do it on third set, correct? No, no. You every just just, set. just press your CT buttons on every set. Mm. I, I don't think you need to consciously pay attention yeah. to the n number you are in the chain. Okay. And uh, <laughs> is there any Vantu somewhere I could grab? Sure. There's probably oh some guild bank that we're gonna be immortal. Wait, am I crazy or did you? I think you replaced the wrong person in the spread, because Robbie Dn is still next to like on me. Yeah, he replaced. Or did you? Guy. Oh yeah, sure. Oh okay. When no one told Luca, yeah, you're gone. <laughs> um, oh, no. oh, you replaced me from the CCs, but I, I guess I can still just FFA from my CCs. Are you? Were you doing this one? Uh, well, all of them. Yes. Oh, right. Yes, it was, it was West Tashes. Yeah, yeah I mean, Gate plus Fair Tash is really tired when you running to like the spot. Just cut anyway, charge like, made it easier. Yeah, yeah, Because I haven't used Gate so far yet. I do yeah, second charge, I only use uh, Cut yeah. Jump yeah. and nothing else. It's a what, sorry? And this that's in time. We stack on each other roughly here. 
Oh. Let me know when you're yeah. ready. Look so that's what I was thinking. Maybe Gade alone is fine. Spark but spread, right? maybe it's not. exactly the spark spread. Yeah, the spark maybe the cat jump is better. Because I'm also in cat form, so I have more movement speed in cat anyway. That's all you need to know. So I go on the, where I place the mushroom Five, in the center of it. Four, yeah, pretty three, much. Roughly. Two, okay. Like, one. you just don't want to be stacked with other the people. The age of the yeah. incarnate begins! My, my voice alerts are literally, like, lagging. Um, that's... Five, I'm four, not that. Three, two, one. I'm just running. The elements answer to me. I. Nothing. Point in the back. Oh, I'm that. I'm not that. Oh! <laughs> I wasn't in range anymore for my uh, bear form charge. <laughs> Yikes! Die, mortal! I'm gonna try this now. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, this does work the with just the gaze. But I mean, I can only cast globals, which is not necessarily great. I'm just. That's. Oh, that's a beam. <laughs> Dude. Uh, what? <laughs> that beam was so what close was, uh, to my face. That was second spread, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um. <clears throat> So just so look, and then all of a sudden there's like a beam in front of him. And we died after after sparks through the bombs. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I, I put my <laughs> Your end was inevitable. Well, I didn't use my movements correctly, I guess. Man, I just have so, so many weak hour sounds. I don't like it. What is all of this shit? stuff? No, the the, the first uh, one is other shit, and then second my one. My brain gate. is being overwhelmed by weak R S sounds. There's oh. just too many. So you should you should use. So it gets worse every time. Yeah. So like, uh, we gate on the last. That's why one I didn't notice the, the breath. second one. I need and a different the sound for the breath. I think. Do something else. I need on. something. Yeah, I will more noticeable. Charge. I hope that's uh, okay. That's so actually no. Just healing that we're missing there. Is that it, or was there anything else? Um. I assume so. I think I mispositioned on the spark. I think we just Oxy, need. I think I we need to spark. Yep. It has to be the spark. Yesterday we were always like a little light at 120. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. I did I a guess. rewind, but I think we just need more. Yeah, you scared the shit out of me, stash. Uh, <laughs> I just dropped the stash uh, floor. Oh, you had a rewind? Well. Okay. I I moved the defense. Sorry, guys. Too, we have so to do it. Maybe take that away. Also, I. Wait, do I need There's to, like, just so many sounds. I don't even know. Talk. What they yeah. all come from. Uh, That's why I send on Discord. <laughs> I have no idea what all call. of these sounds are from. There's just so many. Mm, sure. Yeah, I was wondering why you couldn't see. I mean, static charge is probably uh, a sound. Yes. Yeah. Uh, was there a purple Hurricane button? Wing. Or something like that? Is a sound. Oh, I can place one. I think we removed that. Luca, yeah, was you there anything else that changed? I'll place one of these. Spark is a sound. I think we're like any other because I was looking at this all last night redoing my cooldowns. I think breath is fine. Okay, cool. Storm Nova. We didn't change anything. But... We figured it out later. Yeah, that was like the only pain point I really saw was 120 was really rough. The rest of it seemed like pretty okay. And the Uyghurs, I don't think Uyghurs have that many sounds. Okay, I think it's really just a breath. Sure. Inversion. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, Raddy. I think everything else is fine. It's just this. It's just the Bigwix that has a lot of sounds, apparently. Better, but yeah, the static afterwards is still a bit uh, shaky. Should be better with Stash Pro. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up that Toy doesn't work turning you into a, a How dragon. How long is it in the fight? Uh, to be honest. Like 140? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The age of the incarnates begins! We put the boss on the Volpera. What a fucking disaster. It's still up, you can use it in combat. 
Ah, oh, I have to move on my open man, it's just not worth it. I did that. Where is it? I'm trying hard. Die, mortal! Five, the sound didn't work, four, right? Three, two, one. The elements and There was no sound. Just I think it's being, um... Drowned out. I don't slagging. Or it's being drowned drowned out by the dialogue. I think that might be it. Like literal like the dialogue is literally just like over shadowing it or something. Don't have a rest, unfortunately. Nothing will be left standing. Five, four, oh. three, two, one. The elements answer to me. Marked by lightning. That's so close to open all. I'm just dead. Oh. Did Bob and or Chizik stay on the next push? Uh, I'm good on this. Oh. <laughs> I want you, by the way, Luka, Five, as a reminder. Four, three, two, one. The elements answer to me! I get to be fair, I had bark skin available. This one's pushed back for you, I have my time for all. For my rescue ball. Bye bye, Bob. Yep, bye, Bob. Yep. Bye bye, right. Just, 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 just fight, just fight. I think I'm gonna have to disable the light dialogue. If I set a countdown for the static, will it go on the application? I think I, I have to. Explosion damage. It's just uh, overshadowing the other sounds. Both. No, it does both. Idiots. I need an actual countdown for that. It cause... shouldn't be though, right? Wouldn't it? Uh... That is where the damage is. Oh, it's because it's... It has to be dialogue then, right? Or... Or what? Isn't Master just like... Over everything else? <clears throat> the sound channel? Platform toy thing. Or is it not? Uh, atomic, atomic recalibrator. recalibrator. Uh, I need one for my build. <laughs> yep, it's mandatory. Mandatory for every raider. Like, unironically, I can't be a fucking goblin anymore. Kagloblin. But you can be a gnome. It's just so fucked up, it doesn't turn you into a. Dragon, man. This doesn't work as a Munkin. It's I worse. feel so left out. Yeah, this is bullshit. It doesn't work for you either? It works for me, but it, you can't turn into me, which I just feel left out now. Oh. They haven't coded the animations for any other class. With yours. I love like, fucking Gun. Gun. Oh, Four, oh, I've got Volpira. Three, this is the kill. Two, no, yeah, it is one. Volpira. I am. Nice, 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 nice. Good I can't believe this doesn't work for Munkins. Is it body one or body two? Uh, question. Do not make assumptions about my body. I'm me on night off, jump off. Okay. Decoy's gone. Decoy mid area. <laughs> we have to stop saying it because he likes to jump. Man, I feel like he's just lagging. Kaput machen, no! Do you hear it? For me, it really drowns out. For you, it does not. I'm out of place on the right. Like, it's like really FPS lagging or something. I know, I'm confused. Please fix it. Oh, I got the email night of mid pool. I'm pogging for you. Thank you, mate. This time it works, but. Previous one is just like. British Saxe. Unbelievable. Runs out. Here's lad. Five, 
five, four, three, two, one. Helpful oh, though. Poor Noxy. God, that kills me apparently. I guess I have to go there for it. I felt like my HP was fine and I had bark skin, but I guess it's just a lot of damage when you. I guess my HP also wasn't fine. Well, no, I mean, it was 74%. But, uh. It was Wait, only so 6k overkill. So I guess if I would have just used the renewal, I would have been fine. Three, I just need to be two, full HP. Okay. One. I'm still gonna personal there, I think, because I'm just dying there every time. I think we had other issues. But we were pretty healthy. I think we just didn't go far enough. Yeah, I guess maybe the sound is just lagging. Maybe it's not. Um, maybe it's not like. 41k, 92k. Overlapping. Maybe it's literally just lagging. Yeah, I mean, that seems about normal. <laughs> that could be. Except for the 91. But... I'm pretty sure okay. you should never take 100k on uh, any of those. Okay, Stash. Uh, I'll show you again where to stand, but you're kidding. No, no, uh, <laughs> Poor man. I, I, I know. It's, Idiot. I just played it like 4 FPS the past few tries. It's horrible. But uh, I disabled some add-ons in hopes it would fix it. I just I couldn't move almost at all. The push wasn't nerfed a lot, but we are only in the first like few pushes. Yeah. Like a bit, uh, each um, each knockback or pushback like gets yeah. more powerful. So the longer like. The longer much. you're in the face, the, yeah. like the more pushed you back. back. So the start bit, is not you know, that bad. There's a tiny bit of variance, but at yeah, least yeah, now that I nerfed it. <laughs> Sorry for assassinating you, Noxy. Mm -mm. Yeah. Feeling like Susan right now. Yep. I don't know who is Susan. <laughs> Get a slap, mate. My jaw is fucking shattered, bruv. Brought home the wrong fucking chicken pie. <laughs> 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 But we just had to switch a healer. Like one of our evoker healers right, is lagging right, really badly. Right now, like not uh, uh, not Rasagaf lag, but like internet lag. Sure. So. Uh, so we had to replace one of the healers. Okay. Which means that they're gonna have to get used to healing it. Oh, can I get now with yeah. new healers? Extend it by five seconds. The fucking is mate. Oi, Darren. Five. Four, oi, oi. Three, oi. two, one. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Man! <laughs> Man, the lag at the very start is so annoying. I don't hear any, like, I don't see, I don't know, like, I'm just confused. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, if I used my roar earlier, before the, because the roar definitely lasts through the pushback. I should just do that. Five, four, three, two, one. Mm, I don't have a rest. Okay, see, this time I don't have to go there, I guess. Because I was full HP. The book, yeah? This is I roar again. Five, four, three, two, 
One. Mine is gonna be weird in the back. Yeah, in the back too. Fine, you're part of this team. Oh my god. Next mechanic is push back and it's breath. just get there for the new pool because this is the one that we play in the middle of the room. Oh. So it is kind of, it is kind of scuffed, but just tuck as close to your spot as you can without cleaving somebody. Five. We're gonna four, be missing some CC three, on the left side as two, well. One. Oh. I'm missing a ring as well. I'm just gonna be here, I guess. Okay. Uh, you can wait. Top team, we did the sparks. Huh, what is this? This was the fourth, right? One, two, uh, Robbie, how's yeah. it looking? So on this one, it feels like I shouldn't use the cat jump because I was even like, I was like too yeah. far in the front. I'm not playable at least. Yeah. I felt like I, I was so far okay, in front I'm that I had to move backwards. <laughs> yeah, so apparently because my brother's been fine the whole day. So but I know, I guess I just use bear charge then. Wait. He what now? My internet has been <laughs> fine all day. Until now. Now it seems to have stabilized. At least I can. Bill fucking it. Darren started hitting the torrents. <laughs> when Big D comes around, you don't get mess with At him. least we, we beat Toe, who was that. <laughs> half to fight. <laughs> if Nico's drinking, should I start drinking? Didn't you drink before the raid? I hate everyone. The skilled needs an intervention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking. We need we need some e elix instead of alcohol before the raid. <laughs> Everyone grab a scoop. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> right, what is uh, happening, Robbie? The closet. Um, Chizix, do you have the CDs Ready? from? Yeah, chill, bro. No. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, wasted no, isn't time Gate on the fifth one? I just copied this was the, the fourth one, right? I the thought sheet, you Gate so on the I fifth didn't one. I anything on the original one. Wait, did I see that wrong? So, Robbie, you're you a right anything gamer, wrong? right? <laughs> uh, no, no, I didn't change anything, but I was yeah, just it says sure Gate. You didn't change anything, so that. Yeah. Oh, right. no, this I was the fifth it. one. I'm left but healing. Oh, it was the fifth no, one. No, I mean, ah, on the little. Okay. Oh, on the orb, yeah, I'm one ready. I was with Stashes, that wasn't changed, I don't believe. Okay. I think Stashes took my position. That's not a problem. I'm just making sure this is correct. Okay. Right. I died to beams, now it's my fault. Saving pints for half time. Oh, let's do it! Probably you shattered my mental. Just like my jaw. <laughs> 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 It's fine, let's go. Here's the switch, Odd, guys. Odds on Robbie the NDC during this pool. <laughs> Five. God, four, I like this boss so far. I think. One. It's a bit annoying yeah, that you can't cast or do damage a lot. Ten. Any advance? <laughs> Otherwise, I like it. Oh shit, I have the whole shade tank, eh? Five, four, three, two. I'm just gonna take one. this gate. I don't need it otherwise. Am I back to gripping Jizzix or are we just gonna keep it chill for now? Um, I did a lot of controls adding, so it's probably whatever it was before everything went to shit. Okay, well. There we go.
5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh. Why am I dying? I'm fine. Nothing happened. Spiraling. Keep it up, brother. Yeah, it's a lot better when I'm not lacking, surprisingly. Legendary. Ah, Don't let Aaron keep hitting you down. Aaron's a good lad. Two, one. Snoxy? The dogs just fall off. Oh shit. Oh. I've been fucking ratty beamed. Okay, ah. just just keep going. It shouldn't matter. You're gonna need more CC on the left side. I guess I shouldn't have used my gate here though. Or whatever. I'm fine. I think. Maybe. <laughs> I'm just gonna roar early and then I'm gonna use Five, the cut form. Four, three, two, one. So focus on CCing the sparks, like even with purges, because we're fine on boss damage. Just live on Help! the sparks and don't hit the boss. Don't hit the boss. Stop your health for the good news. Go to AFK. AFK, please. Yeah, uh, this is pushed okay. too fast, but it's fine. Yeah, but just go see the face. So go yeah, to your side. Why did we push too fast? What's uh, what's wrong with that? Oh. Sam, I'm gonna stop. Oh, cool fuck, I'm yeah, no, I, I know, I, I know, but I. Four. I called with like. No, see if you want to be on the right side. Just like, Thank you. You're on the right yeah, side. She's like, don't you worry. No, she's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Oh, I assume yeah, we're not supposed to take yeah, yeah. so yeah, like much uh, fall damage. You were fine. <laughs> just, just see as much as you can. Okay, breath on red. Oh, that, did that bait on us? It should be kicks here. Yeah, you should never yeah, move that, was... that way. With those mobs, yeah? Chill. Yeah. Okay. Awa! But it was breath better on us. <laughs> yes, but that's fine, but we move oh. towards the Oh, now, now we can change you. the plater thing, right? I mean, it's... we should have had CCs there, because breath was on us. Also, yes. Marketing I mean, if it baits on the biggest clump, yeah. then... I don't know. You are supposed to be on that. <laughs> no? Yes. No? Okay. Uh... Like we said just before as well, that I wasn't. I'm, I'm pretty like, sure... Rally, 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 Echo, rally. Am, I, am I supposed to find it now? Echo, they don't do it either. No, Echo, they had both... Uh, well, Shade, we always go uh, Roger, the way yeah, we yeah, want yeah. to go to that, yeah. I got baited by the... That's a reload? The blue one, yeah. It's, look at the floor. You see the blue and the red on the floor? That's the best way to know where you're yeah. going. <laughs> Fucking just go to your six. color. Go, go to the Fuck correct the left side. and right, all that bullshit. Where it's a circle, right? So just look at the color. Okay, I just um, have right side in mind, and then I looked at bots. Yeah, and, yeah just look oh. at blue. Easy fix. Okay. Okay. Um, if everyone yeah. should be able to go into plater now and change their Susan nameplate. How does so it work? Frost... What do you mean? Oh, like like plater won't like add a NPC until you've seen it before. Yeah, but how do we add it? Do I just it's import on, it or something? It's on the sheet. No, no, no. Once, once, you, once you in, tune in to twitch.tv slash preheat, you can see me do it live. Once you've seen it, 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 you should, it should just show up. <laughs> yeah. That's a great plug. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. Do you have to reload, I guess? Uh, hold on. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, click the X on the search bar and scroll right to the top and type it in again. Oh, so you're searching for the right ad, the one that's on your side. I mean, it's just not no, there? No, do, 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 do what I said. So empty the search bar and then scroll like right to the oh. top. Because if you search in Plater and it scrolled down, it like, keeps it scrolled down because it's shit. So if you I scroll guess, right to the uh, top. Okay. And then... And then look for it again or what? Yeah, but you're not at the there. top. I, I saw you see Ah, it. okay, I see, I see, I see. It's right at the top. It's the top one. <laughs> Thank you. We did. Okay. <laughs> All right. Plus, 
<laughs> GTA 13 people need a stream with it. I'll walk them through it. Or... <laughs> Can you team view on your I think I've cracked it, boss man. Okay, good. Fuck like what? Right. Um. Yes, left side wouldn't have marked because I'm Thank the Thank you for the prime. ASEX, appreciate that. Did, did right side mark? Yeah. I think so. Uh, yeah, but the Vicara did not work. I mean, that's what yeah, the guy yeah. that Luca did said, okay. right? That Boss the Vicara doesn't work. I did it. And I'm sending proof for it. Yeah. Okay. We're marked. If, if the kick Vicara doesn't work, you just need to know which kick you're on and which bob you're on. Hey, Slicer, thank you so much for 18 months, what's up? Which will stay in the note, fortunately. You need um, to show the note for the weaker to work or something? Yeah, let's do it. And um, no, apparently no. not. And Lars says Spike, so four, evokers do not use three. Tail Swipe. Hey, Jengorski, thank you so much for 23 months. I mean, it is, you just Hope have to... Hope you well. The talent, though. No, oh, but you just need to... ...not use both on the last set of stuff. You start by using the frontal. Oh, three, yeah, 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 no. two, one. I get you. I get you. I get you. Mhm. Mm I didn't want to play the game anyway. Okay. I could not. Do Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell. I was so close. Oh my god. Three, two, one. I did. Oh? Where was that one? What happened? No clue. Uh, behind the tanks on green marker on the left. Directly on the Idiot. corner of the... Platform. Thank you, Slicer. Uh, I don't think we'll need the dragon anytime attack, soon. So I guess there was like too much on that side that didn't get hit. Thanks for four months, Quack. Hey, Twig. Thank well, you so much for the 11 months. What's we're up? fine on the, Thank you. the first overlap now. <laughs> we will definitely need the luck. I think we need Evening a bit more than luck. This. I think we need some skill as well. If you want to send any skill our way, so, yep. <laughs> it would be much appreciated. Yeah, I think my communion layer on was kind of pointless. Didn't really do anything that's much better here. There's also, like, I'm just looking at, at the interrupt meter, but there's no reason that every range kick shouldn't be on cooldown. On each set of sparks. Mine is always in full down. precedence to right after your CTs, right? And it, it'll hit something if you have the macro. And you have like six people kick up full. Hello. I <laughs> appreciate the effort, Twig. Appreciate it. <laughs> Go back to the liquid facility and sniff up that Hansama dust for some cleaner mechanics. Oh, I'm dumped. <laughs> oh, God. I should have done Five, that. Four, three, I can't believe two, I slept in Hansama's oh. room no and didn't da -da -da, sniff da -da -da, up da -da -da, any of the dust. Unbelievable. Oh 
And I hate when this ability is on me. Five. Ah. Four. Three. Oh, I charged a bit early there. Oh. Ow. This is where I do nothing? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god, I thought that would be that was further on the left. So far away. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoa! Spot coming back in. Jesus Christ! Oh. Oh my god, I was lagging! Do you see that? Oh man. Ryan Razor. I can't believe that uh, was so delayed. You just look for the DPS stop a little. We don't push. I used to disengage like literally a second earlier, and then it just didn't go off. I thought at first it didn't go out at all. Five, yeah, you can four, stop. Three, two, one. Just focus on playing your sparks correctly. <laughs> Hit the boss a little bit. I'm just dead. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, stop. Again. Maybe I shouldn't I walk so far out. out. I don't know if I was in range anymore. Like, I see only Bob in range here. Oh no. Oh, that was. You hate to see it. I don't think I'm gonna make it back, guys. <laughs> hey, Bob, bye! And for the platform. I trying to rush um, you into it. I did too, right? It's right? the CD timings that we delay for, mm. right? Like, yeah, I was. Yeah. You definitely yeah. push it. I swear, the, it just pass. didn't go out. Yeah. Yes. Alone up there. I'm very like I'm just, I'm very confused on why that didn't work. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. But it's just like the last thing it does no, before sir, that no, cast sir. is puts a hundred percent physical damage increase yes. on one of the tanks. Yes. Which seems a bit yeah. Tough. And then he does that wind up cast, and you want to push midway that cast. We just had a few people dead, so we didn't get it below sixty five. Yeah. I also uh, so I. Need people to like listen to the DPS stop calls so that I can actually change them because I called slightly lower on the previous pull and then like a bunch <clears> of people didn't stop and that makes it hard to like actually tune it. I know we had some people dead that pull. But... Is it possible to not have the boss move for I don't know two seconds on the fifth push? Maybe if you're, you're like falling off the SJ, it's like a little thing. bit of a delay on Thanks. when you your abilities. Maybe there's like an animation uh, or something? Me... Like, Shadow Step has still been pushing me. Because you can definitely be off the edge and still make it back on. Uh, not but not maybe there's like a falling animation, you know? Like platform. when you are on a elevated area, like on stairs or, or something, your character can like fall off the stairs. You know what I mean? And then while you're in this falling animation, 
Like if I'm moving uh, in much you can't further, use I'm anything. Gonna... Maybe I that's. Mean, uh, I'm pretty sure the rogues in Liquid at I'd least works, had a fucking uh, sure. shadow step mat macro to lip the DK. Uh, thank you so much for prime sub, Shadi. Yeah. Thank you so much. That. Oh, for that reason. Just asking because the first pull, it was uh, it was this way, but yeah, more probably more reliable to step tank. Yeah, either tank or set us. I think it's both are just in front of the boss. I was about to say you can step me as well because I'm closer. MDT, uh, what time did you rewind? Hey, also, uh, what's up? How are you doing? I did it just for the spark. Everyone looked really unhealthy. I know I meant to do it after, but everyone was dying. I think it's better for to do it on Cephas than that tank. By the way. Yeah, yeah I'm moving into Tank is in a weird spot as yeah. well. Yep. <laughs> it seemed... Yeah, because it was a bad rewind, but I thought I'm I could ready. save people. That's it. Yeah, yeah it's more... I've, I'm pretty sure we'll need it on the last uh, overlap. It doesn't look like a bad one. Oh my god. I just saw like a PC setup of Shade, our tank. Five, and holy yeah. shit, Four, it's something. I'll show three, you after this. Two. One. I'm flip sides because I got right. So just gonna tuck. Oh wait, I shouldn't have used my charge. That's okay, I'll just use skates. It's fun. And my charge would be ready anyway. Five, four, three, two, one. My roar, yeah. I got fucking gold. Five. We should put him after the bombs. Three. These are the bombs to be close. One. Four. Oh my god, my health! That's when I cut form jump, I think. We'll stop at 67, and then we'll just full stop. Five, four, three, okay, just two, stop after one. this then, and play your sparks. I oh, oh, the spark in the back. Yeah, we did. Look at this. This is apparently Yeah, I guess you can rewind as soon as the box goes off. <laughs> like what is that? And we should be good for uh, the spread. 
Okay, yeah. Um, problem is so Harry Potter stuff. Then it's not up because I'm not doing first. Like, look at the mouse face. So that's why we're getting a bit. There's like this much space. I mean, your dream plan is assigned Potter. to yeah to the wings. <laughs> One, yeah, but I can't do that because I'm rescuing you. The good thing is I mean, that it is in a closet, so well. if anyone ever yeah, comes over, risk, they won't then like they won't know that you're play. you play a lot of video games. Uh, you know, I can you give just it close the closet. <laughs> no one will ever know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you don't mind getting early rescued, maybe. Otherwise, you just uh, or you have emerald. Uh, mm. That's not up at that point. No, no, it was more on the static, but you have emerald there, you cannot do both. I mean, if risk is the problem, we can just make it a grip, right? Yeah, yeah make the first one a grip, and then... I do fourth. Fourth is a rescue. Yeah, that's fine. And then you can dream flight on the first and fifth. Because if we get it on fifth, I feel like that'll keep us healthy. Uh, so we yeah, I mean, low. it helps on the sparks, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then rewind after. So, yep, that's fine. Bob is getting Chizix on the first one, Robbie Diane on the fourth one, and then what else is happening? That's, that's it. it. That's it. Just because okay. I can't dream flight because I've got 15 second cooldown, but if I dream flight on the first wings, it'll be up in time for the cooldown. I'm really confused about the change keybinds, by the way. Sometimes I only have health pot left, uh, health stone left, and I will press the wrong binding because I just changed them recently. So now I'm always confused. But it does work yeah, that right I always use my health pot first instead of my health stone. Wind as so. well on fifth. It is I'm working out. About maybe delaying it. I don't know what you guys think. Five, four, three, two, one. Test it off these changes, I guess. I think what we're doing now should be fine. Need to see the hard part more, just with everyone alive more consistently. Yeah. One more. Look. Someone run back and rest her. No shots! Let's... I hate my life. Do I actually just have to bear for for all of those or I just die? Five, God, I hate it four, here. Three, two, one. Five, four, three. Uh, no I guess I only have bar skin One. for every second. Personal, no. <laughs> I only have bar skin for every second. Um, AOE. Um, I don't know if I should hold on to it in case I get it on me, but I don't think that makes sense. Maybe I should just use it on. Because this one that just happened, they are closer. So maybe I should just use it so I have it available for it. And this one also had the electric scale thing. Which happens at the same milliseconds. Like I was on 99% HP. Someone in the middle. I just keep hitting the boss. Okay. 
That was a 99% HP. Four, three, then I got electric two, skills, static charge, one. static charge, static charge. Like... Maybe I have to use Bark Screen for this one, just because um, they're closer. So I wouldn't use it in the first. And instead I used it in the second, fourth, punching. sixth. This is the first, third, uh, fifth. I think too many DPS, Dad. Dad, just jump off. Let's end of phase one anyway. So many people dead. It's not worth doing phase two. Or intermission. Whatever. Okay, but I, I mean, if we keep making it to the end of phase one for the next few plays. Oh, that, that makes sense, uh, Faramons. Deaths. Two. Oh, one. so you just go front. But isn't that, like, really I close? Oh, beam angle. Did you... When I keep first objective, uh, aren't you like because there's stack. like so many there's like so many people standing or here now. Static charge, never mind. That's the bomb. The charges, yeah. I think honestly, it's better to just walk where I walked. I just have to go yeah, I mean, like bear form on the third one and use spark skin. I'm trying to bait it to or like use spark skin differently. Meter. Something I didn't I don't use spark skin, but going down mid. I just had it like on different no, timers. No, I mean it was just me being greedy by I'm no, I, I'm gonna yeah, dash I guess the boss, you're but right. Because like I used to, I used to walk here. Because if I'm here, yeah, where Big T is, isn't that like so close? Like, I feel like there's people yeah, standing here. Up there. Uh, the Maybe if I walk here? Maybe this yeah, is fun. Yeah, I used my light bloom that last walk, because it's kind of low. Of course you did. Yeah, oh, I guess you're right. What does that mean? What are the beach? It's so funny, you never here. make any sense. Do you not want him to? And see what happens. No, I'm just saying that he should always do it on me. Are Boomkin's weak? Yeah, like, weak, 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 weak will will be there. extremely <laughs> weak. In general, oh it's very strong. Do you have to spec into bear form? Yeah, that makes sense. Right? He's very weak on the IQ scale. <laughs> if they oh. did, it wouldn't exist. Right, let's try that. Maybe that helps. Yeah, maybe I was yeah, just too close to the middle bomb. Like the, or the back bomb, Four, I guess. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, if I have the back one, then I don't really go anywhere. Five, four, three. Okay, this time I had to use uh, bark one. skin though, because I had the first one on me. So I won't. I will have different bark skin timers again. Not what I wanted, but <laughs> if it works, we'll see. One more. I mean, since we have too much damage anyway, like we sub damage, right? So I might as well just go play it safe all the time for these stupid charges. Just go bear for me, even if I'm not the one with the debuff. Five, four, three, two, one. How are you finding this one? Okay. No. Better have a sick drop, yeah. <laughs> Rain can't reply because he's just so Five. drawn in. Yeah, I was just fucking love For this sound, I don't have the. Uh, one. Anything. Oh no, it's all right. Rise on past. Sparks, sparks, sparks. Wow, 
Why was that double? Yeah, that's Ow. Oh. Okay, we're gonna do a hard stop at 60 seconds. So we still got a bit of time to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Hmm, is this the correct spot? Not really, I guess. In front right. Oh, work again. Like, nice. we keep on missing here. Is it one in Africa or behind us again? Or? <laughs> Does anybody know where? I'm gonna have some more D3, yeah. that was about to speak. Was, was it, I was supposed to call it? that yeah, I'm going yeah, left, but since that was kind of in the middle anyway, I, don't think anything behind us. I figured I'll just okay. make it. Because I was dead there. I didn't off. fucking see it anywhere. And it was fun. I didn't die there. I should have cc Did you die like? I don't know. Did you die all the way back left? The PS, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. No, I felt I was on the other platform. Um. Uh. That's what um, I've been saying to for. Be, I, feel like. I don't understand why they I'm keep deciding these bosses. They just make you have I, two I, FPS. I don't see any on my POV and I don't see any on the Chris POV, so I, I don't think, think it could have been. There must have been one when there was quite a few sparks yeah, that yeah, one I just didn't it. get. It was all the way at like the edge where you'd like follow here. Okay. Then I'm going to guess that was D3s? Spawns it there or something? So you, you should die. Okay. So it pushed me off and then I. Got ready to kill my own one, and then the debuff ended, and it didn't spawn. I guess it just spawns on the platform instead. Yeah, it spawns on. Just platform. have more frames. Yeah. Okay. So if you get knocked off, you need to call it because then they will spawn uh, at the outer platform. Like Do you have full working time raiders in your gills? Yeah. Um, oh, most of them, I guess. By the way, so you were too close on the the one I died on. We only raid three days a week. Space in, uh, in our spot. Where are you? Uh, yep. Sure. It, it's the only time, but I think the whole group got pushed a bit towards us. So even though we were standing here, we were still uh, getting hit by you. Okay. And we couldn't move uh, further in. So I think everyone I just got pushed. That's the... One we do right after bombs, right? Like the bombs and the sparks one, was that one? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm gonna play that one differently on this pull anyway, so it should help. Alright. Oh, I mean, it's first time it happened. So, not a big Sometimes thing. you have so many procs back to back. I mean, the problem with this boss is mainly Five, the fact that we have to shape four, shift so much, I think. Three, two, like the one. movement is not even that big of a problem, it's just that we have to shape shift. Like we have to go bear form so many times and cat form. For um, the jump and for I don't know. It's just so many globals from shapeshifting. Okay, this time I saved my bark skin here. Actually, I'm not gonna use it because I have to go close to the sky and I'm scared. Because I have to dodge the breath. <laughs> Uh, but I guess his internet's gone again. Carbons? Well, that's not great! Oh. Arrow? Barons? Daryl from The Walking Dead. <laughs> DJ. The, the artist of this song is a word I can't even say on stream. The fuck? He is a lyrical word. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. I can't believe Big T's clicker listening to excessive Spotify. Mm. It's a low gong sanctioned playlist, yeah. Like, what would you want? Mm. Am I just set? Derek's own playlist. Ow. I'm ring ding ding in over here. <laughs> <laughs> I 
good sound to wake up to. I'm gonna play this on my way to work. I think this one I should also use charge, uh, cut charge. I actually sometimes put this playlist on when I'm in the office to try and keep me awake. Four. Three. Two. Out through speakers, I see. One. No. Obviously. Can we just switch sides? Go off right side. Rise in the I hope this works, Jizzix. It better do. Kind of. Oh my like god. Oh. I am fun. My. Rocket Nothing game. happened. All under control. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not even close. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, nice. Hit the box a bit. You guys don't have a time. Oh. Uh. Wait, do we have a bunk or? No. 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 Never mind. You just keep on hitting. Oh, no. Isn't he, isn't he still casting that pushback? He doesn't boss I mean, uh, not interrupt it? Or maybe if we have it between if we have it between I 65 and a half and 66 whenever she starts the cast will be fine. Okay, deaths. <laughs> uh, well I just don't know the ability names in this boss. Volatile current oh. is the big explosion. Sparks. Sparks? No. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Volatile current is sparks. Static charge is the bombs. Volatile current is boys. Why are our corpses down here? What the fuck? That's just when oh, they spawn though, phase, right? Phase three. <laughs> <laughs> I broke I the shield myself. There wasn't, I was wondering why there wasn't a log. Okay, Bob got cleaved. Valio. I got hit by a lightning thing from the air, and then the cleave killed me. Didn't have anything for that anymore. Okay, and Big T died to what? A 500k melee? That's yeah, I, I stupidly... Were you in Munkin form? No, I just didn't have spikes up when I taunted. And this class is great. Ah, uh, we learned about, about that. playing a better class. Okay, um, I'm not sure what. We <laughs> like them just kind of died. I don't know if that's. You know, I literally just out brain globaled myself. Uh, oh, life bloom were not top. He would easily have survived it. I could have pressed something. And there is a 170k I mean, bomb. That's his own, though, I think, no? Well, if it is, then he needed a defensive. Yeah. Yeah, I had renewal like one second before that, and I didn't press it. Do you have a defensive? Well, I mean... Or. Because. Yes, just renewal ask, is a defensive. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought that was just a heal. It is just a heal. Oh, well, I mean, okay, if he right. dropped himself, he will survive, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, but like, don't don't be afraid to ask for externals if you are if you have a bomb. Like, I'm pretty sure they're. I don't know, he just can maybe say, but they, I don't think they're being used entirely, so. I'm just using it on myself or people who look dangerous and then they seem to get they, Yeah, they are they are there for bombs. Five, yes. four, three, two, one. Oh my god. We somehow didn't pre pull the bus this time. Insane. Oh shit, I walked too far again. Five, four, three, two, one. Man, this boss, this FPS. 
Jesus Christ. Am I dead? No, certainly not. Holy shit, I'm getting spin procs. You wanna blood rate season? Save them for the sparks. Oh. This is where I use nothing. My top damage currently is spin, single target. Five, four, three, two, one. Maybe don't die. Got him. Yeah, I'm shopping car. Five, four. I'm sorry, my shopping car. That's one for tech two. I'm gonna go bear for one. this. I'm scared. Okay, I didn't need to. Ah, that hurts. Speed things going for the next wins. Otherwise, I'm fucking gone. I, I can't tag it last year. Leave it. Go, just lost my strength. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm too far again. Let's just keep happening. Awesome boss. We're tapping down to 66. Okay, stop my stop, 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 stop. Okay, you can head, 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 head. Man, uh, I like how. Oh, that was so good though. On the platform. Beautiful. Beep, 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 beep. I'm yellow. <laughs> okay, let's Four. focus and try to yeah. actually see something Two. in this phase. No, yeah, no, you kick markers. Oh. Am I supposed to like move on the other side a bit? Losing that. Wrap on us, move forward. Sure. Kevin. That's not far. Oh, isn't this backwards? Yeah. Yeah, you didn't kick the thing, Shane. Yeah, that was... Idiot. Oh, um, one second. Quick yeah, thing for... Right? Uh, you just need to be ready. Quick thing for... That's right boat. So red. Uh, range DPS, you need to be a little bit closer. Not much, but a little bit. Uh, yeah, ready, ready, ready. Le left boat. Forward is the way we go on heroic as well, yeah? Which is not that direction. Wait, what happened with the priest? Why, why did the mobs go that direction? Uh, well, I started running the other direction and then saw eight people moving in that direction, so just followed them. Right, well, you, you never do that. If they run the wrong way, they run the wrong way. If you run the correct way, don't make a mistake with them. Sure, but I thought it was better <laughs> to go with them and try and kill the mobs. Well, it, well, keep going. it isn't. Just, yeah. just real quick, which way is that? Counterclockwise, clockwise? Which platform are you on? Blue. That is... Counterclockwise. Oh, I walked okay. the wrong direction. It starts where you get landed. Oh, where you we land, go counterclockwise. And you finish where oh. you would have knocked to the last platform. Oops. <laughs> Do you use a grave touch there, Rain? My bad. Yeah. I thought we were clockwise. I messed up big time. I saw fate late. Oh, I did. Did we? I did one minute. Did we it break the shield in time? I think so, yeah. Yeah, we did. The, but it should break way earlier than that. But we did break it in time, yes. 
went Olympic diving off the platform. <laughs> it didn't matter. But uh, I learned that you need to equip your boots pretty late. And if you fuck it up, then don't levitate. <laughs> oh, so. I wondered what happened to you. I was like, oh, Bob's oh, like, Did someone clip it? There was nothing there it was Bob levitating off the platform? Oh my god, I need to see that. To need to do Somebody it, like, show me that clip. I thought I did it late, but you still. You like, just flew off. You have like 10,000% movement speed, right? So even if you do it like a second early, you just fly off. That sounds too risky yeah. to ever fuck with. Oh, I'm not playing if they were like kindling, Faramons. Dude, I'm just gonna rescue you, Bob, as soon as we're in the. That won't work. To the floor. Yeah. I was about to say, everyone who can oh, avoid I can still that dot it, but I'm not sure if that's Ooh. worth it. Yeah, I avoid it myself, do much. but if I rescue Bob, then we can both But might as well if I'm flying anyway, good. right? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, then I don't want to do I that just, then. I just did it slightly early. That's all stupid, and I thought it lasts longer than 10 seconds. Wait, are you, are you, we'll do one pull before break. It's just auction house boots, right? You can just buy them and then you play need to have, You need to have Shadowlands Engineering. It's oh, an item yeah, that you use. Who doesn't have that? Well, anyone that has two professions, because they're using... Oh my god, yes, attention. they fucking... Like... It's lost. Yep, yeah. they're actually useful this time. Yeah, yeah. my profession is for Call of Duty. My profession definitely... Nice swag. Somebody remind me to watch this after this call. My You're our officer, You're our officer two, though. We one. You. We provided. Hey, right, let's make sure we are always getting the last point in the fight. Whoa. Whoa. That's not gonna happen. Whoa. How many guineas did you have? One, but I'm gonna have more during the brick. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> You're gonna have multiple during the brick? That sounds like Bella Spogers. Fine. 22 minute break. I should have dodged it in the One. other direction, by the way. What's your guinea power? Oh. Ready fucking be, you're fucking late, mate. Yeah, I had to go the other side. Yeah, you're excused. Good job. You made it. You're excused. Oh! The hell? Oh, no, I he dropped his guinea. <laughs> no, I dropped <laughs> my ultra timage. Shimmer in the wrong order and shimmered in front of the boss. Heal me! I'm fine. Fortunately, this dragon doesn't have a scary mouth like a lot of other dragons do. It's not the item I'm afraid of. During the wins. She's got a fucking beak. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Oh, I'm dead. Someone. Run and resin. Don't have a rest. I get him. Oh, uh, man, never mind. Four, three, two, one. Uh, let's just keep playing. Don't want to have to grip Chesix on fourth, though. Yep. Yeah. You get Griffin there, Bob. Okay, never mind. First, <laughs> watch him, we'll take Griffin. Fire man. I see a to group me on further one. What? No, I deep <laughs> breath and I deep breath too late. Um, yeah, um, the breath was <laughs> facing towards me as I was landing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just. When is break? break? Horrendously. Hello, break time. That's so gonna be at least like three guinea or. <laughs> just sink a couple points. Oh, there it is. <laughs> wow, we only get 11 hints. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, I want to see this clip. It's so hard. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> okay, where's, where's Bob? Do you that tells you to use gateway? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but it's still hard to remember. I don't know why. Am I supposed to like... Yeah. I mean, I struggled yesterday to press oh, a button a couple of times as well. <laughs> The one that catches me out is the second time, the second gateway. You... So good! It's the fifth one. <laughs> You've heard it's it's awesome. I can't stop watching! So many assignments, right? And then when you get a bomb, 
it's it like, like yeah it, it, it kind of scrambles your brain, your brain. Yeah, yeah 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 i have the queue as well and it's like i've got a mental stack of everything i'm doing and then you get the bomb like twice in a row where like some other crazy shit happens and it's like uh, a whole fucking database gets corrupted it's always just like when i get bomb it's not one button right it's run out continue my ramp press four buttons in a sequence and then i live you know like fade shield flash oh, no. personal bear back one second I think he flew off because he used uh, the gust of wind potion too late. Like he was yeah. landing and then he used gust of wind and fell off or something like that. I think. It looked like gust of wind at least. But anyway, bear back one second. All right, team, we got this. Dude, that levitate was so clean. It was right at the end. No, I think I get a pass on that one, yeah. I couldn't have known it worse like that. And if were you trying to like avoid the fall damage? Yes. The thing is, I've seen someone do it and they did not go flying. They just like, Why would you sorry, don't. why would you wanna use are you using the engineering boots? Why don't you just instantly I, use, I Bob, the boots late? Bob oh, Bob, why don't you um instantly oh, okay. cancel or it off? Because it will stop your momentum, yeah? For a moment, and then you just cancel or and then you don't take the full damage. Well, no, no, but you want that to take as sense? much full damage as possible if you are using the boots, yes. if you are using the engineering boots. The issue was, I realized it was only 10 seconds, so I pressed it too early. Because right. the RP is like fucking 40 seconds. Okay. Yeah, sure, fine. So I was so confused why you were trying to reduce full damage while using the engineering boots. It's like You're just using it to position yourself better? Is that what you're doing? No, no he used die. the engineering boots too early. So yes. they they wouldn't have done damage. So then he was like, right, well, I'm going to levitate oh, to try and, and stop like, fall damage. Not die. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, well, I'm using the boots to avoid fall damage. The damage is like a at bonus, you know? Like it makes you take ah. less fall damage. That's the reason I'm using them. Uh, so the alternative is to le levitate yourself, right? Just go, yeah, the boots, rescue the me! Boots do... Just scream that and I'll rescue you. The amount mm -hmm. of damage the boots do is the amount of damage that you don't take because you use them, right? Would have been sure. so good if you just levita levitated everyone and we just all flew off. Which is also why they're really, the boots are really good on tanks. Bob, I mean, just scream if you need it, dude. I got you. I mean, it should be fine. Uh... We'll do the levitate, and if that's also failing, then just be like, rescue. <laughs> well. Here, try just to... press the boots at the right time and then don't have to do anything. Exactly. That's the plan. True. I was but like, as a backup, don't be afraid to ask. I was like, surely I waddle to the edge here and then press the boot, and that's right timing. But it turns out there's like 20 seconds from walking to the edge until you land. So. But it's okay, we learned. Now now that's uh, secure. They should, make, they should make some kind of add on where you see like timers and shit. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a cool one. Honestly, I think they should not have a timer on that. The knock should just be instant when it phases the... Yep. Um, no, my mana, that be, hello? That would be great. <laughs> just getting 30% mana from waiting. Right, actually, put it back. If Fairmond yells rescue me, I'm also going to rescue Bob. Just saying. It's going to happen. He has too much power now.
God, getting out of my beer fridge is just so fucking cold. All right. Give me a second, I'm tweeting. Have you got more booze, Nagura? Yep. You too? I have. Perfect. It's fucking Monday. <laughs> it's very, it's very, very cold out of the beer fridge. <laughs> I got it good. out of the balcony. Probably even colder. What, what the fuck? <laughs> well, I can hear one Bicti sit down. The fucking Morgok playlist just, just fires up again. <laughs> Ring, dang, dang, dang. <laughs> yeah, my mom got annoyed at me because in the kitchen where the washing machine was supposed to go, instead of buying a washing machine, I bought a beer fridge and put it in that little slot. Annoyed or proud? <laughs> no, she wasn't proud. Oh. Mm. Man, there's not enough characters in a tweet. Hey, two or three, a team. What? 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 Yeah, Rain, did you see, you know the song with the excellent, excellent lyricism? Yeah. Did you see the name of the artist? I did not. I even forgot what it was, what it was called. That was the name of the artist. Hey, Genuine, what's up? Hmm. Yeah, not, not sure how I feel about that one. Boom, dude, that's an, that's an OG. What really? what? That's an OG, dude. There was how a reason you, I typed it type... instead of saying it. What does that mean? Uh, I don't know what that is. Go, go yeah, Urban Dictionary. Is. That's a slur. Yeah, go Urban Dictionary and type that without an E. That is 100% yeah. oh. a slur. A uh, really not great one. Because oh, I've just googled that word you posted and... Um... Raccoon is a raccoon according to a regular dictionary at least. Oh, no, it's, oh, it's that really uses a slur. Oh, <laughs> Wait, maybe, oh. maybe not in your countries, but definitely in mine. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's it's definitely. Uh, it's, uh, seven D <laughs> three. Sub in. Might be Draenei on next raid. Why? Why not? Just get it here. I I am. Oh, good. I look so cute. I oh. Do you no. look cute? Hold on, I gotta look. I no. fucking love Bob. Mm, you could look mm -hmm. cuter, I think. No, yeah, I'm gonna go uh, Volpero, so. We need Felicid over there. Can I get a food? Get well, an embellishment, go. you cocks. Oh, I, no, my, my, I, I'm just about it's to eat over food from for Raystar, the second yeah. time this yeah. raid, yeah? Because the embellishment has just run out. I'm not paying a... I've already bought it. Get, get the embellishment and click the feast every pull. Like I do. Oh. Well, then you're an ape. That's what I do too. There isn't any well, I, I, I had a food buff there and you didn't. Like, what? I don't know about you, lucky horse I just players. I click the food every time. That's my strat. There's about four messages. Even though I have the embellish. every like ten minutes on this. Right. Uh, important note: we this one is still quite hard, and I'm already quite hard for the duration of progress. So, like consistency is really important here. We can't just get really complacent and think that like, oh, we prog this phase. So whatever, because then we're like never going to see later phases. We need to be very very consistent to like progress as fast at a good rate. Um. Nigger, are you ready? Yep. Bang on. I'm gonna knack, right. the, knack the guinea during my evo kit. <laughs> Powerful. Remember, That's like a real life evo kit. Remember mana gem. Five, four, three, two, Oh fuck, one. that's cold. <laughs> Brain freeze? Brain freeze in guinea is something that happens a lot in England. Because these people keep their getting in freezers. Fuck off. Five, four, two, Rhythm. one. It's okay, I didn't want to play the game anyway. Demon rush at the last second. Of that. This is a gateway. Five, four, Ten. three, two. One. Okay. Yeah, it, it works if you died. Um, my... Okay, good recovery. Am I in death? Mm. I swear I'm missing some healing there because... Yeah, um, I've lied, never mind. Uh, why? Because one of our healers just stopped? Man, I don't understand. Oh, sorry, I get the gateway. I thought I would be out of Sounds... here. <laughs> like I'm trying my absolute best. Bradley putting his gateway on the breath again. First turn after this. I'm trying my absolute best to do damage. Well, I think the reason why Mookie like, seems really bad in this, seconds, um, on this specific boss fight is because <laughs> our cooldowns <laughs> yeah, are not that good. Like I think we yeah, have I was like, is he gonna a lot move? more consistent like, damage, while second. other <laughs> class have more burst. And I think burst is just better for this boss, because at the start you can do damage, and then afterwards you're just running think around, think doing way. things, and getting pushed, like blah blah blah, right? Yeah. And yeah, I guess as a Moonkin in general, you just have to shapeshift so much. But yeah, at the start, when other people are bursting a million DPS, we're just like, yeah. Here, when do you go out range a boss? Like a bit past blue, right? Like around the middle of the platform, or? Yeah, what I do is I um I, I queue up a nice disintegrate and I run out while it's out of range because I'll keep channeling it at the last second. 
Yeah, yeah right. I go the range G Maxter, close, I don't like, know what it is. It's really weird. Right I wonder now, if it has to do because my boss, FPS is so low. Is like it might be just my though? FPS being really low, and that's why right it's like here. interrupting the sound as well. But that's I'm of course sure. in the middle of the room, so yeah. it's got a pretty big hitbox. But yeah, I yep. for bombs you have to run out of range on the back one. The back one is the worst one. The other two are fine. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, my God, five. One. Rubby the end. your HP. I'm watching it. Watching. Hold. I'm stunned. Dude, sometimes I feel like I'm falling off in the front when I use my cat charge. That's how far it uh, moves me. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Oh, sh ah. Why it does the animation twice there are the sound and this one this is gateway five four three two one Mutant. Oh, sorry, I am. Yeah, yeah. Are you can push now. Hmm, I shouldn't pull so my pulse here. Yes, that's what stop means whenever Mentor said full stop. And uh, I was muted. I'm sorry for soft flaming you. Okay, we didn't hear it. <laughs> Four, three. Okay, so which two. one am I so adopting here? Soft flame. Bob, don't go flying. Right, we flying. always, always <laughs> dodge forwards. DC is on our side. Oh shit. Beat the shit. Kick shade. No. 
Hi. It was broken. Idiot. I don't think I. I'm supposed to use everything here. By the way. Are you pressing like, your special Razagath kick button instead no. of your? I think I should only use renewal. Because uh, if I use my health pot and my health stone for the shields, so I'm just not gonna have anything anymore. Maybe it's not good to start with cap totem on CCs. Because then the first cast will almost yeah. always go off. <laughs> Give it back, that's her wire. <laughs> Cavalry, who just steal a wire from me. Kevin, so Rain do first stun and Kevin do third after me. Yeah, just give me yeah, a sure. sec. Do we do that as well on this side? Um, yeah, but we'll wait then. for time to catch up. Other than me, all of the kick can do a tail swipe. Do we and have just... a repair word by any chance? This should have been kicks, right? For you always, Chizix. What? Mm -hmm. You're on the uh, other side. Okay. Thank you, good sir. On, on, like, as we died, oh, Luke, that was stuck with CCs, but before was kicks, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm get confused by Ruby. Don't worry. Yeah, so do this I. is a uh, red side talking. Hello, blue side. Where? That's actually new, not me though. You should split uh, in separate Discord channels in intermission. Let's get teams. Yeah, who's in up. charge of moving us? What, what what is the name of the cast? Well, from no one else. Red boy. No, the first read of red February. Red Stand you think we still need until Shambles. February? Yeah. What the hell? Okay, so I just like died. I'm just looking at my death log and I just don't know what I'm I guess it's not even now. that long. <laughs> it's two weeks. Shattering Shroud okay, is the absorb shield application, yeah? And uh, overload, I don't know what the fuck that is. Blazing roar or something, because everyone Where's on our this side from? died to it, yeah. What the hell? Yeah, no, I'm not talking about your side. One thing at a time. I'm talking about blue side. Overload um, and surge. Oh, that's so are cool! Also, it shows like you. It be... Surge is from the shield oh, of the big of boy, what? and he does that. And then that's when so it gets cool. removed, he gains overload and summons <gasps> a primalist force. And when he overloads, he just still continues to do damage. So yeah, it's basically so it's just, just all it's just passive damage. damage. Yeah, it's all just passive damage from the boy. Um, did we have everything there that we were supposed to have there? I don't think so. I think you're supposed to be topped going into every shield. So no, there's no no fucking shot. Because it's both, it's supposed to be Bob and Robbie ramping, and I'm assuming they just need a couple of posts. To oh, focus. wait, let me check okay. something. Because did, like, did you see that everyone on Twitter was complaining about um, the uh, incentive? Now, um, we should just be what? very liberal with our health on Twitch. Health I haven't looked at my new one. Uh, entering that phase, if we let have them up, just is. use them blue side like right before. Well, it's not actually that bad. Yeah, I can rip them. Why did people? What? Uh, Mine is actually really good. Get the healing absorb. Yeah. Mine is better yeah, than the one I had, had last time. Set, you either use it right before if you're not topped, or you use it hmm. with the shield up just to help get pushed. Weird. Man, these whole, like, I think the admin centers Different are just stuff, so weird. Yeah, no, I don't know. Five, four. Yeah, three, mine is really good. Two, mine is like the same as one. last time. Which was also really good. Like the highest one I had so far was last month, or this current month, actually. The one in December was much lower, which is interesting, because usually December should be the one that is high. Five, four, three, two, one. But I understand that everyone's um, thing is different, obviously. Yeah? You can't have two bombs back to back, I assume, right? Maybe it makes sense for me to always hold my bark skin then if I don't have the first one. In case I get the second one. Because then it's much more likely that I get it. This is a gateway. Five, four, three. Oh shit. Oh, oh my one. God. Oh, deals me, I made it. Uh, sparks in fucking no! Africa. No! Oh, we have to go with that. No! Man, I wasn't in gauge range because I was like drifting side to the side. Yeah. Yeah, same. 
I don't know why mine didn't want to help. Oh, the solo fears. It's doable. Well, that's just stupid. I think I was just not uh, all the way in the middle. I have to make sure, like when I use the gate, which I don't blows. have to even use the gate here either. Thick cheeks were I just in the way. want to Game use this. During the break. <laughs> Tried to grab the gateway, grabbed your cheeks instead. Uh, I didn't die from that, you? no, I just ran into a, I hovered into a lightning thing that stunned So either I just don't use the gate here, or I need to make sure that I'm in the I middle. I got an advertisement for some way today, and I mean, I guess I'm it just works, you know, what sure can I'm I say, marketing? Missing it. Because it looked like I was Sounds fine, and the then brain, I yeah. somehow was too far to get it. just inhales them, man. It's also kind of hard to see if you are in the middle of the boss. Oh, because the hitbox of, of the boss is so big. Eat your food. Block DPS? Oh, you don't want to see how much DPS I'm doing. I'm doing absolutely nothing. Greens. It's very sad. Well, I honestly well, don't even know how you do that. But yeah, it's very sad. Basket, I do like no damage. Cooked fish. Yeah, some other assorted meats. Looks like some potatoes and carrots. So I did put uh, a lot of fish mm. in there. We got a prismatic leaper and uh, fish sticks. Load up the plate. Uh, <laughs> Load up the plate. Oh, and you're supposed you to also reset details all the time after every pull. Where's the muffins? I, I forgot about that. that. You you're supposed to relock every hour and reset mm, details every pull no, to help you FPS, yes, apparently. Five. Four. Yeah, what? Put the frog in there, Wait, we have on the guild. Mm. We, we. No way. That's why they don't exist. I thought this guild was we just Brits in preheat. No, so you mean just Irish in preheat, right? Oi! <laughs> Oi, man! Oi! <laughs> Oi, Rob! Okay, so I'm not gonna use my bar skin here. Isn't she beautiful? Dodge, dodge, Franco. I'll come to them. Yeah. I'm scary. Isn't she beautiful? With a lad. And you're having a fight as well. No, I don't drink. That's the only thing that doesn't mm, okay, make I didn't me. Yeah, I get it this time either. Brit. So I guess I'll yeah. just use Spark skin British anyway British. now. Also, your nationality. Hello, yeah, British. British. No, I am from Britain. Come on, bro. <laughs> Britain. Can't you see? Can't you see? Yorkshire accent. <laughs> yeah, shut up, Britain. <laughs> Okay, this is where I have to be this in the gate. Gateway. I'm in gateway. Oh, she's still okay, this time I'll make it. I'll make it. Five, four, three. <laughs> I said it and I fucking one. didn't click it. Oh my god. Born and raised. No! Why fucking dragon? Die, Why am I dying? Well, I did oh, click it, but no. not early enough. We're yeah. never gonna recover yeah. from that. Oh, we're Financially. Jumping. Or mentally. <laughs> I hate it because with my MS, I have to spam the button like before I'm there or else mm -hmm. I'm just cooked. If I press it. Through first in the mission, I'm I feel Boomy's got a good ramp up. Uh, I mean, the thing uh, is, the damage in the first phase is vast, vastly, vastly irrelevant vast anyway. Because so you're. Just... It's a percentage based push. Oh, that's a really push. good idea. I'm going to do that. And real quick. most of the time, you're stopping damage a little bit. So. Uh, the, it's like. The phase one damage is actually pretty relevant. But I don't think Munkin is great in this fight anyway. In fact, I think Munkin da damage ones is probably a bit bad. Um, I think Munkins are generally here for their utility. <laughs> Honestly? Because, I don't know. Oh yes, this so is going to be much better, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think so as well so for months. <laughs> it's Ooh, honestly just really bad. Who is it? <laughs> and the that's actually... Yeah, is these tr this D3 drinking the whiskey. from the the alcohol tray? The tap. No, I was going to go oh, drink at break, but I had a shower instead, which are extremely <laughs> interchangeable activities. There is just what kind of no beer is uh, forced? I can. Honestly, no, is it like a, is it considered a lager minutes. or something? 
and put something in the yeah, oven as well. So what is the English name for it? No, it's actually very long. Nah, what you don't understand is the whole like, process. Five. He's already naked. Four. Just easy access. Three, you don't need a jump. fucking Two, SWAT one. team to help you shower ready. I do. Oh, oh does Bob die? <laughs> <laughs> Why did we pull? Are we My just gonna ramp? die now because he didn't ramp? Does that affect your ramp? Yes. Oh, pull it. Jump off. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, me there. I'm so scared to die now. My fucking cannons, bro. Five. My fucking cannons. <laughs> <laughs> Hate it. Oh, I'm fine. The gateway lab. Oh, this is the gateway. Score I won't fail it. USA. Five, four, three. Two, I did it. One. Oh yes, this is a quite nice. I agree. Oh! I have to use it. Should the, the person with it die? That's not quite nice. Quite. It's less nice, isn't it? Hey, we got never, never got top just, there. Just, just wipe, just wipe, just wipe. It, did yeah, the per something or was something did the person the with it place? die and that's why yeah, did early damage? Not looking at them. Or was it, did it actually just run out? Because I had renewal, but I thought it wouldn't go off for like another really? second or like half a second or so. Uh, rewind didn't go off. Five, four, three, uh, rewind. two, but be that big. one. <laughs> what happens if the person with it dies? Does it go off? Yep. Yeah. Did that happen this time or no? Because I, I thought so. the damage came a bit uh, earlier, right? I mean, you only managed to get. You got hit for 130k on the first one, so. Might have, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Um, the first death was too bold, no, that... anyway. It was uh, the and three it fall of AoEs. And I looked at, I, I felt like I looked at the timer and it went you off early because I wanted to hold on to my renewal yeah. in case so I get an, another heal. Well, everybody was pretty low. But then we just do? died. So I'm not sure if not I just enough. like looked at it wrong. Wait an hour hour raid time. <laughs> or uh, if the, the quick on, is wrong. <laughs> or if oh, oh, yeah. my eyes are wrong. <laughs> Oh, it was Darren. Either way, I just felt like the damage was supposed to happen a bit later. Where I'm supposed to be. can break your fucking yaw, Susan. Oi, Darren, shut down the fucking net. Break your yaw. Break your yaw. Break your fucking yaw, mate. Break your what? Shut up, Sabla. Break your yaw. Shut the hell up. No, it's fucking yaw. You guys are the worst. <laughs> Pitch looking oh. lovely today, lads. Wearing that with a badge of pride. <laughs> Just a bit of banter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Deep check. Deep check. <laughs> Any silver smashers? Please no ninja pull the boss. So that Five, confused me because four. Oh, that three, used to confuse me because my like sub message one. is the stash drip check noise. But I've got you. I've got used to like the volume difference between the two, so now I can tell the difference. That's, That's rough, very buddy. Cool. I thought you changed the sub message to auction. Oh, no, no, they're speaking your real notes. They show you. They show you the drawing they made. That's hey, Jack, cool. Thank you so much for twenty six. <laughs> I do. I think I actually. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Five. Oh my god, for a second I thought the breath Ramp. actually hit there. Yeah. We're supposed to start going and see it in phase 3, not like a, full, a few pulls into intermission 1. No, it's just a bit of banter, this is just a normal thing, dude. You have no idea how much worse it can get. <laughs> I swear. 
I'm gonna break my monitor. Listen, you guys can be whatever nationality you want if it gets us to the information. Get racing. Oh, Are these stuns. Why would you want to be Hungarian? I don't know. Break his monitor. I've never done that before. You got something I mean, like Hungarian? Five, yeah, sure four, three, okay. two, one. Not wrong. Very true. One more. Ah! Uh, just wipe. Uh, we need to those those sparks, those, those sparks always feel scary as well. I don't know. I feel like if it's me, then other people should have it as well. If that that one feels scary, I don't know. No, we just learn how to live a lot better than you. Can you turn on guild repairs in the Alliance Guild? Well, this time a healer was dead, right? So... <laughs> I'm losing money here. Five. One stun bird. That's how your character wants to get the bow. Fucking MD like guild, it, But it's, it feels like RNG if we're top there or not. So like... <laughs> Robbie? No, it's because no, of the rewinds. I don't doing... understand healing, so that's why I'm asking. No, it's because the locus to the half rewinds, right? So like damage doing half is the opposite much. of damage. No, I mean, there used to be nothing there. We added that rewind. I think uh, the RNG so used to just be, be... tends to be if a healer gets bombed, but I don't think it was the case. Okay. I mean, I was piss chilling, but I don't have any healing there because my ramp is on the next event. So. I can. I'll do some stuff. <clears throat> hmm. I can't believe you didn't cast a single Shadow Man. You can't just heal us by fucking doing damage, bomb. Shadow Man, bro, it's not even in the game. Yeah, it's not in the game anymore, though. So. <laughs> Flash heal then. I did do a lot of flash. Look, look at that power shield. Huh. Yes, unfortunately we are. I hey, complained about it already at the start, but I was ignored. Yes, sir. Oh my god. I was completely Stadia ignored. Unfortunately. I'm playing, uh, I'm playing absolute corruption for the sparks. <laughs> I'm sitting no, on my just, cooldowns on the sparks. I was just teams. looking at the damage meter and I was thinking, man, Bob's getting really close to tank stuff in here. I'm now He's almost doing more damage to the sparks than the boss. <laughs> Halo. 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 Yeah, Quite on that one. Halo. On that one, if you are not sure if you can uh, live it, help out. No matter what. Yeah. Alright. No more devs allowed there now. Help potion. Yep. Oh, dilate me. Five. I, oh, I did. Dilate him, daddy. Dilate me, daddy. One. What? Yep. Yep. Like that was really bad. That can't happen again. <laughs> <laughs> show, show him the yellow card. Tell that, was, that was fucking all. That was uncalled for. There's no reason for it. That was vile. <laughs> an, an unprovoked attack on my senses. Five. Four. Three. Oh, I'm, I should have just called the other side. Twice. This is just so bad. I'm gonna have to walk all the way back. Is there any, is there any other appropriate reaction? I can hear my son crying in the other room. That Hello. was just really bad. No. Oh, I need just no, no shot. No, my no bro. <laughs> my dice to the back, That's a threat, red. Oh, oh, we don't need that. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I can't reset my brain when we wipe this one. Mios, Mios. We are not wiped. Everyone is alive. Gateway, gateway, gateway. Five, four, three. Two, I'm scroll wheeling up through one. the gateway and it just doesn't work. Okay, cool. Why am I not hitting any frogs? I didn't fall off. That's just, just super far in the back. Pop ready, please, before I go. I get time to lead you. Help put if you're low here. Uh. Put my hand on. Just keep going, keep going. The full term is dive it. Oh. 
Five, four, three, two, one. This is where I go, bear. Oh. There is stuff in China. Yeah, I got <laughs> left, and I've had so many of these, I have no movement left. That's fine. We're still we're still live. We live, baby. And it should stay on the platform down. How many of those am I gonna get? What is going on? Oh. Okay, we do need to hit the boss with our spells. Hitting the bus with my spells. Doing that, sir. Saving bunch of barbs. Five, four, three, two, <gasps> one. No! What happened? I'm so. <laughs> front, in front, in front, in front. Okay, this was the narrow anniversary. Did the boss move while he was doing the pushback? Wait, punch. No, never mind. Just like. Is that what happened? I know we have DPS out there, but that shouldn't like change anything, right? Like, did they move the boss closer to oh. the middle as the pushback was going on? <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh no, my I mean, god! All the, all the shit that was happening to me didn't cause. Maybe I didn't I cause anything. Uh, just, but just all the other times it works. For myself in the spellers. So now I'm confused. Because this is the time where we move the boss into the middle to just sparks in the middle. I guess I Can should I just not to use cat form charge then? Both directions. But the other times I didn't Maybe work. Uh, so I'm not confused. Game can't handle your speed. I was scrolling while I literally slid through the fucking Maybe I have to use their form happened. charge on this one. Shocked. Bl blame the MS. Oh, it's definitely Don't you MS. Have the toy? Yeah. yeah, I'm using the toy. <laughs> I was literally scroll wheeling the toy oh, as I slid through the yeah. gateway. <laughs> My first one, Americans. The, but the bus, the bus didn't actually move, though. Yeah. I stayed on the platform, though, so it's all good. I just had to blow every movement ability, and then I got. Was it because the bus times. wasn't facing the middle? Preach, Not a good combination. Reach. Yeah, but like, like I said, it shouldn't Reach. have. Obviously, we had deaths, right? But we shouldn't have. I'm very had that confused. burst of deaths at the end there. Like my cat just like moves to the side. I am so confused. I was trying something. Cat so stop. Lost, I'm just walk right now with the reduced pushback. Because like if I, gate, I don't I'm know. too far forward, if I don't, I'm too far back. So I was just trying gate to see if it was better, but I have to. Just yeah, I guess it was because. Run. But the. Uh, I can just risk risk you. Doesn't the boss no, 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 usually no. face? The you know, you'll be a bit. This bad. direction. Like, this is the first time I this know, happened. The center, right? That's the thing. Like, I and I like the cat, uh, the if cat I, if I just get jump it, because like, it's better. I'm or it like puts you further into if the middle. I take the gate, I'm quite far forward. If yeah, I figure out what caused it, then I just won't do it if this happens. You're it must have something to do with the face. Let's try that. Like the direction the boss you. is facing. Okay. I just look at too. I don't. I think. My life is in literally everyone's hands. Yeah, me and Jessica were just talking about this, and my last words were, I'll probably fuck this up. <laughs> Maybe it's because the boss is like facing this, diagonally for, for like towards us. I, uh, I have scroll wheel so I was like jumping behind. And I don't know. Oh. Of I'm gonna pay attention oh, to really where cool. the boss Probably usually faces. Uh, no this try. Then again. Because this is like, this is literally the first time this happened. Hey, yeah. 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 All the other times it worked just yeah. fine. It's a good now ready. Right. But what else? <laughs> What's going Helping on? a brother out in chat, yeah. Staying, staying in this now. <laughs> staying in the group. We need to move the up after, after a couple of drinks, my boss, uh, Two, my one. body can't react to the boss moving that slowly. Okay, then we should stop drinking. Let <laughs> me stop getting drunk for Stop moving the boss. <laughs> okay, so usually the boss faces uh, the front. Okay, so I have to remember this. I cannot use cat form charge when the boss moves 
Like, like looks our direction. I guess I just never notice that they do that sometimes. Maybe they only do it at this one time where we move the boss into the middle. Because yeah, now the bus faces away and then it's fine. Roger. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. We got so low, Kevin, and you were at 90% Monka Shake. Okay, so this time it's fine again. I trust this time we are good. Okay. Alright, so. <laughs> I get it, I get Five, it. Four, three, two, one. Oh my. So this one I'm not fine. Actually... I am... Um, stupid. <laughs> no! <laughs> I was... I was just brain lagging on that one. Taking it during bombs, you opposite psychopath. I thought I have a gateway on this one. <laughs> I was like, oh, Pretty I'm sure. not fine. So I have to gateway and then I charge. And then I realized it's not the this one the where I gateway. Yep. <laughs> oh man. Four, three, two, one. I missed it. Hey, Bob. Far back. Wait, just stop on both. Stop. Stop. Yeah, I'm going to stop. No, we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard stop, hard stop, hard stop. We, we just always stop at 66. I think whenever we stop, I should still put my dots up just because. Uh, yeah, hit it. Hit it. Send it. Susan it. I can literally do no damage if my dots aren't up. Hey, Rain, your stun is first now, yeah? If it gets stuns. Yep. No, my god. I'm gonna break my fucking jaw. No, so you take first kick on purple. So I don't That's know how you're dead. supposed to, to dot Four. this at. Oh, right. Like, I tried dotting it and I didn't work last time. One. Uh, just mark it. Oh, that I guess I have to move further shot. before we get knocked. I have to mm. move further to the right. So I can hit it. Three's enough. Six, six. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, we're oh, not. No. Everyone died to the beam. <laughs> oh, that's what happened. <laughs> I, I don't think it's the end of the world if you dodge the other way on that one. No, it is. It isn't. I mean, <laughs> it, it really, I mean, okay, I mean, At least you called it, you're not fine. <laughs> that is true. Uh, yeah, it's literally maybe, zero maybe points. You have time I don't to understand kick, why, time to at the very the end, it does this weird thing, though. Like, yeah, when you get I'm, knocked I mean, off the platform... You can, but I also don't know why they... Your character, like, jumps a little bit? Like, why? I don't know. On Echo, they ran the other way I don't know what that is reason, about. Just been in the moment. And I think it animation Echo locks you. No, I was watching... Like, your character uh, doesn't just fall off. Your character, like... Like, the other, like, away. Like, does a little jump? I don't know if it really matters. It always prevents me from using yeah. my my disengage. Yeah, sir, is also right. I don't know why. I didn't realize I was first on CC now. Or I don't know how it works. You get the bomb as ranged as well. Yeah. Can you not be like where we're running? Can you like either go like close to um, like, Did we just not heal the, the blue thing? And to, to be fair, look at being in a path. Yeah, I did say like you're first on interrupt. That's not interrupt. No, I'm second on CC. CC CC is what I meant. I don't understand anything you say to me anyway. But... Bad guy yeah, production, thank you so much for the Ah, I took yours anyway, because you had the bomb, so... What? I'm talking about intermission. So. Yeah, I know, on the first CC, I'm normally after you, 
I said, you're first, I'm second. But I saw you had the bomb, so I said, I'll take the CC. <laughs> so that's an example <laughs> of yeah, the frames I were never that sparks on. The thing is, it doesn't really matter if I'm FPS I feel like during that time because I'm just gonna cast Typhoon into Inca Brewer and then I go back into Moon. So it's like three globals, and at that point it doesn't really matter if I see anything or if I'm lagging. So I guess not that big of a deal. Okay, you're doing the CC on the first. Yeah, is your okay? Is your is your thing a stun or a disorientate? A knock-up. Hmm. A knock-up? Oof. What the fuck? Does that count this? Yeah, we got that's a, that's a tail swipe. Oh, I'm Susan. And knock-ups aren't reduced by tenacity, unfortunately. I'm gonna fucking batter you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> not the best way so hard to drain it for three hours. Let's go. Can we have a repair bot? <laughs> First thing, GM and raid leader toe grinder. Uh, I f don't know if it's always going to be the case, by the way, but here's just like the the way it was on the right side Xero POV. I think it's just a shorter distance to actually run the other direction. Uh, uh, like I'm not saying we have we should per se, because I think just kicking is fine as well. But I think that might be the reason they were doing it. In this, it was the shorter distance. Do you mean a shorter distance relative to what the breath? Uh, the breath, yeah. yeah so breath. I did like just definitely, right? the definitely, right? Then, then and then the some guy on Twitter wrote, I wouldn't yeah. want to be interviewed but by this woman because, because there, sh there shouldn't be a difference, or at worst, there sh it should be on the other so side. So I clicked on his profile, see for us how it was, follows me, obviously. If there is a difference, then the breath is being incorrectly, and then the first thing he reaches is an anti vex. There must be someone in between me and the ads baiting that one. <laughs> no, Weird. but like we're playing closer now. I think we do just have to play far. How unexpected. Or we play no, 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 no. No, no she but... is standing in between. That's why we get such a shit break. How unexpected. Noxie! <laughs> so they were both kind of close what? there though. No, no, no. Oh, look, right. look in raiding. Uh, raid stuff. Look at this. I review. My feet That's why we get a bad bait. Right, My everyone, ex everyone except Toe Grinder and all That he asked a really good question. Thank you. I actually asked some other M Plus players uh, to see what kind of questions they had. Talked up and then nice I just kind of combined close. all of the questions together. So feel the warmth of the um, The problem so is, I, I do think the questions that I asked were maybe a little bit too... Um, uh, so outside of the yeah, like ambitious? Ring circle. Otherwise you're the thing is, maybe do a bad bait. Considering the time we are currently, or, or in, like, like it's exactly. right now we are yeah. in between so the first the and the second yeah, patch, the go, but it's still quite like a long time until we get the second line, patch, right? It's be fine. If you're like we don't know behind, what rage it is, what theme it is, we basically know yeah, nothing about the second patch. Well, so on you and have a bomb explode I feel like it's pretty obvious. Some shit. In like, hindsight, it's pretty obvious that they're not gonna adjust your longitude, not your latitude. That's right. That they wouldn't have announced anything in an interview like that, right? So I feel like the questions that I've asked. A female human and accidentally walked on the thing and got meal parmen. It was kind of obvious that he wouldn't answer the questions properly. Oh, wait, turn Or that we wouldn't get any like super meaningful information out of these questions. I don't like what's going on with that. So maybe I should have asked some easier questions. like an extra mechanic now, because I need to. You know what I mean? I see you. Double kill. But I'm chopping healing. I'm gonna break the other side. So that's the only thing that I was thinking about, because before I did the interview, I was thinking. I should ask like more interesting questions because sometimes I see other interviews and I feel like they ask very like yeah it's just obvious questions are very like blah 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 you know there aren't like super in depth questions so I was thinking oh I should just ask like very hard hitting questions and see what they say about it but then in hindsight I figured okay if you ask a very detailed hard hitting question then they're in the end just gonna be like. Like dodging the question, you know what I mean? How big is the shield? Or they're just gonna give you like a non-answer, and I feel like that's mostly what happened. Twenty-six k. Okay, perfect. I feel like most of the answers were basically just non-answers. I've gained another tool to break down. Some of it was very, like some some of the things were very nice, um, and made a lot of sense. But then other things were just like, yeah, we're gonna consider the feedback and we're gonna like think about it, you know, which is like. Hundred nineteen k. So yeah, that's gonna kill the shit out of it.
Which is basically, yeah. <laughs> Wait, so I just need to be in the middle and press. I think it went well. Yeah, man. If you can Could break have been all better. the next step. I mean, we stopped damage in this phase anyway, so yeah. Did he compliment you on your excellent English? And you still he did the not, in it. fact. The faster we break, Wait, those, the better. He, he thought he had already uh, done an interview with me. I think he like mixed me up with some other if person. I'm, like coming back from that. I don't know who. Position, I'm late. Because at the very start, I can just break. He was my like, "Hey, uh, this. it's such a long time that we met. It must have been like before Tassavesh or something." And I'm like, mm. like I didn't want to like correct him because I figured Five, you know whatever. Four, so I was just like, three, "Yeah, it's two, a long time ago." Three. I was like, "Oh yeah, it was such a long time ago." <laughs> but I obviously didn't. I never did a deaf interview before. And I never talked to Matt Villers before. <laughs> so I'm not sure who he mixed me up with, but, <laughs> but yeah, that that, that happened. <laughs> Three, two, one. But yeah, I just pretended that the we knew each other. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I remember you. We're besties. We go way back. <laughs> oh, I got. There you. I got sacrifice. That's convenient. Don't go, so. Sorry, Bob. I was scared. Ooh, it was time to give you. Five, four, three, two, one. Did he you know, by the way? This, some people don't know this. Am I nuts? We love those baits. Mega bait. Did you know if you proc your full star with a star weaver them. proc, then it doesn't consume the star weaver proc? This is not something you can necessarily like play around a lot. But you can play around it. So if you have a like a free star search proc from Star Weaver, Five, four, then you should proc three, your two, full star with a one. star search. Because then it won't get consumed. Front left, you know. Back. Oh, in the middle. Jesus. Oh. We're just fucking dead, aren't we? Yeah, just die. Yeah, but... Wait, why are we dead? Oh, oh. we have a debuff. Yeah, who's spawned in there? there. Okay. Maybe, um... Boom. Yeah, you, need, you just need to save, and that happens. <laughs> like, I can get it, I just, but I need to know it's there. Yeah, I think it. Okay. Earlier, <laughs> that it's gonna be a bad one. Well, like as you're running in, that way we can. Yeah, like, I guess you're right, Zebel. Yeah. Go, I mean, it like, makes sense that they wouldn't too. reveal it's... anything like super special in I an just, interview like, like that. <laughs> you're Zebel, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Big deal. Are you still uh, using dust on every pole, or. <laughs> no. Oh, it feels oh, okay. bad. Yeah. I just didn't want to sit and double up on it. No, yeah, because I think because D three is. I'm only dusting oh, it. I yeah. notice it. Oh, you crack on Jizix. Huh? You keep press dust. Good. Yeah, every ball. Yeah, I got a week or so that it will tell me to dust if I need to dust. Yeah, so I'm just kind of. Yeah, I mean, does uh... your Lelio, does your ship break a Insta? Yeah, it's a backup dust. Uh, I can yes, but it's only for <clears throat> um. No, two ways, Did any of the plus, any of the other plus players watch the interview? I want to do a react to react to react thing. Yeah, that's that pretty sick. That. And it looks good on the meters too. Congratulations, you found ethical pad tomorrow. <laughs> Reactception. Four, three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god, that proc. Five. Three. Two. One. Oh my, ah, uh, that's a breath. Very good. Got a bit scared. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sir. This one's gateway. Five, four, three, two, one. That's a lot of swirlies on the ground. Mentor! Where is he? He's so far away. Yes. He's too far. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is where I cannot use my cat thing and can't use my gates. Acid bear charge. <laughs> I'm doing it this time, I swear. Oh. Ah, uh, we go. That was a lot better. I yeah. perished. I <laughs> did not do the cat thing. thing and I didn't fall off, guys. Are you proud? Probably gonna go this farm. Probably gonna go this farm. Oh, we're alive. Robbie. Oh. That's the next level pad, Robbie. I respect it. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I was so sorry. Well, well, like, it's fun. rewind time, baby. Yeah, no, I had not like rewind. It's more than time. Very scared. Get away, and then... I uh, scuff sparks. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. I have... I have been stunned. On the side. Oh my god, please. Ah! No! Ah, oh, come uh, yeah, on. Just keep going. Uh, you need to keep hitting the boss. Just keep keep going, keep going. Just stop it all. Nope. Blew it! I made it. <laughs> you can jump in the spikes, yeah? Waiting for the rest to appear. Let's go, D3. This is our time to shine. But I, I didn't call for an external there, because I half potted right before it went off and just died from the health. Oh, nay. Well, good, isn't it? I, yeah, I think I should just call for an external if I get that one, because Faint is on cooldown and I use Cloak to dodge the thing, so... It just killed me through cheat death. Yeah, I really wish Faint was just the pure energy cost back again and not the cooldown. Wait, where the fuck am I? I just summon. It's one me on the wrong platform. <laughs> just talk to the dragon. Yeah, but what what we do? <laughs> Yeah, since we just talked about the Templars, I'm gonna, you know, bump the thread again. We'll see what happens with the rest of the Templars. Maybe they'll arrive eventually.
Also, I hate that the week there are resets. <laughs> My brain just could not handle which step I'm on. Maybe I should do, I should do the hourly logout, by the way. Maybe it really does help. Someone said that you should log out every hour to reduce the lag. I don't know if it's a thing. Then but I believe in it. Five, four, three, two, one. Why are you so mean one. to me, though? He's on the There's points, a, mate. He's got no sympathy for running. He says that to everyone. <laughs> That's why I've got a lot of you. <laughs> Cunts. Oh, right, oh nay. Oh, oh, this no. breath is just so far to the side, I don't like it. Oh, no, oh, no, I know, but I. There's only, like, one combination of all three players that can result in getting front right. That look at that beauty. Look at that. What a beauty. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> You're wrong. Shut up, Robbie. Why did I beat a shot? You focus up. Get with him. Five. It's fucking Three. Two, one. Man, this time that gateway didn't really help me out, did it? Uh, external? You were dilated. <laughs> yeah, mate. I crashed out, so I'm fuck you, game. But also fuck Robbie DN. What? Robbie fucking DN. Skipped breath, okay. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, wait, fuck. Man, I can't believe my two piece just ran out. That's insane. Am I fine? Oh dead. my god. I didn't want to use cat charge because uh, the bus is facing us. <laughs> Ooh, that does sound like a good idea. I was about to say, how can you call that early? You're that dead might be very being, beneficial. You can, you can just instead of raiding four idea. hours in the evening, you no, can just raid, uh, like one hour across several, like across the, the whole day. Time. So you just meet at ten a.m. in the morning, raid for an hour, then log out, <laughs> shut off the internet, <laughs> take a two-hour nap, well, more than have some fight, lunch, though. take another one-hour nap. Then meet again at 2 p.m. Yeah. Watch an, uh, raid another hour. Whenever it's like you're in rinse like repeat. Coming down the back, I feel like that's, that that would be the most efficient right, way of raiding. Slightly left or right, directly on top. So of you. you have forgotten everything you have learned in the first hour. Hate that. Whenever you start the second hour. Don't, don't like dragons. <laughs> Terrible feeling. Why am I getting recycled spammed? No, dude. Very toxic. Why not? One more and I remove them. <laughs> I hate my officers. <laughs> them. Abuse of power. Alright, this is intermission drive. This is like we're just invent infinite content. Five, four, <laughs> oh, yeah. three, two, one.
Man, Five, I hate it when the breath is on the side. Three, two, one. I'm just gonna stack up with this one. Pain, okay. It's good bait. Like, did someone just roar? Wait, that was me! Huh? Wait. Did I not roar? No, it wasn't me, right? It was Light Bloom. Well, that means we don't have a roar now. Get gateway. Maybe Almost. it doesn't matter. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Root frontal. Oh my god. I'm dead. Okay, somehow that beam did not hit me. I used everything because I was sure this is gonna hit me. <laughs> but somehow I did it. Last gateway. Five, four, three, two. One. Why is that four back kind of? Stop on boss. Everyone. Well, this last time we should kind of tuck where we did in later phases. Okay, start heading. Hmm. Please stop. This yeah. is fine, yeah? Like, surely... No, like, I won't no. have my two minutes for first. Minute. Me, okay, Zaxi. Like, if it's if it's wrong, like, you just say after the pull, okay? Like, I do not want split calls there. Fine, sure. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Okay, baby, you're one. so cute. <laughs> no, it's fine. Susan is up. Brent is here. Is on us. Move forwards and kicks. Owie! Yeah, yeah. kicks uh, here. Just live, live for as long as possible on left side. To that right side, see. What does have to die fast here? Like the ruiner has to die fast now. Yeah, they need to die. Uh, we have a lot of cards here. Yeah. Just wait a breath before we <laughs> go on this one. Yeah, can we go back? Because it's the search thing that so, does a shit ton of damage, no? If so, I, know, I, you. I, I know you said early on, just give it like some number of pulls to let the healers figure it out. But I think like I've died on the shield, like literally is every single pull. Issue, like this damage is a Idiot. lot. Like is this a healing thing? It does not feel like I, this. I mean, we have two like, so... that, right? When I, whenever like we're dying right. at the end, no. But like whenever the first four people die. Yeah, but we're dying to the direct damage of the abilities. Like we're just getting nearly global. Isn't isn't surging blast what we're kicking? Oh, is that normal? No, surging blast. No. I think it's from the big man. No, I silenced There's... the jewels on pretty much as they <laughs> spawned, and so basically zero casts went out there for mm. okay. 
quite I a just, while. Just, so that is like the uh, lowest damage first. The damage is there. the storm bolt. That's the cast. Typhoon so is like, usually better because people's breakdown. They're just dying to pulsing damage. It's not really uh Well, it's not really <laughs> when a, you well, interrupt them like the breath, but like, I or see them or whatever, damage. then it yeah, will spawn yeah, another ad that might not be in the same Three location kicks. as the previous I don't one. Know if that's like a, a so if you ball. in cap roar first, they might but, like you yeah, interrupt what, them all and they re I mean get is, removed. Um, and then the second set the of ads spawns and stuff. they might be spawning in a different location but, where your typhoon doesn't hit them anymore because your in cap roar is an AOE around you, but your typhoon is a frontal cone. You guys died right. breath, so. Uh, so you would sure. just rather use the frontal cone so first because you you you're sure you're that you're going to hit it at the start on as many as possible, right? Because you see where the uh, players are standing. The, I'm going to pre immune the, um, the healing debuff. I'm not sure, but I didn't realize you had the circle too. Because it might be super value to like uh, pop your ice block if you have that debuff that's going to pop on you because like right as the cast is going off. I, 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 I usually yeah. don't have it. Uh, I can. Oh, Pro gotcha. I, might I mean, depending on... I, 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 can I mean, we still, right. I think we still have a healing issue, but I'm just saying for, like, early prog on it, it might be good. I think I'm going to just use Emerald Communion a bit earlier. I, mean, I fucked up the timings. Maybe, like, one second earlier. We're supposed to kill the Ruiner first, right? Um, we kill Susan first. That is the Zealot. Are you sure? Because the Ruiner is just, like, pulsing a weed damage, yeah? And as long as the uh, uh, sealer dies before he casts a second spell, it's fine, no? Um, so the POVs I've seen focus the Zealot, but I don't know if that's like a mage thing, where they have like the mage go in the Zealot. Because oh, yeah, I'm that's probably a mage thing. Okay. I'm looking at Echo's kill, and they die at like the same time, and Jinji is focusing the Zealot. So I'm guessing that you guys are hitting the... You guys hit the Ruiner, and I, got, I hit the Zealot, or something okay. like that. Maybe, yeah. I just see in my right. death log that the runer is just a pulsing away the whole time. Yeah, we'll try that. Um, yeah, the, we need the, to adjust more people onto Susan, I will hit them. The rune is pulsing away and they like damage both everything around the right. So, yeah, it, it yeah. Does make sense yeah. to. But, but, but right now we are also dying before we would. Yeah. Like the runer would be dead anyway. Um, yeah, that is true. I guess I'll call for externals again. If that's an issue. Try to do the same as this one, yeah. Like if I, you don't have anything big, go for next turn. I recommend going in your plater and making that rune there a different color from everything else too. Different from Susan as well. Yeah, and you that's can start a good point. Just we get the absorb, nice. It's called yeah. surging ruiner, yes. Yep. Okay. Ooh, do I color it white, ghost white, or priest colored? Priest colored is the most dead one, right? So... We wanted purple, or did we want something else? Maybe, t maybe no. I think purple is fine. Actually, I wanted pink. Paladin pink. No, Susan is not Rasagat. Susan is the mythic only at. <laughs> because it's called a sealet, I guess? That's what it calls? I, I don't, actually have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Why they would call it Susan? I don't get it. <laughs> the name of the mob is uh, Frostforge Sealet. And the other one is called the red one. What is it called? Flamesworn Herald. Right. So More I guess they like call that, it though. Herald and Five, Susan. Four, three, Let me die two, to the one. first set of bombs in the intermission instead of something in this case. Three, two, one. I'm gonna tuck on the right side. Staying out of it. Push. Oh, I've got more space. Oh, I charged way too early on that one. This doesn't really matter.
gateway. First one. Five, four, three, two, one. That's going pretty far in the back. Yeah, that's far in the back. Good call. <laughs> Yeah, there was something uh, missing, I guess. This guy. I'm um, guessing our bombs. Double on this pool. Oh. No, that was my bad, I trolled. Call it Harry? Yeah, Harry and Susan. <laughs> I'm gonna break my Ruby. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> just actually losing it. <laughs> okay. It doesn't work out with small, but the others work. Four, out. three, what? two, okay. one. I just keep on falling. Yeah. Like... <laughs> do you, do you get ported up? I don't think you get ported up, do you? I think, uh, by the way, I think Star Weaver yeah, is we horrible in intermission. I guess like, we just try and tuck there or something. I'm not really sure how to it's, communicate. I, I, it feels really bad. We're in a situation that we should be tucking, but we can't like tuck. But there, I also think the damage in the small ones maybe it doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, everyone was dying, and I just. I, I mean, definitely there. matters. I didn't know it's back instead of but I'm not sure like how much damage you need. Wait, was there a Robbie Dion in the raid? Because if yeah. I actually like really nuke okay, them. Okay, never mind. Wait. No, 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 not in the raid. I, was, <laughs> I went to the right. <laughs> I went to the right and killed Zaxi. And myself. Oh, but again, that's like, funny. yes, we're losing, like, and Kibit. we're losing four people on that one. The rest of the five, you're well, supposed to help I think generally Star Weaver is nice for movement, we got one but for the shape shifting, it's really not that nice. I used uh, 30% DR and so Because the thing still. is, yeah, yeah you're, you're moving not. a lot in this fight, but you're also like shape shifting a lot. And I think for the shape shifting, the Star Weaver is actually worse because you need to cast more globals. None of you. Uh, with Star Weaver to make use of it. So if I have less in, globals available because I'm constantly shapeshifting, then I might not no, be able to not. use all of my Star Weaver props okay. properly, you know? I mean, like, so I'm not sure if, um, sure. I'm not sure if yeah, it's really got, worth it to play Star well. Weaver. It's uh, been a consistent isn't, isn't that going to make it so we can't health pot in phase two, though, for I, the shields? Isn't it just to look at your health bar angle, like, unironically? Yeah, like it's, I mean, Let's yeah, play yeah, Star yeah, Weaver, but see what happens. Yeah, yeah, but I, I just mean uh, if it helps people remember that that's one that you could possibly help put on. I'm not saying like you should. I mean, I mean you, you're going to have a health pot back, yeah, for oh, well, five minutes. I, I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> Maybe you won't. Yeah. But, uh, you will not have it back on until P2. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, because yeah, I feel like. I mean, if we just if like we have to use it there, then that's I've, fine. But I feel like using the health. A few pot times with the, when, I, like, on the second pushback, like, kind of I'm not cool going bare form. Like, I'm just using. Um, Especially since we're like gateway. hard stuck in that. And then that one, Star Reaver was nice. I mean, there's oh. other situations. But it also gives me well, random pulsar windows instead of consistent pulsar windows. And we should put it in the note, and all 20 people should help out. I know. I'm just saying, like, having it there. It was worth a try, though. But that's the scary one, I guess. People don't have it doesn't really matter because I can reference. switch back and forth anyway. Like so after after we do the intermission properly, I can just switch back oh, to Star Weaver if I feel like it. it's better in the second phase. Five, but for now, four, phase one damage really three, doesn't matter two, one. at all. And intermission, it's better to have... Rattle, right? So I guess it just makes sense to go rattle for now, and then afterwards I can still change it if I want to start a reaver for phase two. Two, one. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> if you, if you need to, uh, uh, like that, it's, it's fine. Nothing. Yeah, that was a yeah, good adjust. Good adjustment, team. Five, four, three, Hello? two, one. Oh. 
My gate trolling me. I'm super far back, super far back in the middle. Feels fine. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh okay. shit. One far right. Nice. Uh oh, I just used wild charge. Do we have something for me here? Um, to find something. Got grip? Yeah, I need, I need to know that that's what you want, right? I don't remember oh. the I mean, uh, I, we'll I figured it was we'll obvious. Rest for you, do you? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like the pot taking a turn bombs. <laughs> do we have something? Yeah, well, it was before the panel. pushback. I figured <laughs> you would know. <laughs> Should have PI'd her. I'm a Dane. I, I don't have IQ for that. <laughs> oh. Weird. Why would I no. want an external during oh. the pushback, we though? Are the same <laughs> yeah. on the One. left side, which is quite big, obviously. Uh, oh that was my bad, though. I shouldn't oh, have taken a rest. Uh, like, while the sparks okay. were going on. Perp steady, team. Is there Macro for job. bear form and any cast which is only castle in bear form? Uh, uh, keep going for an eye. Just stop on the boss and you can. I must understand. Is stop, there a macro for bear form and any cast which is only castle in bear form? Okay, you're not you're not going to have marking on the left side. We will need a beta, right? No. no. <laughs> not how that works. Oh, you mean? Yeah. So you mean that you want to macro <laughs> two abilities together? Okay. That you can only use in bear form? Yeah, that that works. So, for example, you want to use Frenzied Regen. Easy. You, you can make a here. macro, but you still you have to not. press it's it um, twice because it's two globals, right? Like going into bear form is a global. And any ability that you're talking months. about here, for example, Frenzied Regen, would also be a global. So, I'm yeah, you can macro well, it together, like but you would have to press the ability twice. Yeah. For a second. So, I mean, I that's why it's not really. Um, that's why there's no point to really macro access, it together. I more to it in like that short moment. Because I mean, you're not you saving keybinds and seconds. you're not really Some... saving anything I mean, at that yeah, point. Yeah. I mean, everyone probably is targeting them. Do so... You yeah, I've, I've to the breath, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, I was like, you can do it with Skull Bash, it's the only thing. Ah, okay. The only thing, like anything that isn't an agility yeah, would work, died, guess, so or... Skull Bash. Uh, but see. anything that isn't an agility will not work, yeah, or it will work, but you have to press okay. it twice, and yeah, then it doesn't zero matter on the ad. Uh, if you have one keybind or two. Right? zero damage, basically. If this log is correct. Four, eight. Oh, you did part, part of 31 K. How are you not saving a keybind? Two actions, one right button, log. even if clicked twice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm logging for right yeah, side. But you did 31 Wait. You still yeah, need no, a you binding for bear form anyway, damage. right? On Flamesworn Herald. Like you need a binding for bear form? And then if you want to Ooh. Okay, I mean, so I did, uh, like far under 80k. I need a binding for bear yeah, form. It's just to generally go into bear form, that's right? That's runner shield as well, yeah. And then I would have I would need a binding <laughs> for um, <laughs> for thrash. Yeah. Yeah, we'll bear form that. thrash. And then I need uh, a banding for bear from frenzied region, and a banding for bear from mangle, right? Yeah, no, that's just enemy damage. So taken. what key yeah. band would you save? Yeah, so the shield was broken. Are you not saving anything, right? No. He we puts the shield, the shield up later. Exploded. He doesn't put the shield up immediately. Because you need a banding for bear from anyway. He thought his cast, and then he has to absorb. We need to nuke yeah. you. It's like f four seconds or something. The so shield is what makes you it only a really save a key bind, even so if you're binding yeah. Yeah. something like Skaldash, you're also not really saving it. a key bind. Unless yeah. you're not binding bear form at all. 
Yeah, that's good. Like, and if you're not binding bear from at all, um, then you would save a key bind. So like but I feel like it's a bit weird to not say, like, you have side? to bind bear farm, right? Because sometimes you just want to go bear farm because you have more HP. So I don't see how you're saving a binding. Unless you really don't bind bear farm. Then you would save a binding. But I think it's a bit, uh. It's a bit weird to not bind it. KMS? MC, I mean. Do we have a DK? Um, let me check if it can be there. Is on our side. I'm on left side. We can move the MC to intermission if you want. I think it makes sense to have it yeah. on the first, like, ruiner set. It depends on that is the, a, it depends that's on the army moving. That we have though. nothing for. Uh, like, yeah, but there, there is no overlap on that one, so it's not scary. The scary ones is the one with overlaps. These we should... We have 20 seconds to top us after win. And then 15 seconds after the explosion on the next win. <laughs> okay, sure. So that well, one shouldn't it also be, might be It also might be useless in the intermission, depending on how we move. Like, if people aren't in it, then it doesn't matter, obviously. Um... Do you need more than just MC? But yeah, there's some yeah. abilities you where you don't uh... need to go bare to use them. And for those sense. bindings, you do want to make sure you're binding them not inside a action bar that changes. Because, uh, for example, if just you look at my I action bar, um, this whole the action bar here changes when I switch normal, into another form, long? right? But there's some abilities where you do not um, need to be in the form we, we to use them. Uh, and those uh, are basically the ones that are not in a GCDM. For example, Inca Broar, you can press so without being in, in bear form. It will just put you in bear form. Agora, uh, um, same goes with... The one I link in, uh, um, stuff. Same with uh, Stampeding War, with um, Stealth as well, Prowl. Everyone else can take it as well if you want, but... There's okay. nothing changed for... Prowl, you can press um, no matter which form you're in. I mean, we pop our nature's videos there anyway, so... Oh, yeah. If we had more yeah. boots, it would actually break that shield Wait. so much better. Like, I'm looking at the damage on that shield... What's the weak like, doing from you? Shade is literally beating every DPS except for Noxie and me just with his boots. Yeah, people need to get Shadowlands engineering done. Oh, it's here too. I don't need that. Yeah, or just like try to do more damage on it as you're flying in, because you can actually cast on it if you have instant casts like while you're flying in. Uh, side it's note, whoever is whoever is rescuing me when we uh, start the mission, please stop. I'm shadow. Why didn't you say that like four pools ago? <laughs> Why did so you to instantly leave bear from after just income. Been suffering some. Okay. You could have just said. <laughs> but like, of course, yeah, it's Robbie as well. I cannot. Like, as we're just... flying in, like, just start pressing your buttons on that thing, I guess, and they'll maybe uh, help. Technically, you could instantly leave bear form, but there's no point since you're in a GCD. Fine, Dreadnoughts will save us. Like, after uh, the you raid could instantly leave bear form into, like, into, like, normal form. After having watched a 41 minute flame, but I don't, video, I'm ready for like, anything. I don't think there's a point to do that because I you're shall. inside a GCD at that point. Three, so you two, cannot do anything nine. anyway during the GCD, you know what I mean? So, I think it is possible, technically, but there's just no reason to do that. Unless you want your bars to change. Like, if you want your action bars to change because you don't want to be in there, I guess that would be a reason. Why is my sound so laggy? One. When do, um, when do people fall in this fight? Bull for now. I'm not part of it. I'm stuck in it. Yeah, but oh, yeah, I was just wondering if we had people dead, we might make it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, but I was just wondering if people do pot and pull on kill. This damn stuff. Pot on pull, pot first shield, pot bird last. Right. Is it Salty Typhoon again? Not voting, please start because we can make pushes with having people dead. Then. This one's gateway. 
five, four, three, oh, two, mine is gonna be one. Yeah, there's one fucked in the back here. There's a lot fucked in the front. Good job. Ah, shit. No, we didn't. Might have still lost. Ah! Nice. That was that one? Uh, front front, I think. Yeah. I tried mm -hmm. to make it up there, but I uh, think so, I Gilly. I think I honestly think it's just lag because it doesn't happen every time. So if it was a sound channel issue, it would happen every single time, I assume, right? But since it's not, I'm kind of assuming that I'm just like FPS lagging and it's affecting the um, the sound. It was basically where I'm jumping now. Uh, Apple, do you have CDs up at the start of an intermission? Yeah, you can cancel form. I think the the macro would look something like this. The platform of intermission? Yeah, like um, could you send it on the first group of ads just so that we can maybe see a little bit more like... You get, would have to make so a macro like this. To the, like uh, shield and we can get used to the kicks and the CC and the, like approaching the second ad and all that stuff. Yeah, I can. I think just try that for now maybe, just... Uh, cast like Incapora. We can just see a bit more movement. But who do you yeah, think um... get most out of summer there? Uh, I don't think me. I looked earlier, I, I did 3k damage with it, but I don't know if it was just like a this, late apply or if you died or how that works. I am doing it mid Oh, yeah, no. I, yeah, oh. I didn't send it. Okay, Kevin or uh, Zaxi. Probably Kevin then, because I don't know if it works with Seth. I think this should work. Uh, send it to Kevin, dude. Most likely not, somewhere. because it's bad. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, well, the Guardians, I think, or they're like different type, but just send it mm. on uh, Kevin. Chopper. Oh, is probably good on Weird. Or, Does ca is cancel form not a macro? Things. It should be a macro, right? Or is it not? Uh, do you have to write it differently? Is side, it not cancel form? Might as well. I do what? Like send CDs on the first stop. You can also just cancel time. bear form. If we reach there again, yeah, yeah well, my CDs Three, last, so I'm, I'm kind of already doing that. One. It's just a oh. matter of me living to that point because we're dying like right as I'm trying to send them. No, what you wanted to hear? Yeah. yeah, but the point was that we're dying because the shield dies here. So yeah, I'm... Yeah, hopefully with more shield damage that'll be better, but I'm already doing a lot of shield damage. It will be Omega tank yeah. next time we're here, yeah? Imagine Vantus. Five. Five. One. Seems pretty good. Yeah, right. Did you have a good imagine, though? A great imagine. I'm a bit weak on this. No, you have a Oh, I do. I'm not tracking that. Imagine that dragon. I thought I was. I'm tracking a real external. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, even when you get dilated? Get away soon. Oh, I'm not tracking that one actually. I'm tracking gate. Five, four, three, two, one. Can that fucking kill me? Come God on. damn it. Oh my. You might have to ask him again, he's quite shy. Be quiet, he's watching a router. It's, it's effort to unmute this mic. It's rough enough for. Yeah, and this breath. The sound is always twice Five, for some reason. Four, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. 
Where is take off the bombs? No. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't can believe he survived one. that one. It's not scary without MD. Yeah, no, that, that's fine. I just wanted to double check. Yeah. This is gateway. I, I, tr I trust you. Into Five, scuff box. Four, three, two, one. I don't see anything. Charges, charges, charges. Okay, stop, 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 stop. I think you ank D3 maybe, so we can see stuff. If you do, uh, push, 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 well, my weak heart frank is still not working. <coughs> I will just do first stun and first kick now, because Rain is dead. Fuck up the side. Fuck up the side, fuck the shield. Okay, if I get targeted... Pre personal, pre personal, so it's... So we can live a little longer. I do not have anything, so I get targeted by the first uh, thingy. Need something. I'll call it there. Why are people just getting aggro? Uh, move and kicks. We don't need to move here yet, yeah? Why, why are you going, Shen? Uh, I mean, other than three people getting hit by Wrath, that's actually a lot better. Okay, wait, wait, wait here, wait here, wait here, come back, stop. Oh my god, we did it, guys, we did it. No, I think I did a. Oh, we are gonna have a problem here. <laughs> this is fine. No, no, no. no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Arrest. Oh, right. There's no tank, by the way, so they're just gonna run around killing people. Curse of tongues? Ah, uh, it's not spec. It's not spec. Oh. I set my cooldowns on the. Oh, you you only listen to my voice there, Shade, yeah? Progressive! So it says run, you still stay, yeah? Uh, did you yeah, but... kill their big tank? Well, both I think it needs a cast sequence. That's it? Um, I, like, the second the ads became aggroable, four of them ran directly at Toe. Cast yeah, himself a cursor trail? Cursor trail? I can't not be doing damage what, at What's that point. cursor trail? I don't even know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> Does not sell this as a cast. It's, it's weird it cast doesn't work since cancer form is not a global, but if you press the marker twice, it's fast, it works. From the sellers. Uh, okay. Yeah, cancer form is not a global. Mm -hmm. Maybe I. Yeah, I mean, whatever like, I have really on my side. side so yeah, it's true. If I press it fast, it works. Correct hmm. this time. Like, we press the buttons, we. Yeah, weird. Get globals. Very good. Yeah, that should yeah, technically we're, work. We're side there. Maybe it's because it doesn't instantly register that you're in a form. Because we moved and they were spread out and stuff, but uh, since we have the second since, beam, um, we don't have to stay in base. Inca Roar takes a little while but to go off. I, I, it feels like it at least. Like, you're not instantaneously there. going into bear form. So maybe the cancel form is being applied immediately, and it just cancels the form that you're in before you press it. You know what I mean? Like, maybe when I press it, it cancels Moonkin form. Then just Inca Roar. You Instead of the other way around. In intermission. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing on the first That's what it is. Bro, if you yeah. see that shell, I don't know what cast it. sequence does, so though. Have I, this I, in mind. I did on that time. <laughs> have this in mind, does Can you add sleep to everyone? How nothing. does that work? Where would I add that? Does that work? I didn't know that it works. Is that a thing? Almost six minutes. You have so much time to use whatever you need to in intermission. Nothing is assigned because, in fact, nothing should be needed. But if we need it, use it. Yeah. I think for that. for the next time we should, should just assign thing, we should assign things just to prevent overlap. So we, we can do it. For oh, next time. then. Oh, wait, there is stuff assigned. Uh, yeah, I don't think one. that's. I don't think that's but something that you can that, put in a macro. Should be not be needed. At least I've never seen that before. There's no reason to hold cooldowns. A what? Um, there's a free barrier. Barrier, then. There's another thing too that I think will help a lot on blue side, but I'll also talk really about feel it like it's this macro seems not very useful for you guys. So, on the, on the right magic. side. So if you really want to use the macro, on the right side, exactly. I think, in my opinion, uh, okay, you should so just like use this and like spam it, well, like away from the ad, and then it will work. But yeah, I think yet, but, uh, I think the reason why the person CC wanted to have the macro well, was no? because, because they wanted the to bypass the GCD. Yeah, that's what I said, I, I okay, first, yeah. Yeah. Like I feel like yeah, sometimes people think that you can bypass the GCD with macros. 
And then the elves basically just but died, but then we ran away, yeah. and they got spread out, and then they started casting a bit. And then... And I just tried to bring Yeah, there's no purpose to leave bear from can. instantly. Like, would grippy handing like immediately, or what, what? When is that being used? At least Wait, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't necessarily see a purpose for it. But yeah, it's gonna uh, be like 10, 15 seconds. Other than the the, ink, the the bar, maybe. Ah, okay. Like, that's the only yeah, thing you can think about. That maybe you don't Same want your me. action bar to be yeah, changed okay. to a different so one to the bear to, one. Just to reclarify, we are using CCs until we need to move, and then that's when we do kick. Are you but really anyway, guys, I'm gonna stop streaming for now. Our raid ends in like 10 minutes, and time, so. we're just gonna do like one or two more. I mean, polls. I'm gonna try to, but so since we have a short break, right. I'm just gonna turn off stream and send you to, some, to breath, someone else. You. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out, appreciate you as always very much. Hope you enjoyed the stream today. Hope I'm you enjoyed the plus keys like and the, like and the deaf concerned. interview. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Are you ready, Roddy? Or Dorky is watching the interview. I just saw the thumbnail. Let's host story key. Isn't random it's you can watch the interview again. What's he saying? I'm sure almost yes. everyone can give some pretty good classes. Three, two, one. I've always had three globals. I could use a risk yard on the breast spine. Dorky's currently watching the interview. I don't know what he's like saying or what's going on. You don't but... like walking in it. <laughs> give, him a, give him an inch, he takes a mile. I'm never gonna fucking walk again, bro. <laughs> Oh, there's a swirly. I didn't see it. Ah. Five. Two. One. Oh my god. Lag, lag, lag. Ugh. All right, anyway, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Again, remember to follow my... Make sure you watch the YouTube video if you haven't yet. Um, if you watch me watching the YouTube video, make sure you give it a view anyway, so I get some views on the video. Because I know a lot of people just uh, want to see others reacting to it, but... Help out my YouTube channel a bit, you know? Just click on it, watch it in the background, mute it or whatever. That'd be very nice. All right, have fun watching Five, Dorky, and I'll see four, you tomorrow. Three, two, Bye -bye. one. In the front. Yeah. Present. Might need to use something to kind of recover. Yellow. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> 